Welcome, one and all, to the final Owl House art contest. I've hosted multiple of these contests in the past, but this one is by far the largest one, even though it was supposed to be a small one. But that just goes to show the power of this fan base and how much we love this show. There were over 1,000 entries in this contest, and we're gonna check them all out. So, buckle up. <laughs> and as always, there will be a massive credits list in the description showing every single artist that took place in this contest. So please take a look at that if you're interested. With all that said, let's begin with the video type entries. And we're starting off with a little art process video here with Titan Loose, that is right. Titan Loose, I have to say this right now, is going to be the number one most common entry you will see in this entire contest. If you are a Titan Loose fan, trust me, you're gonna be eating good. <laughs> but I do like seeing an artist process, so that was a cool little entry. Uh, okay, this is a watching and dreaming in a nutshell based video, except it wasn't? What? <laughs> I feel like I'm a little confused about this one. Uh, I guess that's only like half of it. It just shows Luce died. Is this supposed to be a bad ending? I don't know, but I guess that's what it's supposed to be. So this one's kind of neat. It's uh, like a Friday Night Funkin styled king, but like from the future and his like future time skip outfit. I'm gonna refer to all the epilogue designs from here on out as time skip designs just to make things easier. So yeah, looks good. Honestly, it looks like it comes straight out of a mod or something. So this entry is, what if Amity saw Luce's death? Which, why do you want to make that even more sad than it already is? But I get it, I get it. I like the abomination form, very much just like Darius's like full on abomination like armor. I always like that, I always really like that uh, power that Darius had, so seeing Amity have it is pretty cool too. Aw, that's cute. Just a little Titan loose smile and a little hootie showing up with the hoot. <laughs> Like I said, dude, there's gonna be so many Titan Loose entries. This one's real good. And look at the flatback for life in the bottom left corner. That is goaded. Oh my gosh. By the way, for those that don't know, flatback is an inside joke on this channel. So we sometimes refer to Flapjack as flatback here. So just want to put that out there. Now what? <laughs> oh, it's funny. That's funny. Dude, this is literally just like, what if he won? Now what? What does he do now? You killed all the witches, but now you're stuck in this titan form. Now, how are you supposed to get a body back? I guess he could just make another Grimwalker, but I don't know. That's... I don't know. <laughs> Still, <but> now what? <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh my gosh, this is literally, if Hootie fought Bellos instead, this is just like the meme ending. Don't need Titan loose, just have Hootie come on over, bot Bellos out of there and just be like, wanna go fishing? <laughs> Honestly, best ending. Not biased though, not biased. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. It's like having different layered little arts where it looks like Luce is flying, they got all the glyphs coming out. Dude, people went crazy with the glyphs and like the Titan loose and the sparkles in the background. Lots of detail on this one, very good. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna guess this is supposed to be like their drawing come to life. What is this, Doodle Bob? <laughs> That's actually a cool idea. I really like that idea. Oh my gosh, that is very neat. Also, I couldn't help but notice the uh, headphones. You broke your headphones. <laughs> Look at your headphones on the table. Never mind. Why am I paying attention to the headphones when we got this Titan loose exploding out here with the light? <laughs> It looks like the fisherman became the fish. Am I right? <laughs> what are you even saying? <laughs> uh, can't you say anything that makes sense? 
<laughs> I like this. Please believe. Everything here is so weird. <laughs> yeah. Everything in here is very weird. What is happening? What is happening to the collector? I don't, did they have too many pizza bagels or something? What's happening here? <laughs> Poor King it just has to deal with this. I don't know what's happening here. I don't even know. But I guess the art was pretty cute. I like the little wobbly effect. Uh, that's neat. Ah, <sighs> the Fortnite dance. You really had to Fortnite dance for poor Luce on her birthday? Come on, V, not on her birthday. <laughs> oh, silly. Hey, this one's made in Flipnote Studio 3D! Let's go, 3DS, dude, 3DS is goaded. I always used to make animations on, well, my DS, but a little bit on the 3DS. That's awesome, dude, oh my gosh, I'm super happy about this one. The Collector and Bellows, oh, that's good. That's so good, I can immediately recognize the style, like, right away, it's so good. Okay, so now I got the now eat this sucker moment, godlike moment, by the way, and I'm not sure how it's animated, honestly. I'm not really sure how the mouth movements really work here, but I guess it's unique. I've never really seen this type of like transitional animation before. Hmm. Cracking sounds. Numb. Hey, hope you enjoyed the z submission to the Zeev of Gear watching and dreaming competition. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> What? All right, all right, I'm confused. So the collector eats themselves and then they blow up in the volcano and then the, the, the entry is like three seconds long. Like the rest of it is just the animator talking. <laughs> oh, it's funny. That's that's pretty cute though. I like the little, I like the little uh, hoodie and the little collector in there. It's pretty cute. Although I don't think G's Bob G is that hard to pronounce, is it? Who dear? What? He died! Hootie! <laughs> Not the beauty Hootie! What happened? Come on, why do you have to melt? That look looked too good. You ever see like an animation that looks too good? This looked too good. Why did he look like he was actually like genuinely melting? I mean, probably because it was drawn to be so, but still, that's morbid. <laughs> that's so cool! Okay, this is like Luce's eyes throughout watching and dreaming. Like the first one is her like at the start. The second one is her when she's like sad or upset. And then we have the Titan loose as the third one. And then you have the epilogue or time skip loose as the fourth one. That's cool, dude. Oh man, there's I love like the evolution of like characters' designs. There's quite a few entries like that in this competition as well. They're very neat. This one included. He bagels. A classic. Literally such a classic. Look at the look at the pizza bagel just flying into their mouth. Beautiful. Beautiful. I wish I was the collector. So I could just have pizza bagels fly into my mouth. I'd be okay with that. Luce, we're human. We waffle. I knew her name would be Waffle. We waffle. Bro, I'm dead. We waffle. Did you YouTube poop your own entry? What the heck? <laughs> Alright, Luce, we're human. Bella's evil. Waffles everywhere. This adorable picture of Waffle and then just waffles everywhere. There's just a lot of waffles. There's just so many waffles. Well, the drawings look really good, dude. Like that King's dad looked amazing, dude. Oh my goodness. Ew, those sound effects. Ew. Okay, why did that look so good though? Did you see like, dude, the ripping and then like the, the droop? That looks so good. That's animated so well. It's disgusting seeing all like the goof and like the sound effects. That was like really good though. What the heck? Dang. That looked like way too realistic. Okay. <laughs> People are freaking talented, dude. Although it was disgusting with like the sounds and the goof. It is kind of nasty just thinking about Bellos and his goo. Ugh. Okay, so this one might be muted, uh, depending on copyright. I don't actually know if this Steven Universe song is copyrighted, but this is the Steven Universe song when Steven is like singing about P 
peacefulness to Spinel. I myself haven't seen Steven Universe, but I know of this because there were so many entries about this as well. It's weird that a lot of people saw this like comparison, but then again, I haven't seen Steven Universe, so maybe it's like, you know, pretty similar. But either way, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like the <laughs> I like the loose and the bellows face at the end. Very good stuff. Aw, okay, this is like a this is like a redraw of the uh, the king and collector saying goodbye to each other. Except at the ending they added uh the collector going back home with the other archivists and you know showing off that he uh, he made new friends. That's so cute! Oh, that's so cute. I love like the little child book like sketchy art style too. That's so cute, dude. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I love that scene so much, dude. I'm obsessed with the King and the Collector's friendship. They're so cute. Okay, this one's neat. I like the uh, like sunset falling. It's very fast, but I think that's supposed to be like King and his dad watching the sunset. That's adorable, dude. Oh my gosh, I wish they actually got to. Seeing like their little silhouettes, dude. You can tell immediately that it's them too. That's so good. This is another entry that looks like it suspiciously could also be from the 3DS, but I don't know. I don't think it is but it looks very similar. It has like the same sort of brushes. Anyway, this is like a cat owl house theme or loose is like a cat, I guess. And then you have like string bean flying along with her. That's cute. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> okay, this is funny. This is funny. I think this is somebody's OC, uh, but they're <laughs> like, yo, can I, <laughs> can I come to the freaking wild magic school? I don't want to be in my real life school. I want to go to the University of Wild Magic, please. Can I come? <laughs> Honestly, me too. Can I go? Are you guys accepting? Like, please? That's so cool. Uh, the music may have to be me. I think this is like an animation type meme or something, but I love this, dude. I, I've always loved like stats, like when people do like stats or whatever. That's so cool, dude. Oh my gosh. They have like all the ultimate forms for people too, like Harpy Lilith, Harpy Eda, Titan Loose, and then like the actual Titan King's dad. Oh man, that's cool. No, Buck, you didn't go on a date with the princess yesterday. It was me. These hips do lie, and they lied to you, Buck. Shakira, Shakira. All right, that was odd, but I, I guess I, I guess I see the comparison of V doing the transformation over. That's funny. Oh, that's funny. I wish we got to see what happened to uh, their relationship with Masha, but you know, I think having it open ended is also pretty interesting as well. Ah, oh, speaking of adorable, look at all these little palacemen. Ah, oh, so cute. They're hanging out next to Flapjack's grave with a little fire going. That's adorable, dude. That's so cute. Oh, look at the little sleeping bee, bro. Oh, dude, this is so cute. Oh, that's cool. Okay, first of all, these drawings are really, really good. Then you have the transformation of like loose, like at the beginning you watch a dreaming, then tighten loose, and then at the time skip. Oh, that's so cool, dude. I love when people do this. It's so it's so neat to see the evolution of a character. Oh, it's so freaking cool. And especially with like the characters in tow having so many different like outfits and forms and whatnot. It's it's awesome, dude. It's it's awesome. So this one's a bit odd because it's kinda hard to see them. Uh, but it's like the collector flying around on their little warp star, the little Kirby warp star. I wish they would like actually come closer so I could actually see them on the screen. <laughs> I guess the collector's being a bit shy today. I don't know. Ooh, Duckliff combo. That's cool. There's literally like a mid magic, mid spell, tight loose combining all those glyphs together. That's pretty hype, dude. That's the hype stuff. Yeah. Doink. I sleep. I'm so glad we're together again. Hmm. King's a titan and a heart in the throne room is a titan's heart. Nice. You got games on your phone? I'm gonna go take over the titan. I need to get up. I'm gonna take- Yoink. Collector wish! Pew! Epic! I'm King's dad, take my powers. Okay. Eat this, sucker! <laughs> oh look, you, uh, you saved me from my cur- Dude, Dude shut, shut up. up! Your dad says I love you. 
I'm done. Oh, dude, that was really fast. What the heck? Watching and dreaming in 30 seconds. Dang, that was fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, so, some of the moments where it's just like it cut off what they were saying, just like speed it up was so funny, dude. Oh my gosh. And the ending, oh my gosh, with like Sans Titan and then like they all come in to fill up. They're all like, yo, shut up, bro. Like every character, dude. Oh, it's so good. The way they do the characters is just so funny, dude. They look so freaking derpy, dude. What the heck? That's a bit excessive, don't you think? Okay, for those who couldn't read it because it's too fast, this is apparently like, what if Amity's dad and Darius got into a relationship? Then they'd be siblings. <laughs> and they're like, oh, we can't have that happen. We have to kill Darius and Alador. That is very excessive, but okay. <laughs> What? What was that? Why did Luz appear for like a half a second? What was that? It was just the collector vibing, just thinking about stuff, and then Luz is just like, whoop! It comes in out of nowhere, and then it just ends. Strange. Very strange. Okay, okay, we got some uh, Infinity War Thanos snap, but it's Bellos and then Luz just disappears. Interesting, interesting. Not sure what Hootie's doing there at the end, but very interesting, cool concept. That Bellos looked really good too. Collector Pac-Man when he eats loose and then string bean like hits his tongue. Oh, that's so good What the heck that was so good. Oh my gosh. Can this please be a real game? Yo modders modders out there, please <laughs> I jest, but still it would be hype Oh my gosh, see what I mean about the flatback, dude? Okay, so this person, I'm not sure if it's an OC, but I think they're going in to like get a tattoo. They want a flapjack tattoo that says flapjack on it, but they misspell it as flatback. But listen, listen, I'd personally be fine with that. Collector comes out of nowhere. Hey, Luz, can I play Angry Birds on your phone? She's like, okay, sure, go ahead and play Angry Birds. Immediately becomes the god of birds. Takes one hour for the Collector to beat all of Angry Birds 100% speed run. Dude, Collector, you're a god. Literally. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. I like that at the end. We got a nice little group photo at the start, but uh, toward the end, it looks like there was like another Grimwalker. I guess that's like a theory. Is like, what if there was another Grimwalker? Ooh, spooky, spooky. But no, Bellos surely has to be gone. I mean, they stomped him into the ground, surely. Surely? Okay, we got like a little aisle animation for the Titan loose once again. Love the way the, the wind blows on the hair and the cloak and the glyphs coming out. Oh, that looks sick, dude. Dude, all the ideas of Titan Loose in this competition are crazy, dude. They actually go crazy. Okay, so this is another one of these little choose your character sort of things where they're each doing their little uh, idle animations or whatever. That is interesting. I wonder what the uh, trend is with the whole idle animation thing recently. I, I honestly like it. I can get behind it, dude. I'm a huge fan of video games. I'm quite a gamer, dare I say. So I'm all down for stuff like this, dude. Although I'm picking Nita. Sorry, Loose and King. I'm, I'm picking Nita. <laughs> Thank goodness. You know, I was worried that he was gonna melt again, but luckily it was just his eyes beautifully sparkling. That's what we need, dude. A beautiful hoodie. I'm not sure what's going on with his beak though. It looks like he has like two bottom beaks. I'm not gonna question it. <laughs>
I like this idea, dude. I like this. I feel bad for the crew that they already have to jump back into another fight, but you have like the literal god of Amphibia coming in and being like, yo, listen, Luce, everybody, we need you. <laughs> the fate of the universe depends on it. Oh, that would be such a cool freaking start to the crossover, dude. Having like the gods come together and be like, yo, you guys, you guys gotta deal with this. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool, dude. This is another one of those evolution of Luce, or more like the D evolution. It goes from the time skip to the uh, thanks to them style to like regular Luce's outfit. And uh, she's got like a little something for him. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but uh, that's neat. That's neat. I don't know why they decided to do it in opposite order, but I guess I can get behind that. If they're like revisiting their memories or something. I like this one. This one's kind of cool. This is like definitely doesn't really work for the Owl House. Uh, it's like an alternate ending, but it was like, what if Philip was actually under a curse? You know, because there, there's there known to be curses about the Boiling Eyes. I mean, literally, the Owl Beast cursed. What if there was like a Bellows, whatever he became? Obviously, like, you know, it doesn't really work for the Owl because Bellows is definitely evil. We know that. But, you know, having like this idea is like, ooh, what if he was actually under a curse the whole time? It's, it's cool. It's cool. You know, it's cool to see what people come up with with like alternate ending. It's very cool. All right, this one's simple and sweet. You just got the light glyph being booped, <laughs> being booped to just turn on. Simple, but sweet. <laughs> All right, I haven't played Pizza Tower yet. I have not played Pizza Tower yet, unfortunately. This weirdly sounds like it was from a Mario sound font, but uh, we got special guest Luz, the boiling pizza. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. That's so good, dude. You got Pepino in the background too, going crazy. What a crossover, dude. What a crossover. <laughs> it's hard to resist. I'm really sorry. I mean, considering your approach thus far, you've had us tied here for, what, hours? And you haven't even had us confirm what exactly we are. What are you? I'm a Virgo. Ha! A Virgo. <laughs> Imagine wasting all your time. Wasting all their time just to say, I'm a Virgo. I love, like, the stupid nails at the end. <laughs> that was so silly. Okay, okay, this is just Luce killing Bellos herself. Doesn't even give Ida King or Rain the chance. She's like, nope, I'm doing it. I'm the one who's gonna do this, dude. Like how she's even like, yo, did I do good? Did I do good? Did I kill him good? Did I do the good thing by killing Bellos? Yes, yes, he did. He evil. Bellos bad. We know this. <laughs> This is another one of these like evolution things where you get to see like each character where they started versus where they ended. Uh, especially with like a lot of the most drastic character designs. Although King's not too different. It's so fun to see character growth, dude. It's literally so fun going back to, like season one and being like, yo, this is what the characters used to be like. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so this is the main trio. I guess like in despair. <laughs> Poor Luce, Eden, and King. I feel bad for him, but uh, this is also an incorrect use of POV. <laughs> that's not how, that's not what POV means, but regardless, good art. Bells is goof. Perfect present for Luce's 18. Want some sounds? Go, boys! It's no police. Now it is, sucker. You next! All right, this is a little hard to follow. I love like what they did with like the paper styled animation. That's very creative, very, very creative. But I guess this is Tibble's selling Bellows goo. I, <laughs> I think, and then Titan Loose just like kills him. I, <laughs> it's crazy, dude. It's so freaking crazy. And then they just flush him down the toilet or something. Oh my gosh, dude. This is chaotic. I wish I could see it a little better, but this is so funny, dude. I love I love the little paper, like the way they walk. That's adorable, dude. That's actually so creative, having like, you know, different segments of the paper for like the legs. That actually looked good, dude. That looked good. That's very creative. Shut up and watch me do something truly villainous and evil. <laughs> A, B, C. 
Easy as one, two, three. Oh, God! Guess that's why the manual said don't possess and drive. Fine, whatever. Dude! Dude! That was so good! What? Is it. Can I say we have a winner this early? <laughs> Dude, that's insane! That's, I never know, first off, I have no idea how these Minecraft animations are made, but this is literally taking uh, audio from Tomoda Sauce's dub of the Owl House and then making an animation with it? Dude, that's insane! That is actually insane, dude. Oh my gosh. Look at this, even Tomoda agrees with me. This one's kind of neat. It might be ruined by the fact that the music might be copyrighted, but it's like a little animation meme where Lucy's like looking in all different directions. Something happens, then she looks in all different directions in her different forms. Like it starts off with a nightmare form, then her like Halloween outfit, then it's like leads up to the Titan loose at the end. That was cool, dude. Oh man. Very epic, honestly. Very, very epic. Come on, guys. All Bella's needs is a little kindness and forgiveness, like you said. It's okay, Bellas. I forgive you after what you did. Turn me into a pizza bagel. Maybe because Bellis is new to Titan Magic and all you ever eat are pizza bagels. So skill issue? Yeah, skill issue. Actual skill issue. Oh my gosh, dude, this one's so good. First off, I always love this style of people just like grabbing an image and shaking it around like as the animation. That's so funny, dude. Oh, I love these types of things. But the Bellos would just then ah, <laughs> so good, dude. I'm I'm. I'm a huge advocate for loud equals funny. That was truly a loud equals funny moment. It just gets turned into a pizza bagel. Like, imagine that's what the Titan powers do. It just turns you into a pizza bagel. Truly a skill issue. Aw, oh, classic, dude, a classic. I like how they even had the Bellas reaction at the end, too. He's like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, that's so good, dude. That is a classic meme and such a good little animatic over it, too. Ooh, this is a really good drawing. Look at that lighting, dude. Ooh, that's so good. And the tears coming off, it loops perfectly. Oh, outside of the lights in the background, but that's so good, man. Dude, people go crazy with the animation. Oh, such a sad scene, but such a good animation, dude. Yo, that was crazy. Okay, okay. Dude, I like how it starts with all the other golden guards like coming to look at him. That's so, I always love like the addition of like all the other golden guards and, and Caleb just watching over Bella. It's just the sheer disappointment. I always loved like the, the connection where you have like Caleb doing that look, just look of complete and utter like disappointment. And then Titan Loose doing the exact same look at the ending. It's so, oh, it's so good. It all comes together so perfectly. Just everybody just like, nah. They're all just looking at him like the same face. Oh, it's so good, dude. Oh, it's so incredible. And then having like Rain and Ida take the places of Caleb and Evelyn there at the ending. Oh, that's so cool. Aw, that's so cute, dude. You've got like Caleb and Evelyn in the afterlife and Flapjack is flying back toward them, gets to reunite with his old buddies. And then you have Hunter and Waffles there at the ending. That's so cute, dude. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love all the connections with Flapjack, Waffles, Hunter, the Clawthorns. Oh, it's all so well put together and adorable, dude. However, that is the end of our animation, animatic video based entries. Now we are going to go through all of our art based entries. So let's begin. Starting off, we've got Time Skip V where she's uh, looking at Luce getting ready uh, in the little epilogue there. Little Albert there as well. Very good start. Very, very good start with the Time Skip V. No way, dude. The promise never, I'm sorry. I meant no way, dude. 
time skip Ida. I love time skip Ida, dude. I love her. She's so freaking cool. She literally is just a pirate. Got the pirate hook, headmaster. Ah, uh, truly is living her best life. Oh my gosh. I like how they did with like the, do like different little shades of the eye to get the eye colors in there. Very good stuff. Very, very good stuff. Oh, this is my goodbye. Basically saying goodbye to the Owl House. We got thanks to them, Luce. Even though this is a watching and dreaming contest. What the? Whatever. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> okay, we got another little cat theme going on here. Honestly, King doesn't look too different. <laughs> it really doesn't. We got Cat Collector, Cat Eda, Cat Possessed Rain, and Cat Loose. Dude, they actually are kind of crazy with the little cat poses there. Oh, I, I just realized String Bean is not a cat. Mm, uh, sorry, it's not. Nope, hold on. You gotta, you gotta redraw it. Sorry. String Bean's not a cat? Nope. You can't. You can't submit this. It's not the cat owl house. It's, it's just not. You failed. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. This is really good though. This is really good. The poses are really good too. Look, dude, looking like freaking Simba or something with the, like that prideful stance. Gotta love it. Ooh, this one's very good too. Look at the level of detail on this one. If you look so close to this image, you can see like all the small little minute details like on the, on the claws and like the black magic and like on the horns. Dude, the level of detail on this is so good. Wowie, wowie, wow. Dude, like the Titan Loose art goes so hard. Uh, we got Time Skip Ida and Rain chilling together with their little representative flags, their palismans. Very cool. Not sure what's going on with Ida's hook though. Something's happening there. <laughs> Next, we got a Time Skip Loose sketch. Very good. Honestly, looks like it's straight out of the show, dude. You told me this was like somebody on the crew who made this sketch. I would believe you because this looks. Very, very good. We got another Titan Loose. You know what we should start doing? We should start keeping a streak to see how many Titan Looses we get in a row. I, I swear we should. <laughs> Looks like this might be her like traveling back to the Bowling Isles while she's in between, or in the in-between. No, she's in between, but she's in the in-between. She's in the in-between. We got that. <laughs> very cool though. I love the little just gold lighting, like the gold theme on this one. Oh, streak over. <laughs> nah, this one's great, dude. This one's great. You got Loose just doing a cool pose. Lots of the lights. This one, this goes crazy with the light. The lighting on this one is so good. There's so many good pieces of lighting where it has like the dark sky and all of the glyph like magic. You can even see that glyphs on some of the lights, dude. People put so much effort into their entries. You gotta love it, dude. Aw, look at that. Look at the little V, dude. That's so cute. <laughs> you got the little shirt with the half and half boiling house, half and half earth. Aw, that's cute. Oh boy. Um, you didn't even bother changing bellows. This is uh, quite the art piece, huh? Dare I say it's awfully good never mind we got another titan loose what did i tell you dude what did i tell you dude the little black sparkles i love the black sparkles dude you always think sparkles are supposed to be light but titan looses are all black and like shadowy and cool oh it's like dark flashes dude oh man that's sick and the little shading style with like the little what do you call it? the little dots i don't know what that's called but i always love that shading style I'm not sure if there's a word for it, but I always thought it was really pretty. Hmm, all right, what's happening here? Okay, we got Flapjack's grave with the flatback image. We got the most doofy looking collector of all time. We got Lucid and Amity dancing on a dead Bellows. Yeah, I mean, this is just, this is just it. This is the best, <laughs> this is the greatest piece of art of all time, honestly. Aw, oh, this one's so cute too. You'll see a lot of these in the contest as well. You got Waffles and Flapjack, take good care of them for me. It's so cute, dude. For those who don't know, Dana, the creator of the show, thinks of Waffles as Flapjack's little sister and it's it's adorable, dude. It's adorable seeing the two of them together, even though they never met. It's enough to make a grown man cry. What is with this smug collector? Look at this little boy, dude. Look at that smug little face. He knows what he's capable of. Look at that, dude. Very adorable, dude. Very, very adorable. Love the little sparkly ring he's got going on. Yo, people going crazy with the shading again. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at this level of detail. The Titan Loose, too. Like the darker and lighter version. Hmm. Hmm. Very cool. Very, very cool. I love like, how the darker one has like the symbols like glow in the dark. The eyes kind of glow. That's cool, dude. That's so cool. Aw, snap. We got a streak going with the Titan Looses, dude. Look at all those glyphs in the background, dude. Oh, man. So pretty. Literally like the colors that people do with Titan Loose art. Oh, it's so good, dude. It is so freaking good. That's a streak of two. Let's go. Can we can we keep it going? We cannot keep it going, but we got the collector. You just need kindness. Look at him like just hold on to Bellas. Looks like he's like yanking his nose almost. <laughs> oh, that's so cute, dude. Is that glare? I can see the glare from your window. <laughs> Oh, it's fine though. It's fine. We got time skip rain. I'm a big fan of rain's uh, time skip design really really like their design Yo, look at those pants. Look at those pants glow king's day. Can I have your pants bro? Seriously, I would actually pay good money for those pants. They actually look so cool 
Is how do you make those pants? I could definitely use pants like that. Anyway, very adorable, dude. Looks like he's about to give somebody a hug. Can I have a hug, bro? Can I have a hug? You wanna... <laughs> oh, man. I love King's dad. <laughs> Yassified hootie. I prefer the term <clears throat> beauty hootie, but Yassified works as well. I mean, look at those freaking eyelashes, dude. <laughs> Yo, so fluffy. Look at this tight and loose, dude. The fluffiness. The fluffiness is at its maximum with that hair, dude. This is so cute, dude. Oh my gosh, I love fluffy things. Why do fluffy things have to be so adorable, bro? Oh my gosh, this is so good, dude. Ah, oh, the glyph magic going crazy with it. All the sparkles, even got string beans sparkling like crazy. Oh man, the Titan Loose art goes hard. A streak of two, let's go, another Titan Loose. Let's go, we're crazy out here, dude. We're crazy, we got the iconic pose. This pose, I think, was the most redrawn uh, pose throughout this entire contest, dude. So get ready, we're about to see even more of these poses. Oh, we got a streak of three, that's a new streak. We've hit three, the Titan Loose looking down on you, dude. It literally looks like that one pathetic meme. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The way it's just like pathetic. Oh, it's so funny, dude. I love that meme. Literally, it's, li it's literally like the Caleb and Luce stare where they're looking at Bell. It's literally just pathetic. <laughs> ah, streak over, but we got Waffles and Hunter, dude. Oh, what's up with that Waffles though? Waffles looking kind of doofy. <laughs> looking like Mordecai. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. The hunter's looking good, dude. Love this pairing. Oh, we got the time skip V back, dude, with the iconic shirt and the pumpkin theme, too. I love the pumpkin theme. Honestly, the pumpkin theme works so well for V. I don't know why. I think it's because her hair just kind of goes well with it. I don't know. I like it, though. I like this art, too. Very good. Oh, we're back to Titan Loose with even more fluff, dude. Look at the levels of fluff on this one with the bellows eyes in the background, too, and the glows coming from the eyes. Aw, oh, snap. You already know it's about to go down. And we got Harpy Lilith, yo! Dude, I wish Harpy Lilith got more screen time. I'm sorry. It's such a good design. It fits so well. The color palette is beautiful. And like, she's only on screen for like 30 seconds. Like, come on, bro. It's fine. I'm not mad. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad, bro. I'm not mad. I get to look at cool art like this. I'm not mad. <laughs> Aw, Waffles. Waffles. Look at that beak, bro. <laughs> You could destroy any tree you peck with that beak. Holy moly, dude. If this Waffles wasn't Pokemon, you already know you should be able to use Drill Peck. Ah, oh, this one's a little hard to see, but we got Time Skip Hunter. Very good. Very, very good Time Skip Hunter here. I love the way they did, like, the scar and, like, the... I don't really know what perspective this would be, but I like how it's not just, like, face on, but it's, like, slightly tilted. Very good. Very, very good stuff here. Oh, no. A combination of memes. He got the freaking beauty hoodie plus the... Whatever that meme is. I've seen it before a thousand times. I don't know what it's called, though. And then just Hootie doing it to himself. I feel hootacular. He would say it. I believe it. Yo, bro, what is this? Look at this. Two. Maybe we need a streak of freaking Hootie. What the heck? Look at this. You got the beauty Hootie with the eyelashes. Oh, my gosh, dude. People are crazy. They actually made a Hootie plushie. Why is this not official? But I guess the plushie would also be just infinite because Hootie is infinite. So yeah, that's probably why I haven't sold plushies yet. <laughs> oh, this is a redraw of uh, the collector holding up like the archive house. Dude, that scene was so hype. That scene was actually so hype. The collector actually helping out everybody, even though they had a bunch of bellows, like crusty, it, wasn't be, it wouldn't really be good. It'd be like crust. I don't even know what to call it, dude. It was so nasty. But either way, that was such a good scene, dude. Good redraw too. <laughs> This was not technically watching a dream, but it's a uh, Edric and Emma redraw of that one scene in uh, For the Future. Very, very good scene. Honestly, I love seeing Ed again. I wish he got more screen time, dude. He really deserved more screen time, but you know, that's what the Hunger Games are for. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> good redraw. Ooh, this is a cool idea. You have Rain and Ida's palace and meeting each other because Rain's palace is like a little fox. Dude, that's so cool. Aw, oh, man, so many things that needed to be on screen that we just never got to see. But that's the beauty of fan art, dude. We get to see it here. That's the beauty of fan art, dude. Oh, look at this ultimate beam attack coming straight from the Titan loose, dude. That's what you like to see. Look at the back. It looks like everything's on fire, too. Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> That's a streak of one. Can we keep it going? Oh, we cannot keep it going. Instead, we have Bellows, dude. Look at Bellows just jumping toward the heart of the Titan. A little hard to see, but you can tell us freaking Bellows. You can see those freaking horns. You already know who it is, dude. He's going straight for that heart. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, this is a nice little scene of, uh, you know, Luce in her time skip outfit, looking out uh, in the boiling aisles, watching the sunset. And then I just looked over to the right and I just saw <laughs> this, like, PNG of Albert and Flatback, bro. Oh my gosh, what even is that? <laughs> ah, there's another Titan Luce to do. There we go. 
This is that pathetic stance again, dude, which is looking down at Bellos. Pathetic. Honestly, looks a bit more somber in this one, but you know, the rain could be helping with that too. Maybe she's just watching Bellos get melted. I don't know. I feel like I'd enjoy watching that too. Oh, we got a streak of two. That's our second Titan loose in a row. That's what we like to see there. Doesn't really look like she's going for any magical powers. We even got a king up on the top right. He's, look at this. He's looking so hard and he's like, whoa. He truly must be like, yo, I have a Titan sister. Let's go. I'm not alone. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. So we got a little, uh, I'm gonna guess this is almost like a Undertale sort of AU. We've got a Cursed Witch, a Human, and a Determined but Tiny Little King. There's also lots of secret code uh, throughout this as well. If you're interested in translating it, please let me know what it says. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Uh, we got the whole gang at the end. Thank you for watch watching <laughs> this uh, this show. I know it says show, but I thought it said snow for a second. Yeah, just thanks for watching the snow, guys. Yeah, thanks for watching. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, look at this, dude. Look at the taunt coming from the Titan Loose. Let's go, dude. I told you the Titan Loose art goes hard. Look at the level of detail in this one, dude. This one's beautiful. I love like the effect that they did. I don't know what brush this is, but it's very, very pretty. And look at the eyes with the gliss in the eyes, dude. Yo, and the bellows eyes in the background. Yo, okay, this art goes hard, bro. I'd put this in my phone background. Holy moly, that looks good. Oh, we got a streak of two. We got a streak of two. I'm not sure what's happening with her eyes. What the heck? She's like shooting beams from her eyes or something. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my gosh, Titan Luce, are you okay? Are you okay there? Is Bellows beating you up? You need some help? <laughs> nah, she's got it, surely. <laughs> What the heck is this? I'm cursed? Hmm. No. What? Yay, mud. Rip the owl house. <laughs> what is that Philip face at the ending, bro? That's going to be in my nightmares. That Philip face is genuinely going to be in my nightmares. Oh my gosh. I never want to see that in my entire life ever again. Silly comic, but I'm scarred for life now. Thank you. Uh, we got another Titan loose going crazy with that dark magic. Dude, I love that. Oh, the dark magic looks so freaking cool, dude. Oh, it's so freaking cool. You know, that kind of looks like a liquid. I wonder what it would taste like. Probably best not to find out. <laughs> Next up, we've got a little uh, Ida and Rain or Rada fan art here with uh, Ida like half in her harpy farm. It looks like she's like full in harpy farm. Can she go halfway? Is that a thing? I don't know. I guess it's a thing. They seem to be enjoying some quality time with one another. Let's not interrupt them. <laughs> Aw, look at this adorable little Rain, dude. The adorable little face. They're so happy. Oh, they're so happy. Maybe after the last piece. <laughs> What's that spot doing in the left though? What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> bro, bro, look at that waffles. <laughs> Dude, that hunter is so happy. They also got the flapjack tattoo too. Tattoo too. Yeah, tattoo too. That sounds weird to say, whatever. <laughs> Look at this pair, dude. Oh, interesting. Okay, we got some time skip uh, Scara art here. Interesting. You know, I think this might be the only Scara art that we got. Sorry, Scara fans. What is it with the dot in the left? Okay, people got to stop putting random dots off in the left. I don't know what that's all about. Looks good, though. Looks good. Honestly, she looks kind of bored, but it looks good. Kind of wish we got some more fan art of some uh, side characters in this competition, but you know, <laughs> we need some more Titan loose. Like, come on. Aw, here we go. We have another Waffles and Flapjack. I may never have met him, but I know he was very special to Hunter. That's so cute, dude. They're connected. Even though they never met, they are connected. You guys are brother and sister. Yes, you will always be family. Aw, this is the redraw of the scene where Luce makes her sacrifice and the collector's like, oh, where'd she go? We have a lot of redraws of this uh, piece as well. I think I mentioned that before. Although, what the heck is that Ethan King in the background, bro? They didn't even try. Oh my gosh, they didn't even try. They tried on the collective, but what the heck? Dude, that Ethan freaking King is so funny. Ooh, yo, see what I'm talking about, dude? The Titan loose goes hard. Yo, the level of detail. Was this drawn by like a marker? This looks like it was like half drawn by colored pencil, half marker. What the heck? Maybe it is. Yeah, that is what it was drawn by, huh? Interesting, it's L Titan loose, also known as Light Lighten? I think Titan Loose is a little more catchy, but whatever. Good art, very cool pose. Love the magic coming off. Dude, I wish I could do that, IRL. Can't, can't magic be real? Like, come on. Wow, somebody's very happy to watch freaking Bellows die. Look at how intensely she's watching Bellows die. Aw, look at this little dopey little collector. Look at his doofy little smile. He's so freaking cute, dude. He almost looks a little cross-eyed, but he's so freaking cute. And he's, of course, got Francois. How cute, dude. How freaking cute. Ooh, okay, okay, this is interesting. We got like a hybrid 
style here. We've got like half sculpture, half art. It's like the skull of King and the stars in the background, some of them, are completely sculpted, but they added on with their own art. Oh, he's even super fuzzy too. That's so cool. That's such a cool idea, dude. I love like unique entries like this, where it's not something that your average Joe would think of, you know? Aw, oh, look at Luce. Not looking too good. This is her when she's in the freaking in-between, sinking down into the goop or water, whatever that dark water in the in-between is. Literally just Kingdom Hearts style, dude. Oh goodness, she does not look too good. Poor Luce. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. The, the art's good, but uh, ew, ew, I don't, I don't know if I like the seeing the bellows outside of rain. Kinda nasty, dude, kinda nasty. It's good art, but kinda nasty. And by kinda, I mean extremely. I would hate to have just flow out of me. <laughs> it's like vomiting, but a thousand times worse. Aw, this is adorable, dude. If only they got to meet, dude. If only they actually got to meet. He's like, oh, son, you're hurting me with your claws. He's like, just hugging him so tightly that he's like stabbing him with the claws. Oh, I wish they got to freaking meet, dude. They really should have got to. Outside of that one little encounter. I don't really count that, honestly. Aw, look at this little collector, dude. Oh, I love this style of art, dude. It's very like sharp, but also round at the same time. It's it's adorable, dude. And of course they're holding on to the little Francois doll. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the collector's expression too. He's like looking down at Francois as if it reminds him of King. That's so cute, dude. Oh, now we got time skip Willow and Hunter holding hands. They truly are a couple now. And we've got their little palisans following them. That's adorable, dude. That is so cute. Although I just now realized, are Hunter's shoes supposed to look like little Lightning McQueens? Anyway. Aw, oh, snap, it's time when you walk away. <laughs> sorry. Every time I see this, I can only think of Kingdom Hearts, dude. I'm sorry. But literally, dude, it's it's so clean. It's so clean. Love like the little lighting effects where like on the edge of Lucy you can still see like the light coming off from uh like above the sea or water or whatever you want to call it. What even is this? What is the in-between? How do you sink and also stand on the water at the same time? I don't know how it works. I'm not gonna question any longer, but it just is what it is. I'm just gonna accept that. Very good art though. Very solid piece. And we're back to the Titan loose. Fluffy as ever. Look at those arms, dude. Those things look like a freaking lint roller. Oh my gosh, you could like roll that up and get all your cat hair off the ground. I swear my cat shed so much, I could really use your help, Titan Loose. Anyway, very solid piece, very good expression. Love the glyphs in the background, and of course, the little happy string bean as well. I'm liking the hair on this one. The, the glyph in the background, very bright. Look how they did it with like the white in like the very center, then the yellow outside to make it look even brighter. And then like they did the hair, like each little stroke. Lots of detail in this one, lots of detail for sure. Aw, the good ending, dude. Look at this good ending. You got Luce and Ida giving the collector a little hug. Look at him, he's so happy. He's so freaking cute, dude. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. That's so freaking cute. Yo, it's a perler bead. Aw, oh, snap, it's those little perler beads. You know those perler beads? I don't know if people still play with those anymore. Though. They, were, they were kind of a thing when I was a kid. But uh, look at that, it's time to give Luce's perler beads. Dude, that's so cool. Yo, I love seeing these like different styled arts with like the, like the clay king earlier and then we have like this little perler bead loose. Dude, that's so cool. Oh man, dude, I'm going on like a nostalgia trip right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> you would like stick them all together and you'd like iron them out to like make them a thing. It's so, oh, that's so good, dude. Oh, that's so freaking cool. And we're back to the Titan loose once again. Love the lighting with the half and half sort of light side, dark side. Very, very cool looking. Bright eyes, smiling up a storm. That's what we like to see from the Titan loose. And we got a second Titan loose. This one looking a little fluffier than the last. The glyph magic going crazy. Look, you can see the glyph coming out of that. And she's also snuggling up to the cutest little string bean who's in her hair. That's adorable, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness, the glow is crazy. Dude, we're on a streak now. We got two Titan Looses back to back. Three Titan Looses back to back. Let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. I like the eyes on this one. Very, very detailed with the eyes and the face. She's like holding up her hair and we got the good old quote where she defeats Bellos. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That is what I'm talking about. And that string bean is so cute too. I also like your LED lights in the background. It has nothing to do with the piece, I just like them. <laughs> okay, now we got Ida up next. She's got like a little something in her hair. I'm not really sure what that is, like a little hair accessory, I don't know. Uh, but I like the background. The background's very, very pretty with like the, the bench and like the flowers and the trees. It looks very, very good, dude. Very, very good piece. She seems very happy to be here. Look at the level of detail in that hair, dude. Level of detail goes crazy, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're back with Titan Loose again. What did I say? We go crazy with the Titan Loose out here. And the string bean too. I like how, <laughs> I like how there's an exclamation point and all this like effects coming off of string bean and then Titan Loose is just Titan Loose. 
<laughs> but then again, her face is so, like, just pathetic. She's in that pathetic pose again, looking at Bellows, dude. Aw, oh, we don't want to see this. This is when she's got the Bellows crust on her. How many freaking things does Bellows have? She's got Bellows goo, Bellows crust. I'm done with Bellows, bro. <laughs> Look at Luz. She's just in despair from all that nasty. <laughs> Look at this. You got the legendary pizza bagel. Some say it gives amazing health buffs. Oh, straight out of video game, dude. Literally, if Collector was in a video game and you gave them a pizza bagel, they'd be invincible. It'd be like a star from Mario. You literally couldn't beat them. Back with the Titan Lose. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Our streak is starting once again. Happy little string bean. Extremely happy Titan Lose with the wink, too. You gotta love it, dude. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I like this one. Where or where do you think magic comes from? Maybe a little tricky to read, but I mean, not that tricky. I love what they did with like the think and the magic. It's like dark on the outer letters, then like bright on the like the I and the G. That's very cool. And then they got the Bellows heart with like, you know, he's possessing the Titan. That looks good, dude. And, like the pixel art looks really clean too. Definitely a unique standout piece. I'm a fan. And we got Titan Bellows himself to pair with it. Look at this dude. He just looks like a glob. Just looks like a straight up glob. They didn't even bother giving him freaking pupils. He can't even see. He's blind. <laughs> but then again, he is melting. So you know what? It works. Hey, we got time skip Lilith again, dude. Let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. So many of these designs are so fire, but I got hardly any scream time. And Lilith's definitely one of them for sure. Oh, Titan Loose is ready for a fight in this one. That's for sure. Look at the sparkles coming off. It's kind of beat up. You can see like the marks on her face, dude. Okay, this is definitely like a mid battle with Bellos or something. Love the lighting on this one too. You can just see like only ha like part of her face and like part of her body is lit up. All the rest is just kind of like dark and inside this like Bellos freaking castle. Oh, it's so sick. Next we got Time Skip Willow with her little palisman. How freaking adorable, dude. Uh, with the caption dedicated to my friend Willow, not from the Owl House. That's so cool. That's so cool to know somebody who's like the same name as like a character you watch. I always wish there was somebody who was named after my name in a show, but you know, it's kind of hard to find somebody else named Z's. <laughs> Titan Loose, yeah, baby. Titan Loose, that's what I'm talking about. We got another Titan Loose in and a secret code down here at the bottom too. Hmm, not really sure what that could be. All right, I don't think it's an alphabetical code because it would be D I W D J W, which I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that means. But uh, yeah, um, Titan Loose. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna pay attention to the Titan Loose. Titan Loose looks cool. Don't know what the secret code is, but whatever. Oh, look at, she's so surprised. She's so surprised at the new King Glyph. Look at the lighting on this one, dude. This one's so well done. Oh my gosh, dude. From the drawing itself to the lighting, man, these artists are talented, dude. Even got the little string bean watching too. Very, very good. This is a bit of a unique one. We got uh, Loose, like Titan Loose, versus Bellos, but they're both dragons. Uh, I guess the Titan Bellows maybe could have looked a little dragon-like. Honestly, I think he looked more like Garen from Fire Emblem Conquest. But this is a pretty cool piece. You got tears coming from Luce's eye. You got multiple eyes on the Bellows dragon, dude. This would be a showdown for the centuries, dude. Uh, next up, we got the Collector. Hugs and friends solve everything. Oh, that's so cute, dude. That's such a cute little funny scene. Uh, then we got Bellows Lit Licorire. Is that supposed to say licorice? Bellows licorice? Is that what that's supposed to say? <laughs> Bellows licorice. What would that taste like, bro? I gotta stop trying to eat like Bellows and Luce's magic. Dude, I swear I'm about to eat, like just desire to eat so many random things after this art contest. I swear. Pizza bagels included, of course. Oh, next up we got waffles. A little palace one, very adorable. I love the little magic swirl. That was the first thing I noticed is that little magic swirl. Almost looks like waffles could be in pain, but I don't know. I think it's just the magic effect, but that's cool. That's cool. I like the little magic. The magic effect, I, I really like that. I don't know why. I, I think that's just really cool. Oh, now we got I Loaf You from King's Dad. Kind of hard to see, but we got the King's Dad in the background with the glyph, and then, you know, King there accepting the fact that his dad does indeed loaf him, even though he never really got to see him, sadly. How sweet. Aw, next we got a little painting. This is a painting. Ooh, okay. You can tell from the, the little globs left over. Very interesting. Oh, we got waffles. Little waffles. I believe the name is actually Waffles instead of Waffle. I thought it was Waffle at first, but apparently it is Waffles. And uh, they also got the Rip Flatback at the top. Poor Flatback, but Waffles will carry on Flapjack spirit. That is for sure. Oh, dear. Um, well... When I said waffles would carry on flapjack spirit, I did not mean in this way. <laughs> this is buff waffles. Just looking absolutely ready to destroy anything in her way. Oh my gosh. 
She truly has hit the gym many times. Oh, look at this, dude. This style is so clean. Look at the way they colored this. Yo. Yo, this is so good. I wish it was like a little clearer to see, but the colored pencil and just... All right, that's that's amazing. You got the palace, you got little waffles, they got flowers for Flapjack's grave. Oh my gosh, dude. This is adorable. This is such an adorable piece. And we're back to Titan Loose. That's right, baby. Did you forget? This is actually a Titan Loose contest. What the heck is watching and Jamie, dude? I only know about Titan Loose. Look at the lighting on the hair. That's beautiful, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. You guys are crazy with the lighting. You got the black magic going crazy with even some little gold wisps in there, too. Yo, you guys go crazy with the Titan Loose art, I swear. Oh, now we got Time Skip Amity. You know, weirdly enough, we haven't seen that much Time Skip Amity yet. I know there's a lot of her in this contest, but. Maybe not so much at the very start of the entries, but we got her here. She's flying with her cute little ghost talisman. Very solid. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Look at the collector. He looks so happy to be playing marbles with the Toe Trio. Yo, this is supposed to be like such a scary scene or at least like kind of sad scene with the collector, but he looks so happy. Just looks so happy to be playing with their lives. Aw, look at this. Titan Loose and King going in for a little hug. Truly the Titan siblings, dude. They really are just the Titan siblings. That's so cute. Look at the little sparkles all around King and all around Loose. Oh my gosh, and the little lighting effects. That's so adorable, bro. That is so adorable. Aw, now we have like the final scene of uh, Loose when she was still young. Nothing lasts forever. Things do indeed change, Loose. Things do indeed change. But you know, it, it's also new beginnings and whatnot. That's, that's what that scene was saying, and it truly was a new beginning for all Loose. Very solid redraw here, very, very good. <laughs> all right, we got like a lot of little images here. We got the Titan Loose, of course. That technically counts as a streak, I'm counting it. And we got that iconic Loose face, which just like, what? <laughs> when the collector's going to like try and forgive Bellas or whatever. We got Flapjack's grave. And we got little King off to the side. Very adorable, dude. Very, very cool shots. Some of my favorites for sure. <laughs> I got Titan Loose, that's a streak of two. Let's go, dude, let's go. <laughs> Titan Loose going crazy, look at that. She just looks so somber and so mature. And then you've got Amity. <laughs> I do wish we got to see some of the other characters react to Titan Loose, but whatever, it's fine. That's what fan art's for, baby. We got a streak of three. Yo, let's go, we're at a streak of three again. We got the Titan Loose, she's so happy, dude. Oh, man. I love the zooming into all these Titan Loose pieces, looking at all the detail, even like with the little tip on the hat, they always like put so much detail on that. Yo. I'm telling you, dude, every single piece, without a doubt, goes hard with the Titan Loose art. Yo, streak of four. That's our highest streak. That's our highest streak of Titan Loose art. Let's go, baby. Four Titan Looses in a row. Look at this beautiful background with all the different colored glyphs. The beautiful lighting on uh, the hair. Yo, dude, this is so good. How are people this freaking good at art? I swear, just stop being this good. I can't take it. <laughs> this is too much dopamine. <laughs> Streak of five, yo, this is a streak of five. Streak of five alert, five Titan Looses in a row. Although this one is just uh, looking out over the sky, I guess. There's like a little spot. I don't know if that's supposed to be Bellas. I don't know what that is, but Titan Loose is just looking out over the boiling aisles, it looks like, perhaps protecting it from further harm. You're joking. A streak of six? Yo, we're crazy out here with the Titan Loose art. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a very stylized one. You got the watching and dreaming logo on the side. Very happy, almost a little confident, a little cocky. Uh, tight and loose there with adorable little string bean, dude. Love the style of this one. Very, very solid and very, very fluffy with the hair too. Oh, our streak's over. That's unfortunate. We had six tight loose in a row. Let's remember that for later. But next we got a little epilogue scene here with the Harpy, Lilith, Redraw, Hootie, of course, Owlbert, Willow, Hunter, and Amity all in one place. That's what we like to see, dude. All the characters coming together with Harpy, Lilith taken main stage. Very awesome redraw. Oh, next we got Titan Bellos and a little mini collector, dude. That's adorable. This scene is so freaking funny, but dude, look at this little collector. Oh, that's so cute, dude. That is so cute, though Bellos is not having it. All right, we got another time skip, Ida. Let's go. I haven't seen too much of Ida yet so far. Uh, what the heck is up with that owl bird, though? Do I want to know why he looks like a chicken nugget? I don't think I do. <laughs> But I like all the details and I like the little uh, king glyph down in the bottom right. We have a very solid and clean looking Titan Loose here. Not too much shading, but very, very solid. She looks a little concerned though. I worry for her. Whoa, okay. This is very pretty. Uh, I'm not sure what this is made with, but this is like a mixture of different tools uh, built together to make like this very beautiful picture of the Titan. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
You know whenever you go to like the doctor or like the dentist or whatever, and they always seem to have like nice landscape art on the walls. Can we just add stuff like this to the walls, please? <laughs> All right, we got Titan Loose, The Collector, and String Bean. Dude, Titan Loose looks so tall compared to The Collector. <laughs> I know The Collector's short, but I don't think he's that short. <laughs> well, you know, maybe the Titan Loose form gives her a little bit more height. Who knows? <laughs> Aw, snap. We got a streak of two with two Titan Looses back to back. That is what I'm talking about, dude. Look at that. She looks so confident, so cocky, truly posing after a job well done of beating up old Bellos. <laughs> Who are you? I'm you, but better. I mean... It's not a lie. Listen, I mean, to be fair, we haven't given Waffles enough chance. Waffles Lily is only been on the screen for like, what, maybe 20 seconds of total screen time. So I do like Flapjack much better, obviously. But, you know, if there ever comes a day where we get more content, we can give Waffles a fair chance. Ooh, another pixel art like Bellows theme. Interesting. This time he's just being sliced right in half. Forget stomp on him, dude. Just take a sword slice right through that stupid skull of his. Very nice. I always love looking at pixel art. <laughs> Bruh. This is literally just a total bra moment. Look at this. He's not having it. This is like literally him to Bellows, bro. This is literally him to Bellows. <laughs> I like that the little paper cutout, too. That's so neat. On another Flapjack and Waffles. This one's a bit more wholesome than the <laughs> one from before. That's so adorable, dude. I like the little sparkles that you got and like a little... I almost want to say like a little halo around Flapjack. That's adorable, dude. And you have like Waffles looking up to him. You've got big shoes to fill Waffles. Oh gosh, we got this very creepy Bellas. I always love this like exact still of Bellas. He looks so creepy when he's just like taunting Rain for getting inside the heart. And even in this one, he's just like, are you ready for the next pandemic? I'm going to spread faster than the C virus. Oh my gosh, dude. That's, <laughs> he literally did though. He's not lying. Literally, he spread so freaking fast across the Titan. Yo, another pixel art. Okay, oh, well, we're getting some similar entries back to back here. That's what we like to see. This is just the Collector and King redraw scene, but now it's pixel art. That's so good, dude. The pixel art just looks so good. If you told me this was like on a DS game, yo, dude, I would kill for an Hourhouse DS game. <laughs> if this is like on a freaking DS game, I would believe you, dude. I would actually believe you. That's so adorable. Oh, dear. We've gone from adorable to absolutely cursed. Do you think even the worst person slash witch could change? <laughs> dude, I find this comparison so funny. Like the Titan and Sans, dude. Oh my gosh. It's actually like one of my favorite jokes. Even though it's like, it's so low hanging fruit, but it's literally so funny, dude. And like, why does Sans now have the pants? What happened to the Titan's pants? He's just wearing, wait, it's an outfit swap. Oh, I didn't even notice. It's a complete outfit swap. <laughs> They're even doing like a pose song. Like he's got like the freaking hands of the pockets like Sans does. Oh my gosh. And Sans is like freaking whatever you want to call those things. The gaster blaster. It's got the glyph in it. Yo, that's actually a pretty cool crossover. Gotta say. That's actually sick. Speaking of sick, we're back to the Titan Loose. That's right, dude. Look at that fluffy hair. That's what we like to see, dude. She's in quite the happy pose, too. Good for you, Titan Loose. The battle's over. Oh, now we got like a little poster here. We got Bellows. <laughs> <laughs> Looking angry as ever all the way on the left. Titan loose down in the very bottom. I'm gonna count that as a streak of two. And we got the collector over to the right looking quite concerned. I love how they have this too. Like the watching part is all Bellosy, the dreaming part is all starry. And I guess the and part kind of has like that magical effect with Titan loose. That's cool. That's a cool poster. Yo, that's actually a sick idea. And another Flapjack and Waffles, dude. I can't get enough of this, dude. I I, I love like, there's a lot of edges with like Flapjack and Waffles. It, they're all so good. They're literally all so good. Keep him safe. I'm sure she'll do a great job, Flapjack. Don't worry. He's in good hands. Aw, look at this collector. Look at his fluffy little hair, dude. I just want to give him like a noogie. <laughs> He's even got Francois to remember freaking King by. That's so good, dude. Love the little shading bits on this. And I like the little uh, stars that we got over here. Almost kind of looks like Amphibia. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Great art, though. Very good art. So this one's a bit interesting. We got a whole lot of little symbols around here. We got like the Titan eye, the collector's face, the glyphs, and just a bunch of quotes from watching and dreaming. Pretty nice stuff. Pretty, pretty nice stuff. A collector is kind of scaring me though, I won't lie. Thanks for watching. That's right, dude. There, there's a lot of pieces like this too, where you have like Luce, Ida, and King all saying thanks for watching. Such a good show, man. Such a freaking good show. Hootie Cake? Yo, why does that look so good though? Both the art and also the cake. Yo, I'm kind of, oh my gosh, dude, you guys are making me hungry. <laughs> oh, I want some freaking cake now, dude. I, I don't even know. I, I had this cake in front of me. I don't know if I could be the first one to cut it because I'd have to just kill Hootie. I'd be killing Hootie and also I'd be killing the artwork. But, you know, that's part of the fun. I mean, what? <laughs>
Okay, we got like a whole collage of images all taped together here. We got up at the top left, we got King's Dad, we got Titan Bellows, the Collector, and then the Trio going crazy with the magic, dude. I like referring to when Luce is in her Titan form, I like referring to these three as the Beast Trio. Specifically, when they're all in their like, you know, attack forms. I like calling them the Beast Trio. I don't think that's gonna like catch on or anything, but I don't know. I'll be referring to them as the Beast Trio when they're in their like attack forms. I just think that sounds so sick. So yeah, the Beast Trio, dude. This is so good. Ooh, rare Philip art. All right, good to see Philip, even though he basically dies like 10 seconds later. <laughs> but it's still a good redraw, dude. I, I really do like that scene, showing how Bellos just won't give up to the very end. Hey, dude, Beast Trio, let's go. Look at you. Ida's so happy, dude. She's like, yeah, we beat Bellos. We killed Bellos. While King is just like, Wah! in the background, dude. Oh, man. Beast Trio's back, dude. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Look at, like, the... The lighting that comes off of their eyes, dude. Where they had like the beams of light, like with King with his mouth. Yo, that looks so cool. And they all got like little symbols. Like King's got the collar symbol, Lucy's got the glyph, and then Ida's got little Albert there. Yo, that's freaking sick, dude. Beast Trio hype. Aw, this is adorable. I need to tell you I loaf you. I love these bread puns, dude. He's just handing him a bread. <laughs> That's the first thing they do is if they meet each other, they just hand some a bread, dude. Oh, that's adorable, dude. This looks so good. I would kill to see the two of them actually meet and talk. And we're back to the Titan Loose once again, looking classic as ever. Although, what happened to her hat? Where's her hat? What the heck? I mean, I guess we're just embracing all the fluff. So, you know what? I guess that's fine, too. Oh, there's our second Titan Loose in a row. That's its streak of two. Let's go, dude. We got a classic Titan Loose, but this one's a little different. This is uh, like a puppet Titan Loose. We got like... The little puppet thing on the mouth, and then you got like the little collector charms coming off the hat. Interesting. Both puppet and titan. Hmm. What a combo. Aw, now we got loose in the nightmare realm. It's all your fault! Is what I would say if it was, but it's not. You're you're fine, loose. Don't worry. Stop crying! Stop crying! <laughs> Love the little glowy effects on this. This looks very nice. <laughs> Dude, this one's so chaotic. Look at this, dude. It's just Lou showing off String Bean to everybody. Look at String Bean! String Bean! <laughs> it's just, oh, man, dude. Like, even, like, Ida and King are like, oh, my gosh, cute. We're gonna eat her. <laughs> Aw, look at that. He looks so happy, dude. We got King's dad and a nice little bread loaf here. It looks like there's lots of steam coming off. Did you make that just for us, King's dad? Oh, my gosh. Everybody dig in. Please, let's eat up this bread. <laughs> Man, it'd be so awesome to just have a meal with King's dad. Imagine all the stuff you'd learn from him. Oh, now we got a little loose redraw with the uh, watching and dreaming poster. Very good, very, very solid. Love the little glyph and the lights coming off of it. It's very dull, but also you can still kind of see it. Looks good. <laughs> all the same episode, we got King's dad, Bellow skeleton completely dying. That actually looks terrifying. Then we got like the beauty hoodie over here. Oh my gosh. Although don't, don't, don't think you can get away with putting King's Dad of the Sands outfit. Don't think I didn't notice that. Oh my gosh, dude. That uh, probably won't be the last time we'll see him in that outfit. All right, tighten loose. Uh, at first I thought this was upside down, but no, it is not upside down. It's perfectly correct. She's hanging upside down on uh, the staff. Dude, that's cool. That's cool. She's just like chilling. She's probably waving to all her friends like, yo, check out what I can do. <laughs> Oh, now we got time skip loose. Okay, not quite the Titan loose, but that's all right. That's all right. Uh, there's a lot of time skip loose in this competition too, but you know, not nearly as many as the uh, the Titan loose. But this is solid redraw. Solid, solid redraw. Funny how things change, isn't it? I don't know if that's correct grammar, but I get what you're going for here. You got loose in season one, then you got like loose in season three, or basically like when she's in the nightmare realm. Oh man, dude, the character development dude goes crazy. It really goes crazy in this show. Aw, look at this. There's time skip Hunter and Willow chilling, hanging out. Willow's growing some plants or whatever, and Hunter's just like, yeah, grow those plants. <laughs> It also looks like he's got like a uh, unfinished waffles in his hand. I'm not really sure what's up with that, but maybe he's like in the process of carving waffles at this time. Interesting. Very good art. I really like this one. Oh dear. <laughs> I mean, you can't get more simple than that. Although you did spell bagels wrong. Pizza bagels. <laughs> Whatever. I don't think the collector cares as long as he can eat them. <laughs> oh, well, hold on now. Now he's switched over to eating Tibbles. Let's go. We eating Tibbles tonight, baby. <laughs> Who needs pizza bagels when you got freaking Tibbles bacon, dude? That's what I'm talking about. Also, that flatback dude, goaded. Aw, okay. No bread pot on this one. Just a straight up, I love you. And he's like, oh, dad, is that you? Dude, it's so cute. 
Oh, why did we get this, dude? They should have met. Even if it's just for like 30 seconds, dude. Oh my gosh. I need it to happen, dude. I really need it to happen. Because he was looking for him the whole freaking time. Okay, you know what? I'm over it. I'm over it. But we get to see it in fan art, dude. And we're back with the Titan Loose, dude. Look at all the detail on this one, too. Really nice shading across the drawing. Glyphs in the background. And he got the ultimate quote where she just absolutely destroys Bellos, dude. That is what I'm talking about, dude. Great job on this one. Oh, that's a streak of two, baby, with a Titan Loose once again. Let's go, dude. Look at all the glyphs, dude. Not sure what that thing is in the bottom left, but, uh... She seems to be very curious about this new power that she has. Aw, we got Flapjack's grave. How cute, dude. How cute. Kind of looks like he has two wings on one side almost, but I really do appreciate how many people drew a tribute to Flapjack in this uh, competition because there were a lot, and I love all of them, including this one. Oh, we got another piece of Lumity fan art here with their reunite kiss right at the very end of uh, Watching and Dreaming. Pretty solid redraw, honestly. Ooh, this one's interesting. We got like another half and half one, but this one's with uh, just loose in the Halloween outfit. And then you got the Titan loose. Does this count towards our streak? I'm gonna count towards the streak. <laughs> this one's very unique though. I really, really like this one with the combination of like pen and markers and pencil. I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of tools used to make this one. You can really see the level of detail on it too. It looks very awesome. Aw, we got Hunter here at the ending with a thanks for three years. Aw, look at all the little details here, dude. We got freaking waffles, a crying hootie with the stupid S, rip flat back in the back, and watch murder drones. I mean, that's not related to Toe, but I probably will watch it eventually. <laughs> Aw, man, just seeing Hunter waving goodbye gives me the feels, dude. Uh, we got V up next. Hey, time skip V. It's been a minute. We haven't seen V in a little bit. There's another piece where it looks like they combine multiple tools, like a pen or like markers. Almost looks like a watercolor looking thing. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell with uh, some of these images, but I love the way she's just holding little Albert there, dude. That's adorable. Oh, this one's good. Look, first off, I'm looking at like the shading just on Hunter. Already looks really, really good. He's crying while looking at waffles, probably remembering, oh, Flapjack, take him to the moon for me. Maybe not legitimately, but like, <laughs> you know, to the moon and back. We always say that. Oh man, look at the little halo on the little flapjack too. That's so cute, dude. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love how you very much stylized uh, Flapjack and Waffles and even Hunter himself as well. Really like this style. <laughs> Ew, what the heck? My insides feel like colors. Oh, <laughs> they're eating the freaking, they're eating the freaking star. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, even the, look at the clock, they're crying. It's like, what? What are you doing? You're not supposed to eat the warp star. You're supposed to ride on it. Now I'm kind of wondering what it tastes like. Oh my gosh. I gotta stop trying to eat magic. I have to stop. I have a problem. Okay, we go from a silly uh, puppet rain to a very serious puppet rain, or I guess I should say uh, possessed rain in this case here. Yo, this one looks sick, dude. Look at that expression, the lighting on the costume, the star that doesn't have a bite taken out of it. That looks awesome, dude. Can you see the bellow scars? Yo, this one's sick, dude. Ooh, this one's kind of neat. This is like a very stylized one. You got the Bellos eye on the left, the Titan loose eye on the right, and then you got King's dad, his whole face in the background there. That one looks sick, dude. Oh my gosh. You can just tell so easily like whose eyes they are. They just stand out so well, man. They stand out so freaking well. I really, really like this one. Maybe it's just because it's like so dark, but then the eyes like really make it light. I don't know. I think it looks awesome. Hey, now we got time skip. Well, let's go, dude. Doing like a little peace sign there. Looks like she's also holding on to something. Not really sure what that is, but good to see some more time skip willow drawings. Oh, and we're back to Titan Loose again. Looking a little extra wobbly today. Not sure what's up with that, but it looks like she's about to just throw down a glyph, which is a bit odd because I don't think Titan Loose needs to use the paper glyphs, but whatever. Maybe she just wants like an extra effect. <laughs> she just wants to layer the glyphs on top of each other, both Titan magic and her regular glyphs. Oh, we got a streak of two. Look at this happy Titan loose, dude. She is so happy. She doesn't even need eyebrows to emphasize how happy she is. <laughs> oh, what a classic, dude. Love the little glyphs around it as well. Oh, we got a little two for one here with the time skip Lilith. We got just regular time skip Lilith doing her research. And then we got the harpy Lilith, dude. Let's go, dude. I said it once and I'll say it again. Underrated design, dude. Such an underrated design. And the color palette just works so well, man. Nope, we got a little time skip Hunter and Willow redraw right here. Look, <laughs> look at their faces, dude. Their expressions are so freaking funny. I love it when people put like the comparison where they have it like in the actual show that they can see like the art in their style. That's always so cool, dude. Get to, getting to see two different styles of art looks very, very good. Oh no, there is no escape, Collector. Get that freaking bellows crossed off of you, please. Scrape it off with a cheese grater if you have to. <laughs> oh man. 
Poor collector. Poor, poor collector. Hey, this one's better. There we go. No, no, no more bellows crossed. Let's go, dude. Just hang out with King in this beautiful field of flowers and the freaking stars. Yo, this is actually really, really beautiful. Look at, like, the detail on the grass, dude. Yo. Yo, this is actually beautiful. <laughs> All right, we got like a little uh, time skip. Uh, Luce and Amity here with their little hearts with a caption. If you think about it, it's all thanks to Hootie. And he's like making a heart with his endless tube there. And you know what? They're not wrong. It is technically all thanks to Hootie. Thanks to them. Can we just get thanks to Hootie? <laughs> I don't know what about this like Willow is, but it looks like she's just staring into your soul. I love it, dude. We got another time skip Willow, which we've seen quite a bit recently, but you know, I'm not complaining. She's definitely nowhere near as popular in this contest as Titan Loose was. So it's good to give her some time to shine here. See what I mean, dude? There's Titan Loose once again. Look at this very somber one. This one's like a little more realistic, dude. Very interesting style. I very much like it. And the different levels of shading, dude. You just like look at the face. You can see all the different uh, like levels of shading there. I don't really know how to describe it other than that, but I just think it looks really, really solid. Hey, yo, we're back to the time skip Willow again? <laughs> we just had like a redraw of this piece. That's so good. It's so funny that they're all so close together, too. That's quite a coincidence. This one looks really, really solid, too. I really, really like this style and just like the sketchy sort of uh, line art with it. And of course, you got the flapjack uh, tattoo on full display there. You'll love to see it, dude. <laughs> okay, this is another one of these like uh steven universe like collector sort of uh poses here i'm gonna guess you got like the reactions like literally live reaction meme with king loose and uh ito off to the left and even bells is like what <laughs> it's such a silly scene dude like literally the collector is just trying their best but unfortunately it's freaking bellows dude and you're not gonna have any luck with bellows i'm sorry collector oh i'm sorry for everything what is this stuff why won't it stop that's tears buddy you finally learned what tears are another really great scene dude really love the lighting on this one too but it's so sad to see the collector crying don't worry buddy she comes back and she's very awesome when she does see what i mean <laughs> we got another titan lucy yo this one kind of goes hard look at the levels of lighting on this one really like the lighting on this one for sure and the cocky smile from titan loose and the adorable little string bean she's just she's even petting little string bean this all piece is awesome Aw, bird buddies once again. We got Hunter and Waffles. That Waffles is adorable. And we got a big old Flapjack watching over them in the background. That's what you love to see, dude. Love the lighting and the shading on this one as well. Very solid. Very cute. <laughs> Bellows dies sees his brother. Look at, yo, look at the fit on Caleb, though. Holy moly. Yo, Caleb looking kind of clean. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> he would not say what's up, bro, after literally killing or getting killed by freaking Philip. Oh my gosh, it literally says, I will kill you again. They're already dead. I'm going to kill you again, bro. Oh my gosh. Love this kale design, though. Like, this kale design goes kind of hard. Oh, and another flapjack grave looking very, very beautiful. Beautiful background, beautiful plants and colors, shading, all looks beautiful. We've been having so much flapjack content recently, and I'm all here for it, dude. He's so freaking cute. Ah, oh, look at this little, look at this adorable King's dad, dude. He's so happy, just like, hey. Hey, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> dude, literally, he'd be like the most chill dad of all time, dude. Oh my gosh. He literally was like one of the best characters and he got like no screen time. <laughs> oh, that's okay though. That's okay. It makes him more special. Uh, hey, Waffles, are you okay? You seem like you've seen a ghost. Yeah, she sees Flapjack's ghost, dude. How cute, dude. The bird buddies, the bird siblings so very precious oh okay this is a bit of a unique style of the brush that they use for this very like chalk like i really like it and look at the look at those like claws dude she's coming at you with the claws now eat this sucker <laughs> yo this one looks awesome dude I, I love this brush i don't know what kind of brush this is but it looks very very nice and the hair is like top tier fluffy dude so you already know that it wins points in my book Ooh, yo look at this pose dude look at this pose of just like complete epicness completely standing on this like icicle structure you got the shining glyphs and a sparkling string bean and look at the lighting of titan loose you can see like the red and the blue like giving off the light onto her like fluffy cloak or whatever dude that's sick and even her teeth are like mega sharp oh my goodness dude so much detail in this one too oh look at this dude it's a little tricky to see it feels like it's a little dark but this is like in the nightmare realm and thank goodness little string bean was there with loose that's right you were not alone in the nightmare realm loose thank goodness you had this fluffy little bean and looks like there's also like the spirit of flapjack there as well oh how adorable dude this little hunter he's just chilling so like a chibi looking little hunter time skip hunter he's just chilling 
Having a good old time, having a sit, just relaxing. That's what he needs, dude. After all the suffering he went through, you deserve it, bud. Oh, we're back to the Titan Lewis, and she does not look too happy. Oh, my goodness. But she also looks like she's been beat up. <laughs> looks like she just got out of a fight. So this could be her just literally looking down at Bella. It's like, bruh, you are the dumbest guy I've ever met. Loving the style, though. I love the way they did, like, the little cape thing. I don't really know what to call it. I'm just going to keep calling it, like, a little cape or cloak or something. But I, lo I love the way that they did that. Ooh, two Titan Looses back to back, dude. Look at the fluffiness on this Titan Loose, dude. That is amazing. It even got the little bean. Look at this bean, happy as can be. <laughs> uh, look, Darius. Yo, dude, I loved that scene so much. And he was like, oh, yo, look. Look at my sewing job. I don't suck at sewing anymore. I can actually sew wolves under my shirt. That's such a cute redraw, dude. Oh, my gosh. He's so happy. Oh, I love this freaking scene so much. What a great redraw. Oh, what's with this Titan loose? got her tongue stuck out. Like, <laughs> going for like a little prank there or something. Has her eyes looking up to the left this almost looks like it could be like a lol face <laughs> oh gosh i forgot about lol face what an old meme anyway nice drawing oh we got time skip loose saying college here i come but don't worry you're not gonna go to a boring real college you're gonna go straight to an awesome university of wild magic that's what we're talking about loose that's the good stuff if only we could go there as well i'm sure we all would Ooh, this is a very cool time skip, Willow. Okay, I really like this style and like that kind of realistic looking expression, but she also looks very like confident. Looks like she's getting ready for a game of flyer derby or something. Ooh, this is an interesting style. I already like what they're doing with the uh, the face where they have like the hair that uh, comes in front of the face, but it's like sort of translucent. We can still see like the collector's eyes. That's so good. Oh, that's really, really good. And got like the really, really beautiful lighting effects. Yo, this is such an interesting style. Oh my gosh. Hey, we're back to Titan Loose, dude. Let's go. Yo, she looks so happy, dude. That is so adorable. The mega fluffy hair, the happy little string bean, just, just all wrapped up around her arm, and the beautiful lighting, and all the little sparkly stars in the background. Oh, that looks awesome, dude. All right, we got two Titan Looses back to back. Interesting style here as well. As opposed to being fluffy, this uh, hair looks a little more graceful uh, than before, but I really like the little uh, highlights that they put on the hair as well. That looks very, very solid. Very solid overall piece, just looking down at pathetic old Bellos. Oh, we got a streak of three. Can we keep it going? Can we beat our old streak of six? We got another Titan loose. This one just looks happy. She's just like, oh, you Bellos? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that was me. I killed him, by the way. That was me. All me, yep. Look at me, job well done. <laughs> I'm the one who killed Bellos. And of course, he got all the classic glyphs in the background, dude. You never go wrong with shoving more glyphs in the background. That's what we like to see. Oh, this one's neat. Okay, so we got the whole gang here in the boiling aisles saying thanks for everything. But it's like uh, at the end of the like credits of season one when Lusa lets the light glyph go. It's like here as well where she lets the light glyph go, except it's the new light glyph. That's so cool. Yo, that's so cool. It's like a new beginning. That's awesome. Aw, oh, look at this style. Yo, this is such an adorable little style. I don't really know what you would describe these eyes as, but I love like this style of eyes. I see this style of eyes in like multiple different places. I love it so much. I don't really know what to call it, but I really, really like what they do with the eyes here. And she's also got like a little coffee. Look at that. I guess she's living in the human room, goes to get a coffee, comes back to the <laughs> freaking boiling aisles. Oh my gosh, truly living the best of both worlds, aren't you, Luce? Oh, and we're back with Hunter and the Bird Buddies. We got Waffles, Flapjack's Grave, and Hunter just chilling right down to Flapjack's Grave. I hope he goes there often. I really do. He probably does, you know? Uh, it's, it's right near his workplace uh, in the forest. I'm sure I'm sure he visits Flapjack's Grave uh, quite often. But this is a very good piece. Love all the little leaves and roses and just pretty nature stuff in the background. Looks good. Oh, and we got another time skip Hunter. Two back to back. Should we keep a streak of this? No. Nah. <laughs> But uh, looks like he's got like a little braid going on here. Interesting. You know, it kind of works. I won't even lie. It actually kind of works, huh? He seems happy about it. Ooh, yo, look at this comparison. First off, I love like the color choice here. This is a very interesting little color choice we got on here. I love like the little like lighting effect near Titan Loose's eyes. And then near the bottom left, you got like the loose that's completely being like enveloped in the freaking bellows crust. This looks so good, dude. Oh my gosh. I love uh, these colors. It's got like a very overall like bluish tint to it. That looks really, really good. Wow. And we got another Titan Loose. That's right. We go back to back, dude. Look at the freaking eyes that looks clean and i really love how just people work so hard on this lighting dude just like seeing how they have like the center of a light be like white and like the outer colors like actually represent the color it really helps them like stand out 
I don't know. I, I really like that technique of just like having the center be white, even though it doesn't really look like it's white. It's almost like a, I don't know, like a trick. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it on that, but it, looks, it just looks really, really good. I love when people are doing that. Oh, we got three back to back here. Interesting. Uh, what is she holding there? Hmm, looks like a little marble. Is that one of the collector's marbles? Hmm, not sure what that is, because string bean's right there. I don't really know what that is. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, I do like this one. The hair looks very, very fluffy as always, but she looks a little somber in this one too. Interesting. Oh, and now she goes from somber to complete confidence. Let's go, dude. Look at that freaking beam. She's charged up a magic beam. It's over for you, Bellows, dude. It is freaking over. Look at that smile, dude. She is having the time of her life in this Titan form. Loving this pose, dude. I'm really loving this pose. Hey, we got a time skip V. Let's go, dude. We got some more V love going for a little peace sign there. Let's go. Good to see more V. This is another unique entry. We got Titan Loose, but Lego? Huh. Interesting. Actually looks good. And look what they did with the glyphs. They got like the little invisible uh, Legos to like, you know, prop them up so it looks like they're floating. Yo, this looks really good, dude. Can I please start selling like Owl House Legos, bro? I'd buy them. <laughs> oh, yo, bro. Yo, instead of stomping on Bellows, they just completely smack him up with the PS5, bro. Oh my gosh. And the PS5 controller. I didn't even see the PS5 controller. They smack his noggin with the PS5 controller. Oh my gosh, dude. There's also some Japanese characters. Uh, the one on the left says, Bedosuga? I think that might be a she. This might be Bedosuga Shinu, which means Bellows dies. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Ooh, ooh, okay, this one's a little uh, little edgy. We got some blood on uh, King's little tusks here. Kind of scary, I won't lie. You got the tears coming out of his glowing eye. Oh my gosh, dude. This one's kind of scary, but you know, that that, that uh, Beast King, I don't really know what else to call it, but like the Beast King when he goes like crazy. It's very, very cool. Oh, and now we got King's dad once again. He's just chilling in the in-between. Sadly, there's not much else he can do but watch over his family, but you know, I'm sure he has a good time watching over King and the others. Oh, we're back with Titan Loose again, and this time she's just chilling. She's literally just chilling, just holding on to her little bean, little string bean there. How cute. Ooh, streak of two, we got another Titan Loose. Let's go, dude. I like the background already. I like the little, just little bubbly colors. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Also like just that one pathetic stance once again. The pathetic look down at Bellows, dude. What is this? Hey, son, I killed Bellows. <laughs> He's slaying. He do be slaying, though. I mean, technically, he didn't kill Bellows. Actually, Bellows killed him. But, you know, the powers helped assist in Bellows' death. But whatever. This is the better ending. Actually keeping King's dad alive. Well, even though his, like, real body is dead. I don't, I don't know how it works. <laughs> Ooh, we got one final goodbye. Look at that. You can see Luce looking back. We had the whole gang, but Luce is the only one who's turning around being like, yo, we got an audience. <laughs> one final goodbye, though, truly. This truly is one final goodbye. Ooh, like the lighting on this one already. The collector reaching up toward the light, trying to catch that last light that Luce left off when she sacrificed herself to save the collector. Such a good scene. Hey, look at this. We got Titan Luce, and we even got Philip this time. This time we can actually see Philip in this piece. Look at it. <laughs> Philip's just like, uh, please. <laughs> you can even see his like fingers falling off. Start, starting to see some of his bones exposed. Ew, ew, that's kind of nasty. I like what they did with the uh, outline on this one. Though. The outline is like a purplish color. I don't know. I, I really like it though. It looks very nice. Really love the background too. Love like how they did uh, like a little spiral with like the sky. I don't know. It looks really cool. Oh, streak it too with the Titan loose once again. She's going crazy with those glyphs. The entire left side is dark, but the right side is all lit up from those glyphs. That's what we like to see, dude. Love the little hair highlights, solid pose, and of course you got the ultimate quote right there at the end. That's what we like to see. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hello, sweet potato. Amity's got her stupid tomato face, and then, oh no, Amity is broken. It's a Kahootstrophy. I think it's supposed to be catastrophe, but it's like Kahootstrophy. It's too many puns. <laughs> But yeah, this is if she actually saw Titan Loose, which again, more people should see Titan Loose. This is also a streak of three, so let's go. Oh, the streak ends, but look at this. We got a cute little collector with a little umbrella. That's adorable. Literally just using the umbrella to like stop the bellows goo from raining down. Oh my gosh, that's such a funny little idea, dude. <laughs> Ooh, look at this expression, dude. You can definitely see the intensity from King in this one. Oh my gosh. This is very, very skilled artwork. I really like this one. The tears coming off too, and the, like the sharp teeth. Oh, that looks sick, dude. Oh, we're back to the Titan Loose, and this one's very uh, dark, very uh, much a dark theme, but I love how you can see the very 
Even it's very faint, it's a very faint glow from the eyes. Expression's really cool, and I really like the just faint little highlights throughout the piece as well. It looks nice. Oh, and this time we got Titan Loose, but she's winking, I guess? <laughs> Almost looks like she's reaching towards something. Maybe she's trying to give King a hug or something, or maybe she's about to freaking rip Bellos out of the heart. <laughs> Either way, good piece. Hey, okay, this is a bit interesting. We got the Butterfly Star, we got Calamity Ant, and we got Titan Loose. That's crazy, Dad. Just not realizing how many, like, final forms all of these characters have in different shows. Very interesting. It's kind of cool to compare them all. Aw, oh, it's 609. You know what that means? It's time for tea? <laughs> is it tea time, Collector? He looks so lonely. What the heck? I really like this piece. Very solid piece, but he looks so lonely here. Maybe this is him back up in the stars. I don't know, but I do like this piece. Oh, next we got thank you for everything, Dana. Yes, thank you so much to Dana and the team for creating such an awesome show. And we got like a little statue here for Luz, a little statue for String Bean, and you have a gravestone for just Ida's arm. Just her arm, not even, well, I mean, obviously she's not dead, but still. What the heck, dude, that's, that's so funny. You can got Hootie out there. Yeah, like little things like Tiny, Tiny was here, like the Tiny Nose thing. <laughs> oh gosh, lots of little things uh, across this piece. Very cool. Hey, we got Time Skip Below again. This one almost looks like a like a selfie, like she's taking for uh, Pentagram or something. Interesting. She seems to be having a good time. Hey, we got the classic Titan Loose pose once again. Look at this freaking expression though, dude. Like, they added onto this. There's like, normally you have like the despair on, but this one's just like complete and utter just like disappointment. I mean, just look at that face, dude. If somebody looked at me like that, dude, I feel I would feel pathetic. <laughs> I truly would. Oh, well, that's two Titan Looses back to back. We got Titan Loose here. We got Future Loose. We got some, I guess, like glyph attacks coming from Titan Loose as well. Nice drawings. Good to see the both of them here. <laughs> Look at this one. Yeah, time skip Loose. And she's on top of it. She's just straight up riding Hootie, dude. Hootie is infinite, so technically he could just fly you anywhere he wanted to. I mean, that's technically a strategy that you could do with Hootie. <laughs> And look at that, she's even using the new glyphs. How about that? That's cool. Well, this one we got like the nightmare sort of Bellos outfit loose. Interesting, very, very interesting. Doesn't really look too happy, poor loose, but it's okay. You got String Bean, String Bean will help you. Just give her some pets, you'll feel better. <laughs> Ooh, look at this style. Oh, I love this one. Look at the way they did like the little brushes. Love how it goes from like thin to thick. Oh, that's cool. And she's like holding a little glyph. Yo, that's so neat, dude. And like the hair kind of like comes out and like turns into glyphs. Yo, that's a really cool stylistic piece. Yo, that's actually so sick. And how like the colors for outlines change too. Okay, that's really awesome. We got time skip uh, Hunter and Willow here once again. Uh, this almost looks like they're dancing as opposed to like trying to not uh, fall over from falling down a hill. <laughs> Perhaps they're practicing for Grom, hmm? Who knows? <laughs> Very solid piece overall though. Love the line art, love the shading, good stuff. Now oh, we got a happy Titan Loose now. She's just like, yo, hey, what's going on guys? I'm Titan Loose. I can destroy you in one hit. <laughs> I have so much power, even though it's only like for a very small amount of time. It only happens for like, you know, seven and a half minutes or however long the Titan Loose segment was. Very like a dark piece as well, but great piece. Oh, we're back with Flapjack's grave once again, dude. I am loving all the appreciation for Flapjack in this contest, dude. Every time I see the redraw of the grave, it's just like, oh, see, somebody gets it. They know. They know they gotta make tributes for our boy. Next, we got a collector who looks like they're ready to party. <laughs> That's all I can really say. <laughs> you look closer, they also got a little fang. Interesting design choice. Hmm. Perhaps a little bit of a prankster here. Aw, look at this. He got like one of those little baby carriers for King's dad. He would totally use it though. You already know he'd use one. Like that's the best part is like, this is so in character. He would 100% use one of these. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Aw, look at this. Hunter's doing great. That is good. Keep on making him happy. That's right. Somehow you're talking to Flapjack from the afterlife, but they both want the same thing to keep old Hunter happy. How cute. Ooh, this one's very, very good. I, I already just love like the colors and the highlights on the uh, collector's outfit here, but you also have the really nice drawn tears and the last light of loose very very nice piece Ooh, this one's pretty cool we got the titan loose uh putting her hands on future loose's shoulders while she's uh holding amity's necklace interesting i like the little glow effects from the necklace and from titan loose's eyes very neat <laughs> is he being for real that's just her looking at bellas dude anytime bellas is like talking about like oh the curse it was the curse she's just like are you serious bro <laughs> Yep, continuing with the trend, just looking down at Bellas like, bro, are you serious? Are you actually for real? You're actually thinking that you were gonna lie your way out of this. Nah, dude, it is not happening. This is also number three in our streak of Titan Loose, so let's keep it going. 
Or not. We got time skip Amity. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. She's making a little heart with the abomination. That's pretty cool. So then I find interesting about this piece is it looks like she's keeping like abomination uh like goo inside of like one of her little satchels or something. Which is cool because the voice actor for Katara, who's a waterbender in Avatar Last Airbender, does the exact same thing with her water, so I don't know, just a random comparison I thought I'd make. Really like this drawing though, pretty good. Ooh, yo, what is happening here? This is like some crazy final battle. Look at look what happens. Look what's up with Bellas, dude. Oh my gosh, those hands. You got like four hands all reaching toward Luz, trying to stop her from going crazy with the Titan form. Oh my gosh, dude, this is quite a battle. Holy moly. Loving the little lighting highlights on this one too. Oh, this is such a cool moment, dude. I love this moment so much when he has like all the glyphs on his hands. He's like, yo, I'll give you my magic loose. You just gotta beat up Bellows. <laughs> great redraw of a great scene. Aw, what's up with this uh, time skip loose? She looks kind of sad. Or maybe just a little sentimental, who knows. But like the little uh, new king glyphs there as well. You'll be studying those soon, Luce. Oh, now we got a redraw of the uh, final scene that takes place when Luce is still young before the time skip. I always really like this one. It truly is the end of an era and a mark of a new beginning. Aw, I hope I see you uh, again. I don't know why it says ag again, but I, I hope I see you again. A cute little collector and a uh, king goodbye redraw. So cute. Ooh, look at this one. This one's cool. This is a Luce's sacrifice redraw. Loving the lighting on this one for sure. Like all the little itty bitty details, with like the little lights coming off of like the big lights. Yo, this is actually so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. The more I look at it, the more little things I notice. This is actually beautiful, dude. Oh my goodness. Uh, Luce does not look too happy though. Even the clutch is kind of like, what's happening? <laughs> Just kind of like, uh, this is not normal. <laughs> Amazing redraw though, very amazing. Aw, this is cute. You got like a nice little group photo, like a family group photo with the cloth horns V, the collector. Uh, you got Hootie down over there. And then you got like a little King plushie to go with it. How cute, dude, how freaking cute. Oh, and King's dad in the background too? Yo, this is awesome. Mm, okay, this one's kind of neat. We got a future collector uh, like design here. And uh, they're saying hi to King, but they also have like a bunch of planets in the background, lots of little sparkles. They got Francois, like a little book. They got some pages, uh, like writing to Luce, Eden, and King. Interesting. I'm sure they're still in contact with each other sometimes. <laughs> dad bod. Look, he's just wearing sunglasses, dude. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. King's dad is truly such a Chad, dude. Just radiates that Chad energy. <laughs> hey, we got like a Amity's uh, Pentagram, but like in her time skip form. That's cool. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I almost forgot that that's what that was from. Nice little sketch. And we're back at it with the Titan loose. Loving the glowing effects on this one. And I'm loving all those glyphs. She's sending them straight at Bellows, dude. You already know who's about to take the brunt of that attack. Get him loose. You got this. Ooh, now we got like a little watching and dreaming poster here. We got plenty of glyphs. We got Titan loose in her classic pose, of course. The I'm back pose. And who could forget the beauty Hootie up in the top left, how beautiful. Ooh, yo, okay, the dragon loose. Hold on, this goes crazy. Look at that face, dude, that is so menacing. Those teeth, oh my gosh, dude. Love how they did like the shadows on this one where like the, the back half like with the wings is all like shadowed and dark, but she's stepping into the light and the glyphs like also like give off some light. Yo, that is so cool. Dude, I swear, the Titan loose art is just so crazy. I swear, look at these glowing eyes, the glowing little symbol and the magic. Man, this really should have just been a Titan Loose art competition, I swear. <laughs> I jest, but still, like uh, seeing so much of it is just so cool. Although I'm not sure what happened to her nose in this one. Oh, look at this one, dude. Another Titan Loose. Is this a streak of four? I, I, I already forgot. <laughs> I don't even know what our streak is. I know it's quite a bit. I think it's four. Look at this nasty Bellas. So they're like, oh, we're human. <laughs> Go ahead and just smack him. Just smack him. You know you want to. I know you're looking at him like just pathetic, but come on. Get, give him a little smack. <laughs> Love the little glowy effect coming from this uh, Titan Loose as well. Looks very uh, mystical. I like it. Aw, the Titan Loose trend may have ended, but we got waffles on top of a little waffles. How cute, dude. How freaking cute. Oh, and we're back to Titan Loose. Never mind. <laughs> the trend was over and it's already back, dude. Let's go. Love the colors on this one. Like all the different colors coming off from the Titan Loose. And then you got like the little highlights in the hair. Dude, seeing so many different styles of like just Titan Loose is so crazy. It's like even though this is the most common like type of drawing in the competition, it's like every single time it's something new. That's so cool. Oh, I believe in you, Loose the Human. We got King's Dad once again going for a classic relaxed pose. Uh, look at that hoodie though. The hoodie coming out of his eye. Just like a little happy face. What the heck? <laughs> it's not even like a hoodie. It's just like a smiley face. 
Oh, that's so silly. Oh, look at this one. This one's so good. Oh my gosh. We got uh, Time Skip Lilith with a uh, hoodie here. This one's a little interesting. If you look at like Lilith's uh, fingers, her nails almost look like claws. Maybe she's like about to transform. And then Hootie has like some little, I don't know what to call those things. What are they? I don't know, he's got like something coming off his face. I, I don't know what those are called, but I've seen something like that before. Interesting, I don't, I don't know what that is, but this is a very, very adorable art piece. Love seeing the two of them together, and I love the little shading with the little circles. Looks amazing, dude. Aw, this is adorable. Look at Time Skip Hunter. He's just resting after a, probably a long, hard day of work with little waffles watching over him. That's what we like to see. You're doing a good job, little buddy. Aw, oh, look at this collector. He's like, hee hee hee. He must have just pulled a prank or something. <laughs> Taking a random guess, I'm gonna say he dropped the giant pizza bagel on Odalia. Let's hope that was the case. Oh, look at this Titan Lou. She looks like she's running, trying to get somewhere quick. Perhaps she's chasing down Bellos or something. Look at the like different angled glyphs on this one as well. I like how they're not just like flat, but they're all like facing different uh, directions. It really helps uh, give the piece like a lot of like 3D depth or something. I don't really know. Uh, I like this one a lot. The depth of this one is really cool looking. Very solid work there. Oh, oh dear. We got like a meme entry here. What the heck? <laughs> we got T posing Titan loose on top of Bellos's grave. The collector literally just chilling and then giant just red grass trademark. That is truly an entry. This is truly the entry of all time. We're back with King's dad again. Look at this one, dude. This one just looks like a tired dad. Like your dad's waking up in the morning. He's like, oh, I gotta get my coffee. <laughs> it really does give off those tired dad vibes. Man, his design is just so fire, but they really gave him no screen time, dude. He needed more. Ooh, yo, look at the level of detail on this one. Just from the Bellows crust. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. The expressions on Luce and the Collector, the lots of just little itty bitty lightings across their clothing. Yo, this one's so good. Loving the detail on this one. Really nice job. Oh, we got the time skip toe trio here. Let's go, dude. I'm already loving the shading style on this one being very like line based using like thicker lines closer together for like darker things and then uh, lighter lines more spread out to be like lighter. I don't know. I, I think that's really cool. That's a cool shading style. Really, really like this. Definitely a bit unique. Also, I like how V is just kind of like barely visible. <laughs> it's like she's turning invisible or something. Oh, now we got Time Skip Willow. This is a very solid piece so far. She's also got a little uh, pretty flower here. I wonder who that's for. Maybe for herself, for Hunter, for Flapjack. Personally, I would give it to Flap, but you know, that's just me. Aw, speaking of Flap, we got Flapjack's ghost or Flapjack's spirit here, along with Waffles. That's adorable, dude. I love the little brush that they used for this one too. It looks so soft. It makes you want to pet these two cute little birds. Ooh, next up we got Time Skip Loose and Time Skip Amity holding hands. How very nice. I really like how they style the different eyes here. It looks very unique. Very simple and sweet. Ooh, let's go. We got the Titan loose with a little victory pose with the roaring Titan essence in the background. King's dad going for one last roar, being like, I loaf you, King. <laughs> or something like that. Who knows? Aw, dude, this one's so good. Look how far we've come, Flap. Aw, that's so adorable. Because Flapjack is still technically with Hunter, just inside him, you know, inside his heart or whatever. We got like the Bellos eyes, the Golden Guard mask, Hunter's tears in the past where he's moved on and he's facing the light with his new buddy Waffles. Oh, this one's so good, dude. Oh my gosh. I really, really like this one. Oh, <laughs> I love that expression on him. He's like, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna guess this is uh, the redraw of when they're watching uh, the collector's fireworks. That's a good one, dude. I really like the lighting on this one. Especially seeing like the differences on Luce's hair where it's like kind of purpley on the left where it's like her national hair on the right. That's really good. Oh, and now we got a little time skip Amity draw here. <laughs> She's got like a bit of a square head here. Interesting style. Pretty simple and clean design though. Very nice. Ooh, okay, we got like a bad ending on this one. We got a very menacing look from the collector. And we also have Puppet Loose and Puppet King in the background too. That Puppet King looks kind of messed up, I won't even lie. With like the like sewed eyes or whatever and like a bunch of like uh, little things like sewn onto his cracks. Oh my gosh, that poor King. <laughs> very interesting uh, idea though with like a bad ending sort of thing. Oh, hey, it's Rain, probably. I mean, with that expression, you can tell that that's a uh, Rain and not Bellows. Obviously, there's Bellows inside of them, but you can definitely tell that this is supposed to be Rain, and it's good because we, have, we haven't seen Rain in a while. It's been a minute since we've seen Rain in the competition, so nice to see you again, pal. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Whoa. Okay, this one's like a really, really big contrast with the lighting. Very big holding onto that uh, final loose light. But then as it goes back, it gets even darker. I really like what they do with the face where it's like only part of it is lit up. And the blue, that is such a really pretty color of blue. Oh my gosh, I really like this one. 
Man, high level like lighting just looks so good, man. It's so good to look at. Literally just eye candy, man. Psh, that was me giving this Titan this a high five. Psh, that was me giving this Titan this another high five. <laughs> it literally looks like she's asking for a high five. I'm like, yo, yo, eat a king. I just beat up Bellas. Give me a high five. <laughs> Love design though. It's very, very cute. Oh, now we got a group photo. Okay, got the owl house. Hoot hoot with the beauty hootie. Goodbye with uh, the collector and king. And then we got uh, the two couples here. No Gus, unfortunately, but you know, he's probably off learning about human stuff or something. I don't know. Solid piece though. Aw, uh, king and collector, best friends. Let's go, dude. Dude, more king and collector art they truly are best friends now dude i wish there was like dude, if there was like a whole like spin-off stage of just king and the collector going on adventures i would totally watch that i think all of us would oh next we got time skip blues and what's up with this king oh it's a king plushie i see i was about to say king looking kind of weird now <laughs> he's looking he's supposed to get bigger not smaller what the heck <laughs> I guess Luce is uh, also focused on the new glyph, so that's neat. Aw, we got time skip Luce once again. Thank you, Dana and crew uh, from Mango Slushy. Very nice. Yes, big thanks to Dana and all of the crew for making this amazing show. I'm already noticing the little uh, new glyph in uh, Luce's eyes that really, really like that. Nice piece and a very nice thank you. Oh, we got some uh, angst here with Hunter uh, despairing in the nightmare realm. Oh my gosh, this scene this scene got me so good, dude. It was really, really so good. The voice acting from Zeno Robinson was like massively on point. Oh my gosh, dude. Really solid redraw of this scene. I mean, like the dark sort of lights here with a scary text in the background. Very nice. Luce will find a way to fix you. Ah, okay. This is another like alternate ending. What if Luce actually got uh, puppeted by the collector? Honestly, I'm still a bit surprised that this didn't happen. We were all expecting it to happen, but you know, there was the bigger threat of Bellos. Okay, we got Titan Loose here, ready to go in. Looks like she's about to fight freaking Bellos. And at the top right, <laughs> they're just finishing him off, dude. Stop it on that, Bellos. Oh, that's so funny. Thanks for everything, the Owl House. Yes, truly thank you for giving us this amazing show. And look at this little string bean. I'm already loving this string bean, just like wrapping itself around the wrist. Dude, I would have, I would love to have a string bean of myself. Just imagine string bean like wrapping around your neck or like your hand, dude. That would be so cute, dude. I would give that thing pets all day, just like my cat. Aw, we got watching and dreaming loose and the collector. Collector's not really looking too happy, but this is probably uh probably toward the beginning when uh Luce is like first talking to them after they realize that they can't play with human lives. <laughs> it's okay, collector. You'll have plenty more times to play. Ooh, next we got another time skip loose here. This one looks like a redraw of uh like the final scene when she's saying uh thank you to Eden King. We also got the dates of the first aired Owl House episode to the final one. Very nice. Oh, next we got the whole time skip gang here. Let's go, dude. We got all the five main characters here, all just kind of chilling, all looking very nice, except for the fact that they won't ever be able to smell anything in their entire lives because they don't have any noses. But regardless, looks good. Oh, look at this collector. Okay, looking kind of feisty with those fangs, those little sharp teeth there. They've also got some just random stuff on their face. I guess they just slapped some stickers on their face. Honestly, I could see them doing that. <laughs> Ooh, we got another tight and loose mid-battle. Ooh, look at the little effects coming off of the string bean there. Looks like there's like a little bunch of air circling around in there. Very cool. Loving the glyphs. Highlights on the hair. Looking very, very fluffy. Very cool drawing here. Oh, we got Time Skip Lilith once again. I swear, every time I've seen one of these redraws of Time Skip Lilith, it's, all, it's like always paired with that, that same like background color. But it fits so well, you know? It fits perfectly with the color palette. No hoodie in sight, but that's okay. We're focused on uh, old Lilith here. Very nice drawing here. We got another classic Titan Lose. Uh, I'm back pose here. I'm not really sure what happened to her eye. Um, not really sure what happened there, but classic uh, redraw of this pose. Very solid. Aw. Hi, Titan Lose. <laughs> it looks like she's just waving like, hey, hey, bud. You don't have a nose either. I don't know why people aren't drawing the noses. <laughs> I guess people just don't want Loose and the others to smell. That's all right, I guess. Very cute drawing, though. Very, very cute. Hey, look at that. We got King's dad just chilling once again. Dude, see, people pick up the vibes. They know he's like the most chill guy. Look at that, dude. He'd be like one of the most chill dads. He'd like see King like climb up a tree, fall all the way down and be like, you okay? Uh, he's fun. <laughs> Ooh, like in this one, we got the whole Titan here. Really nice job with the, the shadows and making it like easy to see the depth. We also got uh, Luce and Amity looking out over the boiling aisles. Loving this piece. Very, very cool. Okay, we got a little interesting redraw here. I'm not really sure what to call this style. I don't think minimalist is the thing you'd call it, but it's like where you only really keep like the main details of a character's design. I don't really know what this style is called, 
but I really do find it kind of fascinating. And it looks really good in this redraw. Nice job. Hey, and we're back to Titan Loose again, dude. I swear, we've been having a lot of Titan Loose, like, uh, especially recently. Good to see. I love this pose, too. It looks like she's just like, yeah, you know, I just beat up Bellos. I uh, did a job well done. We're all safe now. Looks quite proud of herself, which she very much should be. Oh gosh, okay, we got a whole lot going on here. One last fight. We got the two Titans, King and his dad, with the Collector up top. We got, uh, oh, Philip melting over there. Loose and String being loose is like, oh, we got the Titan heart and the Titan reaching its hand up. Lots of different redraws for lots of different scenes. Very nice. Aw, Waffles the Palace, man. Look at this. Look at this adorable, pure, cute little bird. Don't you just want to give it like little pets? I want to give Waffles pets, dude. She's so cute. And we're back to Titan Loose again with, of course, the four glyphs in the background. Gonna use all those powers to smack up old Bellows. This time she actually has a nose, thank goodness. Loving the fluffy hair. Very great drawing of Titan Loose. Oh, interesting. Okay, we got Titan Loose again, technically with like a streak, but uh, she's looking at her younger self with her younger self looking at like a hat, a broom. Oh, it's about to like witches stuff, I guess, or just like all the stuff that she's interested in. But yeah, poor little Loose is gonna have to go through all that suffering, but don't worry. You'll, you'll come out of it a stronger and better person for sure. Oh, Dahlia after the owl house ends. Let's go, dude. She's literally just sitting there like just next to a fire. No home, no friends, no family. You're nothing, oh, Dahlia. Even Kikimo was like, even I have moved on. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny, but you know what? She gets what she deserves. We got a redraw of Titan Loose up next, doing the classic, uh, now eat this sucker line. About to rip Bellus out of that heart. Get him out of there, Titan Loose. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he almost got jump scared by this little bit. He's so close to the screen. Let me show you some of my favorite games. Uh, you got an iPad ready? Surely you gotta have to have an iPad. Aw, we got a king, like an angry king redraw. Aw. Dude, people go so crazy like the like the level of like the eye effects where it's like really dark on the outer like part of the eye and then like really bright on the inner part. I don't know how people do this so well. I just think it looks really, really good. Beautiful redraw of King here. Uh, King, what are these? Uh, those are tears, Collector. Oh, I think he knows what they are now considering he was crying earlier, but still. I think it's so cute that like King who used to kind of be like the Collector in Season 1 can teach things that he has learned throughout the Owl House to the Collector. I think that's so cute. Oh, now we got Luce here. She's uh, very sad, but this is like the reunite, so you can see like the back of Ida's hair here. This is when she's about to reunite with Eden King. Super happy to see them. We were all waiting for it, dude. I know we were all waiting for it. Like in the little lighting on this one, too. Very nice. We're back to the Titan Luce once again. Looks pretty simple, honestly. Looks pretty happy, probably just after she beat up old Bellos. Good for you, Titan Luce. Okay, this based, extremely based. Look at this. We got Harpy Eda, but if you look at what it's drawn on, it's drawn on a surfboard. You can catch waves with freaking Eda, dude. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I would actually use like any Owl House themed surfboard. I don't know how to surf, but you know, it makes me kind of want to learn how. <laughs> the collector playing games on your phone. Go ahead, collector. I don't have an Apple freaking phone but go ahead you know what take my phone you can go ahead and play uh any game you want all the all i have is fire Emblem heroes though so you're gonna have to play that also is that duolingo in the back oh my gosh all right whatever the alice's bootleg version of it is called oh we got another titan loose with the redraw of the now eat this sucker moment this is super glowy oh my gosh those eyes are glowing like crazy truly using all her power to put an end to all bellos oh gosh <laughs> They're not even like trying to hide it at this point, dude. That is just Sans Titan. That is literally just Sans Titan. Bruh. <laughs> King lied, Bello slide, even they lied. Oh, sorry, old buddy. Yeah, they did lie to you, but listen, at least King King was we all know. We all know. <laughs> Bellos was literally doing his trick you. We don't know too much about the archivist, but uh, you know, King at least was good hearted. Don't worry, it all turns out okay in the end, buddy. Aw, look at this Titan Loose. She looks so happy, almost like a little sentimental smile. They really got the style of the show down in this one for sure. Oh, yo, we got like a anime themed Gus here. Yo, that's actually really cool. Yo, we haven't had enough uh, Gus appreciation. Oh my gosh, this is really, really good. Oh, and we're back to the Titan Loose. She's looking a little uh, curious in this one, looking off into the distance, maybe just looking at String Bean or something. I don't know, she's looking at something. Nice sketch. Oh, you turn on the light. Here we go. We got another Nightmare Loose uh, outfit here. 
Very cool. I was surprised we got so many of these types of loose, but people do like draw on the sort of darker themes from the Owl House, so I guess it makes sense. Ooh, we got a bit of a classic pose with the loose I'm back moment, except it's a little altered. This time she's got more of a game face on this time, and we got the big old glyph in the background. Looking cool, loose. Ooh, even this one looks like she's about to just like jump or something. She's about to just go ham. She doesn't even need the staff. She's just going full in with like the glyphs on her hands. Oh my gosh, dude. Dare I say kind of feral. Welcome back, Golden Guard. Ooh, okay. So this is uh, like a bad ending sort of thing, I guess, where it's like he puts on the Golden Guard mask again, or perhaps it's like forced on upon him. That mask looks really good though. I love like the little, I don't know how to describe it again. There's like little shading style. Looks very nice. Oh, yo, look at this. It's like a clay bellows. Yo, it's kind of hard to see. I wish you could see it like from a different angle, but they literally made a bellows skull for us to crush. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, I would never. But, you know, if I saw this thing moving around in my house, I'd probably be like, ah, da, da. <laughs> just stomp on it repeatedly. <laughs> Creative entry though. I really like it when people do like sculptures and whatnot. That's so cool. Well, now we got like a little poster with the beast trio going crazy. Even King's like, Wah? why are we flying? <laughs> King, you can't fly. Get, you can eat it, do something. <laughs> also looks like the Titans like you know, reaching the hand out. Oh my gosh, it's kind of spooky. Well, you know, that's probably because of freaking Bellows. We already know. Oh, we got the beast trio again. We got the iconic Titan loose pose, King off to the side, and then Eda off to the other side. Very, very nice, dude. Beast trio going crazy. Now this is a unique take. I don't think we've seen this one before, but this is a uh, Titan loose and a concept of Titan Amity. I actually thought there would be a ton of entries of not just Titan loose, but like concepts of like Titan, you know, Amity, Titan Hunter, Gus, Willow, etc. I thought there'd be a ton, but there actually isn't that many. And this is one of the only ones. And I think it looks really, really good. Very solid job of coming up with the concept there. We are on a streak of four with this uh, Titan loose now. Oh my goodness, dude. Looks like she's, uh, I don't even know. Is she like standing on something, something really small? I don't even know what she's standing on. She even took her hat off, put the hat back on. Everybody looks better in a hat. That is my policy. Every single thing that ha doesn't have a hat, when you put a hat on, they just look better. Literally, hats make everything look better. That's not a joke. <laughs> But you know, maybe she's just trying to get some fresh air or something. Aw, Snack. <laughs> this little, little string bean pulling an Ouroboros there, biting its little tail. That's so cute. Oh, well, now we got a loose statue here, the savior of the Boiling Isles. I mean, hey, at the end of Amphibia, they gave Anne one. Surely Luce has got to have one. Honestly, she deserves one. She really does. Oh, and speaking of Amphibia, we got Titan Luce meets Calamity Marcy. <laughs> Finally got cool anime powers if only Amity could see this. Oh my gosh, I know, right? You could totally join the cool anime powers club now. That is true. They both got their cool anime powers now. <laughs> That's a, yet another crossover, dude. Let's go. Well, this one's kind of neat. We got a uh, time skip loose, but a little interesting. One of her eyes kind of looks like a Titan loose almost. I don't think she still has the powers. Like I'm pretty sure she no longer has the powers of Titan loose, but I guess it's like a concept of like, what if she still had the powers? Like, do you think she could like transform into it like any time? I, I think that'd be cool. That would definitely be really cool if she could. Oh, even more Titan loose. Look at this one. This is insanely fluffy, dude. Oh my gosh. She's even got uh, the new glyph too. The new uh, King glyph. Yo, let's go, dude. That's a cool concept. I guess it's another one of those. Like what if she could just do it at any time? That's neat. Oh, we're back to time skip rain again. Let's go, dude. Always nice to see some more rain. Even though they got a good amount of screen time in the finale, I still can't help but feel that they're underrated. I don't know. Rain and Lilith, I don't know. Maybe it's just because like I don't see a lot of art of them. I don't know. They're definitely underrated, though. This is also a really good piece. <laughs> Before watching and dreaming, the collector's like, ah, I'm playing Pac-Man. I got to beat all the freaking Pac-Man levels. And he just got King in the background. That's just a sprite. They didn't draw that, but he's just like standing back there. He's <laughs> just like watching the collector play. Oh, this one's neat. Not only do we have Titan loose with a little itty bitty string bean that's super adorable, but we got uh, the two different versions of the light glyph. Yo, that's so cool. You really made them like bright, almost like fire. I really like that. That's super cool. Oh, and now we got a simple, happy little collector here. See, that's better. No more despair collector. We need a happy, we need more happy collectors. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, this is an awesome concept. It's like a map. You got like the little northwest, southeast over here, a little legend. And we got the boiling isles, just the map of the Titan. That's so cool. Look at that. It's like, it, it's almost like on a, like an old treasure map or something. They cut it out so it looks like an old treasure map. Oh, that's sick, dude. It's a really cool idea. And we're back to the Titan Loose, dude. You know we can't get enough of Titan Loose. Look at that. She's got her fist all ready. She's ready for action, dude. Going crazy with the magic. Lots of highlights all over. 
That's what we like to see, dude. Ooh, this is a bunch of little collector redraws. We got like a whole collage going on here of all the different expressions of the collector. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a couple of them that are like super, super close up. Like uh, some of the ones on the right are like so close up you can barely even see. <laughs> These are cool. These are a bunch of cool redraws. Oh, now I got Luce just riding on her broom, holding one of the glyphs. Very nice. I always love this sort of outline style where they have like a brighter or darker version of like the color that like kind of goes inside of it and the way they did the eyes is very unique too hmm. i like this style this is neat on her back to this classic pose of titan loose looking down on bellows this one's really soft they really captured that just like utter complete disappointment and just like disgust <laughs> in her face looking down at bellows dude very good piece here <laughs> Okay, I, I laughed at skill issue, but I'm also laughing at how just like direct this Bellows looks. He's just like so like, huh, I lost. <laughs> looking at it, he's like looking dead straight. Dead straight, but like, look, like it's one of those freaking pictures where no matter where your head is, he'll always be looking at you. That's so funny. Aw, this one's adorable. King's dad with the spread the loaf. Aw, spread the loaf, everybody. How adorable. <laughs> Okay, this one's kind of funny. Uh, I think this is like Hunter and Willow uh, going to like a pet store or something. You can even see like little waffles accompanying them. And, and Hunter's like, yo, could, do you guys sell any wolves? And Willow's just like, no, they don't sell wolves. They don't sell wolves at pet stores. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, this one's cute. We just got some little Hunter drawings here. A nice little one in the middle. And a couple little silly drawings. I'm going to guess he's like playing with waffles or something. That's so cute, dude. Gotta love Hunter and his bird buddies. And we're back to the Titan loose. We got another thank you, Owl House. That's what we like to see. Pretty standard on this one. We just got loose and some uh, magical glyphs. Very nice. All right, this one is really sick. We got Titan loose down in the front. Looking very sad. I mean, I would be sad if I'm about to get blasted by Bellows power. Look at that, dude. This Bellows looks absolutely amazing. You can tell, like, they put so much effort into this freaking Bellows. Oh, my gosh, dude. Is this, like, this form right here of Bellows, it's just, it's so freaking hype, dude. It is so hype. What a good piece, man. Aw, this one's so cute. We just got ourselves a little Harpy Lilith right here. Pretty simple. And then a little Hootie coming out here, too. That's adorable, dude. What a good duo. Oh, this one's simple. You just got a little cute little waffles. Got some nice uh, little lighting and shading on it too. Very nice. We got Titan loose here. We can see uh, some of the sketch lines still here as well. I guess you can see the artist process here. Interesting thing that they got set up there and holding a little glyph it seems as well. String bean also seems to be glowing up a storm. <laughs> Ooh, look at this hunter. Look at the, look at those eyebrows, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Interesting style. Look at that. Look at that waffles. Oh my gosh. You can't even like see the eyes or anything. It's just looking like one little black eye. That's so cute, dude. Oh my gosh. I like this. Now we got like a watching and dreaming poster here. We got King with... I'm not sure what's going on with him. I guess that's like one of his eyes are like going into his like beast mode or whatever. We got Partial uh, Harpy Ida here. We got Luce, the Collector, and of course Bellos. That Bellos actually looks insanely menacing. Oh my gosh. Genuinely terrifying, dude. We got Bellows with no, my only weakness, dying. Coming full circle from the first episode. Look at Titan Loose just looking at him like, bro, come on now. <laughs> Yo, what is up with this Harpy Lilith pose? Oh my gosh, this almost looks like a meme pose. Cool to see Harpy Lilith and Harpy Ida teaming up though. That's what we like to see. They weren't even on screen together at all. Both their Harpy forms were never on screen at the same time. Isn't that sad? Okay, so now we got Luce, Gus, Willow, and Amity uh, sort of in their, like, Titan forms. I don't think this is, like, entirely, because, like, you look at Titan Luce, it's, like, a little different, but I guess these are, like, half and half, like, half human slash witch or half Titan. Interesting. It, it would have been cool to see them go full mode, but interesting concept. And now we got a simple-looking uh, time skip Amity design. Pretty simple. Pretty standard with the pose there. Not bad. Ooh, yo, that expression. Look at that intense expression. Oh, my gosh. You can see, like, the veins popping up. She is trying to yank Bellos out of that freaking heart. Oh, my gosh. You can even see, like, the direction of motion with where the eyes are coming from. Yo, that's sick, dude. Oh, my gosh. The highlights on the hair, too. Man, this one's good. Oh, and we got a cute little waffles. Look at this. Oh, I just want to give it a little pet on the top of its head. It's so adorable, dude. I think that's literally the same pose that Flapjack was in, but it's like a redraw with waffles. So cute. Uh, we got a little thank you Owl House drawing here. Look at that, dude. So cute. They have like a little cake. Aw, that's adorable. Dude. Look at King. Even his like little tails wagging. Yo, that is adorable, dude. 
This is literally so cute. Whoa. Okay, this one's also really good. Yo, Titan loose, ripping Bellus out of the heart. Look at the expressions, dude. Oh my gosh. And like the lighting from the glyphs. Yo, okay, hold on. This is actually so clean. Yo, that's so pretty. The light on Bellows, dude? Oh my gosh, you can see like him being like literally in the process of being ripped out. Oh my gosh. This is amazing, man. Oh, the level of detail goes so hard. Now we got like a little time skip, little three draw here with uh, the book. I'm gonna guess this is like Amity's uh, book from the epilogue. Interesting. Always down to see more time skip Lilith, dude. Aw, look at this. This is so adorable, dude. He's got wild magic student loose. Dude, I don't know if it's just like the shape of the head and like it's super round or whatever, but this is so adorable. Such an adorable little styled loose. <laughs> Okay, so I know this is like Titan loose, uh, you know, fighting back against Bella or something, but it almost looks like she's like struggling to pick up her own staff, like with freaking string bean. It's like, oh, string bean, you might, you must have eaten too many beans. You're too heavy. <laughs> oh, and we're back with a time skip Lilith. Okay, hold on, we got a bit of a Lilith trend. So pretty down at the very bottom. Indeed, this style is very pretty. I like the little swirls as the little highlights in the hair. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Wake up, loose the human. We have a witch hunter to burn. Yo, it's a freaking like cyberpunk reference. Oh my gosh, that, <laughs> that's so funny, dude. But literally, you gotta take care of him, loose. Oh, and speaking of taking care of him, look at it. it. Looks like he's about to like shoot laser eyes at this one. Oh my gosh, look at this bellows, dude. This is like he's got one arm that's already like dripping. You can even see the bones. The hair's going everywhere. This is like. Barely any Bellows school left. Titan Lou's about to destroy him, dude. Oh my gosh. Get destroyed, Bellows. Oh, this is a nice one. We got uh, Time Skip, Loose, and Amity going for like a starlit uh, like broom ride together. That's cool. Even got like a shooting star in the background, probably from the collector or something. That's a nice one. Oh, and now we just got a Time Skip, Amity going solo. Okay, she's posing, doing some magic there. You can even see the little flapjack tattoo. Very nice. We're back to the Titan loose once again, and this time she's just getting little snuggles, little licks from String Bean. That's so cute, dude. Oh, every time I see the Palisman, all I want to do is just activate my petting mode, dude. It's like every time I pet my cat, I just go crazy. It's like, what's what I want to do to these little Palismans? They're just too cute. Now we got a, hmm, hold on. This is, I think it's a Titan loose, but it's like as a wolf, I think? I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can like, kind of see the design is very similar to Titan loose, but as a wolf, huh? Interesting, very, very interesting. You got string bean in the back there too. Interesting concept. So in this one, we have a uh, time skip hunter here working away at some palestrum wood. We got waffles chilling on the ground. Uh, and we also have Del Clawthorn talking to, I believe the uh, artist's OC. Uh, I think Hunter is making a palisman for them. So that's pretty cool. I wonder what it's gonna be. Ooh, they captured the style of this one pretty good. Look at that. You can see the comparison of the redraw. Honestly, that's pretty accurate, dude. It just felt like you added more fluff to the hair, a little more shape to the eyes. I like it. You can even see Amity in the background too. So I'm gonna, this is like the third one that we've had like Amity's reaction to Titan Loose, dude. That's so funny. I and mean, now we got a streak of two with the Titan Loose, too. Going for the iconic pose with the I'm back once more. Even King's there this time. Look at that, dude. He's just holding on to her ankle. The Titan siblings are ready to go, dude. Oh, another crossover with Amphibia. Let's go, dude. Always down for some more crossovers. We got Calamity Loose and Titan Anne. Okay. Two of them are swapping their cool anime powers, as Marcy would put it. <laughs> Very nice and very iconic poses to swap too. Oh, we got Darius and Alador. Hmm, will they end up together? Who knows, who knows? It was hinted and we saw them beefing throughout the show. So who knows, who knows if they'll end up together. <laughs> Good to see some art of them though. I haven't seen too much of them at all. Actually, this might be the very first for both. And this one here, we got Hunter assumably using Flapjack's magic. I'm assuming that's why he's yelling. He's like zooming all the way to all Flapjack's grave there. Uh, even got little waffles up top there as well. He's just visiting old Flatback's grave. How very nice. Aw, now we got waffles on top of the waffles. I always love like when people actually put waffles on top of waffles. It's just such a cute little, uh, you know, it's the, the same thing, obviously. It's, it's just like a cute little pairing. But except when waffles eat the waffles, though, that's cannibalism. So we don't do that. <laughs> Aw, this style is so adorable, dude. Look at this Luz. She's so freaking happy, dude. Even Eden King, dude. Like, I love these little simple eyes, dude. This is adorable. Although it makes you wonder, is it difficult to ride a broom with a hook hand? I don't know. I mean, I guess Gus can ride it with just his feet, so it can't be that hard. Whoa. Okay, look at the details on this one. First off, look at all like the sparkles up top. We got like the huge like magical aura coming off from Titan Loose, very sparkly. And you can even see like all the little individual red grasses in the background. Yo, the level of detail on this one is insane. This one's so good. Oh my gosh. 
the level of talent in this competition, dude, it's it's insane, man. Choosing winners is gonna be so hard. Okay, so we got like jokes on top of jokes in this one. We got a PS flatback. No longer a PS5, it's a PS flatback. And then Gus is like, oh, which one is uh, for you though? He's turning different things into PS flatbacks. There, there's too many jokes laid on top of this one. Even look at Waffles. She's like, what is happening? <laughs> there's too many jokes. There's a joke laid on top of a joke laid on top of a joke. It's too much. <laughs> My poor bird brain can't keep up with it. Ooh, this is a cool concept. So we got like the rage beast king here, except now he's got wings or like, I guess like a hypothetical, like what if he had wings in the background? I mean, we know the king's dad does have wings. So surely king will get wings eventually, eh, one day. Ooh, a nice redraw here with the collector trying their very best to hold up the archive house. I always really like this scene where it shows the collectors finally working together with everybody. It's such a good scene. I just wish they didn't have all that nasty bellows goo on them. Oh, look at this little tight and loose. So adorable. <laughs> look at that little smile, dude. Oh, so dopey, but so cute. Now we got both Loose and Amity here in a very interesting style. Hmm, thanks for watching. Got that very beautiful tree in the background again. It's a very, uh interesting style i'm not really sure what you would call this style but i love the way that they did the hair highlights how it like moves from like a darker to lighter colors you can even see some stars and loose's hair this looks very good wow i'd love to see more art in this style oh now we got a classic now eat this sucker look at that they even put the quote in there they added it on later look at like the the huge like effect coming out like the huge like black like magic aura or whatever that looks sick dude it's always so cool to see how people draw all the magic effects because like they're all so widely different and really cool to see. She just broke, I can fix her. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, collector. That's not how it works, buddy. But you learned that the hard way. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, poor little guy, even more. He's about to get blasted by Bellows. Look at him, dude. He looks so happy. He's like, hey, we fixed everything. And Bellows is immediately going for like his final smash in the background. <laughs> oh, gosh. Leave it to Bellas to attack a defenseless child. <laughs> you got games on your phone? You're a little too close there, pal. You want to back up? <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. The classic meme. I'm about to incinerate a child. Literally what I just said a few seconds ago, dude. Leave it to Bellows to attack a defenseless child. Even the freaking collector knows what's up. He's like, oh, <laughs> I may have made a mistake. <laughs> Get out of there, bud. That or we get loose to save you. Or how about this Titan loose right here? Looks like she's even uh, in a mid spell right there. Look, she's like, she's like mid casting a spell, almost about to blast Bellows with something. Go ahead and defend the collector. Why don't you? Oh, this is cool. We got like a full uh, time skip hunter art piece. It's a little comic with Willow saying, oh cool, your eye bags are gone. He's like, really? Wow, my eye bags really are gone. That's right, his eye bags don't appear in the time skip because he's finally healed and he's finally moved on from Bellos' corruption. It's so good to see you, dude. I really love all their time skip designs. And the cute little waffles resting at the top of his head is just the cherry on top, dude. Or should I say the waffles on top? <laughs> hey, look at this loose. She's so freaking confident, dude. She's ready to beat up Bellos. Happy Titan loose, ready to destroy her enemies. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Gosh, dude, yo, what is this concept? Oh my gosh, Angel Loose. That's what the artist described this as, it's Angel Loose. You got like a halo in the back. You got the beautiful wings like spreading out and coming forth, all these beautiful lights. Oh my gosh. Okay, they drew this before watching and dreaming. Interesting, this is a really interesting concept. Oh my gosh, yo, okay, this is, Phenomenal, man. Oh my gosh. This is definitely one of the best pieces I've seen so far. Oh my goodness. That just looks actually amazing. It's just the level of wings and particles and lighting. Oh, it's so good, man. Next, we got a group photo with all the time skip characters with all their little palismans too. That's so cute. There's even a little flapjack with a little halo. Yo, this is adorable, dude. Oh my gosh. This is such a good group photo. Next, we've got a bit of an interesting take here. I think this is somebody's redesign of Time Skip Amity. At first, I thought she was covered in Bellows Goo, but thank goodness, I think it's just supposed to be like Abomination or something. Very, very interesting uh, redesign here. Oh, and now we have a little clay string bean. That's so cute, dude. Oh, I want to give her pets. Please mail this to me. Don't actually. <laughs> I don't even have a place where you could mail it, but dude, I would pet this thing all day. And even make it like a little box for it, like a little home. That's adorable. Hey, now we got Harpy Lilith too. Let's go, dude. Always down to see some more Harpy Lilith. Super underrated design, dude. Really, just truly such an underrated design. You did a really good job of uh, drawing her too. 
Very cool. Ooh, now we got a very dark one here. What are these? Why won't they stop? Ah, the collector's reaction to tears. Don't worry, buddy. It's a natural human thing or witch thing or anything that you aren't. <laughs> it's okay, bud. I'm glad he finally understands eventually. Ooh, okay, we got an interesting style little collector design here. They uh, made their hat longer, made their eye completely a star, gave them some little boots. Bit of an interesting redesign here. Oh dear, now we got the classic you got games on your phone. I do indeed have games on my phone collector, but I will tell you, I have never ever downloaded or watched anything related to Coco Melon. So please don't ruin my YouTube recommended page by watching Coco Melon, please, buddy. Aw, uh, let's go, dude. The Titan siblings. Look at that. Titan loose, so happy, stepping on a little star there, making a glyph, and King just going for a big old wah. Amazing. I give her a high five again. <laughs> I swear some of these Titan Loose are always like reaching out wanting to give us a high five. Go ahead everybody, high five Titan Loose right now. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I like those just like the random shadow there too. Really helps uh accentuate the lighting on this one. And seeing like the really, really bright eyes there too. Looks good. Oh, what have we got there, Hunter? We got a PS5 from the collector? No way. No way, dude. Actually, hold on, wait a minute. He looks like he's about to fall off this staff. Okay, he's flying with Willow on her palisman, and it looks like he's about to fall off. Hang on, buddy. <laughs> Hang on to both the PS5 and the broom. Ooh, yo, yo, look at this pose. First up, we got like the arm over an arm holding the string bean and a glyph glyphs coming out at all different angles yo holy moly this looks good dude dude whenever they have like the different angled glyphs man those look so cool yo the pose and the glyph combo that's just, that's just so good dude oh my goodness the art just goes so crazy and we got hootie it's been a minute since we've had a solo hoodie piece, but can't say that any longer. How's it going, beauty hoodie with those beautiful eyelashes of yours? We got another Titan loose here with some bright hair. Hmm. Use the hair is a lot darker than that, but this one's a bit lighter. Interesting choice there, but looking good overall. Aw, what's up with this hunter? Why is he so sad? Maybe just remembering Flapjack? Don't worry, buddy. You got waffles here. Look at that. You even got waffles right there. Come on, buddy. You'll be okay. High five the tight loose, everybody. <laughs> I don't know why. They, I swear, so many times they just have like this high fiveable pose. <laughs> oh my gosh. It even looks like she should be holding a staff right there, but she's not. Well, either way, it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what's got to happen. Odalia during the watching and dreaming time skip. Yep. Just sitting in jail. As she should be, dude. As she should be. I mean, she deserves worse, but, you know, prison's good. <laughs> Uh, oh, another crossover here. Okay, we got uh, Loose and Hunter here as frogs. Hmm. And then Flapjack's up here. I don't know what's up with Flapjack. Um, I actually don't even... Wait, what? What is this Flapjack supposed to... I don't even know. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what that Flapjack's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be me in the background being like, Yo, what the heck? What happened here? Not exactly watching and dreaming with it, but you know, it's pretty funny. Ooh, okay, so we got, uh, I think this is somebody's, like, idea of what King's glyphs could look like. These are some interesting glyphs designs, honestly, gotta say. I like how you still kind of kept, like, the thematic, uh, things of them. How, like, the red one looks like a fire burning. The green one kind of looks like a leaf or, like, a seed. And, uh, the blue one kind of looks like a, like, a wave or, like, a crystal for, like, the ice. That's cool! Yo, that's actually some really cool, uh, glyph designs. Oh, and look at this little collector and string bean? Hmm, bit of an odd, uh little pairing there, but I guess they're both looking at uh, Luce's little final light there. I love the little brush they did on this. It looks so soft and cute. I love it. Oh, <laughs> I guess there's like a single to last post where they just like, they just clap the little uh, loose light in their hands and they're like, oh, what happened? What happened to her? Literally down at the bottom. Oh my gosh, they killed Luce. I think that's supposed to be like a South Park reference or something, but still kind of silly. Also, Collector kind of has like a little Sonic style eyes. I got like the two eyes combining. Interesting style there. Oh, yo, we got an entire redraw of the final scene where everybody's saying bye. Yo, you got like every character in here, even Tibbles. Oh, you put, <laughs> look at the Tibbles, dude. They put like, they gave him like devil horns and devil tail and a pitchfork. Oh my gosh, that's so funny, dude. Yo, <laughs> oh, this is such a good redraw. Oh, what the heck is this? Okay, I guess there's like an alternate reality where like Philip's hiding inside the house and he got the ultimate collector and Titan loose pairing busting through trying to hunt him down. That's right, Bellas, you can't hide anywhere. 
Ooh, look at this. This perfect pairing, dude. Titan loose, Caleb, and Flapjack himself all giving Bellas that same look, dude. Yo, that is so sick. Even Flapjack, dude. Flapjack deserves to be there, too. <laughs> Looks awesome, man. Uh-oh, it's Sans Titan. Wanna have a bad time? <laughs> what can I say, man, dude? It's just everybody thought it. Everybody saw him and was like, Sans! Sans! <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Oh, my gosh. Aw, oh, we got Titan loose here once again. Cool-looking background of a, what I'm noticing right from the very start. And uh, she's kind of covering up a eye with the hat. What's going on? You feeling a little bit bashful today, Titan loose? Oh, now we got a streak, another Titan loose. This time she's just looking up to the top left. She's looking at her own name, yo. She's like, why is the L not capital? <laughs> You're supposed to capitalize the first letter. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and look at that, what is this star? It's missing the last little part of it. Art looks good though. Ooh, yo, look, I love this style. Yo, hold on, okay, I'm just like looking at like the line art and like little sketchy parts here. That looks, first off, the line art just looks like really, really good. Uh, but this design of rain, yo. They really made it like very stylistic. I like it. And they even have like the little fox palace in there too with like a bunch of stars and a big little like white spiral coming around. Yo, that's so cool. They look so cool. I really like this style. And the super big glasses too. Yo, that looks awesome. Whoa, look at this background, dude. I don't even know how people do some of these backgrounds. Like what the heck? All these pentagons, dude, that's crazy. Even Titan Loose looks like she's about to go for like a huge magic burst or something. Like she's charging up. She's about to go for like a Super Saiyan, ah, charge up period or something. Looks like she's about to. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me show you some of my favorite games. <laughs> He's got a freaking like Gatling gun or whatever that is. Oh my gosh, Collector, chill, buddy. Those red eyes, chill, <laughs> chill, 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 chill. Oh my gosh, that's a bit excessive, don't you think? Unless using it both. That, that's fine, honestly. We got another Titan loose. This looks like a simple little sketch with some good shading here. Little string bean palisman too. Very nice. Next we got King. Looks like he's about to go for a bit of a way beam here. I really like how they did the eyes on this one too. Very bright near like the bottom, very uh, dark near the back, dude. I always love how people do the eyes for King, specifically when he was going to attack. Uh, we're human. And I took that personally. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny because like Lily at this state, neither of them are human. Bellus is in his gunky form and Luce is in her titan form. Like, dude, it, it, neither of you guys are human right now. You've gone beyond humanity or whatever. But yeah, she literally took that personally <laughs> and let him die. Oh, now we got a Grom photo here. This looks like uh, before the time skip, but after uh, watching and dreaming. It was probably their next Grom, honestly. Probably the next Grom here. Can definitely add that to the scrapbook. Now we got time skip loose here. Bit of a simple little redraw here. Not sure why she's crying in this one, but you know, maybe she's just happy to get accepted into the University of Wild Magic, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it'd be pretty easy to get accepted there knowing who the headmaster is. <laughs> oh, look at the pizzazz, dude. Yo, the pizzazz, the sparkles coming from King's dad. Oh, he looks fabulous, dude. He looks so fabulous. Can we just get a spinoff show where it's just him talking to us? I would listen to like a King's dad podcast, dude. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm liking the look of this one. This is just the big old bellows hand of the Titan reaching up, trying to get the freaking Titan to stand up. Gosh, dude, I was honestly like terrified. Like what if you just got, got the whole Titan to lift up off the ground? Like what would they even do? It'd just be over. Everybody would just freaking die. Regardless, this looks very nice. Ooh, look at this Titan loose. Very solid just right from the very start. Loving the little highlights coming from the glyphs in the background. And I like the shading style with like the little circles. Again, I don't really know what this shading style is called, but I really, really like it. But I'm a huge fan of it, dude. I just think it looks so nice. The hair looks so soft and fluffy too. This is a very good Titan loose. And now, of course, we got the I'm back pose once again. This is like one of the most popular poses, dude, as we've seen, dude. I think this one and like the looking down at Bellow Swan are probably the two most popular. If not those two, then it's got to be like the now eat this sucker. But I think it's definitely those three that are like the top three Titan Loose redraws. And for good reason. I mean, look at it, dude. It looks good. And we're continuing with the trend of Titan Loose. This is our third one in a row. Let's go. Can we beat the streak of six? This one's just a little simple. Just like a little peace sign. Simple little pose there. Looks nice. 
streak over, but we got Flapjack sitting on some Flapjacks with Waffle coming on over with a little Waffle. That's adorable, dude. Love the brush that they use for this one. Looks super, super soft. Just makes you want to pet these little birds all day. And now we're back to the Titan loose, but this one seems to have a little bit of sass. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why, but the phrase, it's not a phase, it's my life, popped into my head the first time I saw this. I don't know why. <laughs> Like in the hair though, the hair is looking really fluffy and the shading looks pretty good too. Very nice. And we got Titan Loose once again. She's in a very uh, stoic position, like a very professional position with the hands behind her back. Even got some freckles and some fangs. Interesting. I think I even see some glyphs inside of the, the eyes there, like as the pupils. Huh, interesting design choices. Oh, look at this. We got the palismans of the main five. And then we also have Flapjack, Flapjack's little ghost there. So cute, dude. All the palismans beating up. Here we have an interesting Titan Loose here. We got like a Titan Loose, simply just the line art, and then got the glyphs in the background. Bit interesting to have uh, that as your choice, with just loose in the front and the glyphs in the back. Kind of spooky, honestly. <laughs> I like this pose, dude. He's looking, almost looks like he's like, all right, guys. It looks like he's about to like talk to some kids, be like, all right, guys, today we're gonna learn how to carve some palace, man. <laughs> looks like he's about to just like gonna teach somebody or something, I don't know. The hands on the hips just kind of gives me that vibe. Pretty cute though, pretty cute. Ooh, yo, look at this. I love the way they did the cubes. The cubes look very, very good here. I like the little like white lines on the cubes to like kind of make their shape look very nice. I know, that looks really, really good. And even got just loose here. She looks a little confused. She's like, hmm, what am I doing here? <laughs> I'm supposed to be out fighting Bella, so why am I in the in-between? Oh, yo, look at this poster. We got watching and dreaming poster. We got Gus and uh, V up at the top right. Willow and Hunter at the top left. Ida, Loose, Rain, uh, Amity, Collector, and Camila all down on the bottom. We got Hootie, of course, and King. Yo, that looks good. And it's all in the shape of the new King Glyph. Yo, that's actually kind of crazy, dude. That is actually kind of crazy. That is a pretty cool idea to include like a little collage in the shape of a glyph. That's a really neat idea. Thanks, the Owl House. Aw, oh, we got Time Skip Hunter with his bird buddies. And we also got V over here, Time Skip V, being like, yo, check out his birds. He's got both of his little birds. Let's go, dude. Why do we have two hands, everybody? So we could pet Flapjack and Waffles at the same time. That is why we have two hands. That is exactly why we have two hands, everybody. <laughs> Oh, yo, okay, we got another, uh, like, a future collector design here. This has been a decently popular one, which I didn't really think, uh, people would do, but I guess since we didn't see the collector at the very end, uh, people thought, like, oh, what would they look like when they were older? I really like this design because they have, like, a little ponytail, but it also looks like very, like, spatial, or, like, there's, like, a galaxy inside their ponytail or something. That is cool. That is a cool design choice. Yo, I really like that. They even got King's little collar there. That's so cute. Aw, I love this. Dude, these pieces just... Just like they just really grab my heart because I love Flapjack and seeing like Flapjack being in like a little uh cloaked in like mystical light watching over Hunter and Waffles dude it it's just so good man it just really gets me when well, we got tight and loose once again immediately I'm already noticing some interesting design choices here with the line art where we got like some thicker lines and then some thinner lines very interesting here looks like she just formulating a bunch of glyphs up top ready to beat up old Bellos I'm down to see it, Loose. Ooh, like this one too. This is like a very classic, almost like heroic pose. I swear, if I'm playing like Fire Emblem Heroes crossover with freaking the Owl House, this is what I expect to see when I summon a five-star unit. Freaking tight Loose showing up right here with, with this awesome looking pose. I'm loving the lighting here too. It's on like the very uh, left side of uh, her freaking hat and hair. It looks very good. Hey, how's it going, Hootie? Hoot, hoot. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty hootie coming out once again. Always nice to see another beauty hootie, dude. Now we have King's new little collar here with the KC on it for King Collector. I know it actually stands for King Clawthorn. I mistakenly uh, thought it was King Collector at first, but you know what? A very small part of me still wants it to be King Collector, because come on, come on, guys, come on. It would be pretty cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yo, what is happening here? Look at this freaking anime battle, dude. The collision of these beams. One from Loose and one from freaking Bellows, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. What an anime battle. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. She's got her game face on this one. Ready to absolutely just destroy. Now eat this, sucker. Yeah, give it to him, Loose. Look at this. She's about to punch the life out of Bellows. Now, how does this happen? Puppet collector? Aren't you the one who's supposed to turn them into puppets? Did you turn yourself into a puppet? Then again, he might think that's a fun time. So you know what? Go ahead, pal. <laughs> and of course, we got another classic Titan loose disappointment stare once again. Love this redraw. The eyes are definitely standing out to me on this one. They look very, very bright. You even got like the dull shadows on top of her face so the eyes stand out even more. That looks so good, man. <laughs> Dude, look at his face. 
Nice! Oh my gosh! Bellows is like so happy. Like, yes, I'm free from rain. Even though rain was the one, I was the one possessing rain. And poor Ray just stuck dealing with all the goop back there. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for them. Gosh, freaking dang it, Bellows. Why you gotta be like that? Oh, what is this? We got oh, then the beautiful good witch who saved everyone. Because <laughs> Hootie's reading uh, Amity's book about like the boiling owls, and she's like, oh, is my book good? Is Luce hearing this? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure she's hearing it. I don't think Luce would not want to not hear your book. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Hold on, we got Titan Luce here reaching out, I guess trying to give somebody a hug or something. I love the background of this. It looks like an explosion of magic or something. Yo, that looks sick. I don't know how to describe it other than that, but that just, that looks really cool. It's like also very bright in the center and just dark as it goes out even further. That looks really good. Oh my gosh. That is very, very good. Oh no, cannibalism, no waffles, stop. That's cannibalism, you can't eat that waffle. Spit it out. <laughs> oh gosh, cannibalism aside, this is quite adorable though. Okay, we got two different waffles here. Okay, we got two for the price of one. Loving the colors that they chose for this one. This looks very, very good. It's like three different shades of blue, but it just stands out so well, especially like the little gray and black parts too. That looks so good. Okay, we got a little uh, time skip Gus and Willow here. They're both their glasses are doing like the freaking anime shine thing so you can't see their eyes, but whatever. They look pretty good hanging out there. Ooh, we got a redraw here of uh, the collector once again holding up the archive house. You can see the lights of Luce coming off in the background, a beautiful blue background just in general. I'm just loving the color palette. This one looks really nice. Oh no, this is beautiful, dude. The skeleton of the Titan right there. You can even see the bellows like corruption in like the chest area. Luce is stuck in like the little glyph ball there. Yo, this is so good. And like the little effects, like the colors and just the strokes of the brush. Like, oh my gosh, dude. This looks so good. I'm just like seeing like the little water and the ripples of that. Oh my gosh, dude. This one is so amazing. King and Titan Luce, how adorable. Even got a little collector in the background. How cute, dude. Except Luce once again doesn't have a nose. Ooh, okay, we got King as a dragon, like an adult uh, dragon titan thing. Interesting, very, very interesting. Even got a little Hootie, he Angie. They got an upset Bellows. They got a Maddie and Gus down at the bottom. I think we also got like a, well, is this a Lego eat a buy soup doop goop? What the heck even? What? Okay, all sorts of little stuff here. I like the tree in the background too. It's a very beautiful piece with just some random memes scattered all around it. Oh, what the heck? Time skip V and Kirby? Kirby dude? What? Okay, his feet aren't the right color, but Kirby? What the heck? Oh, it's because they both transform, huh? All right, that's cool. That's cool. I can get behind that. Oh, this one is so good. Yo, they captured the show's style so well. We got Ida, almost like she's going like harpy mode with one of her uh, hands there. We got King hanging on to Ida's uh, freaking ankle there. Yo, that's so good. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Next we have Time Skip Hunter and Willow sharing a bit of a romantic moment here. I'm really loving like the back of this. Look at like the like trees and all these little uh, leaves, like the blue and pink and white leaves. That is so beautiful. I wonder how long it took them to make this. <laughs> So they put a lot of effort just into like the background too. Oh my goodness, very nice. Oh, look at this. Bye bye, Bellows. If that isn't the most menacing Titan loose I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh, she looks like she's about to just destroy. Oh, look at this iconic piece. Yo, loose with the glyphs. She's there with her mentor, Harpy Ida. Oh my gosh, we even got like a huge lightning strike clashing right down in the middle. Oh man, dude, this one looks awesome. The lightning in the glyphs and the bellows eyes, dude, that really helps this piece stand out, wow. Aw, oh, happy King Zinjeta, aw, oh, yes. Take a bite of that weird spider cake. <laughs> Just pick out the spiders, please. We got the like, little cute little uh, Lucera chilling on the cake there. That's adorable, dude. Oh, we got Hunter carving waffles here. Aw, oh, look, that's even almost complete. All you need to do is like finish the little legs there. Yo, that's so neat, dude. This is a very scenic piece here. We got the uh, archive house still chilling at the top of the Titan, the hand still reaching up and a beautiful sun looks like it's setting at like the very nice evening, like orangish reddish glow over all the water. That looks so good, dude. Ooh, look at this style one. We got King. This looks very good. Look how it's like the black letters, but like it shines blue, just like his eyes are doing and like the little crack on his skull is doing too. Like the broken crown, the tears, wow. 
Very interesting style. We got Titan loose and King once again, the Titan siblings here. And we got don't rest in peace, Bellas. So yeah, dumb British old man. Don't rest in peace, you freaking loser. Even King's like, lol. <laughs> Now we got a confident looking uh, freaking time skip loose, almost said Titan loose. I'm so used to saying Titan loose. <laughs> and of course, the little string bean just running around the wrist. That's adorable, dude. Next, we have a redraw of uh, Lumity Kiss uh, at the ending of Watching and Dreaming, except this time they're in their uh, time skip designs. Interesting. Next, we have Willow's Flyer Derby match. Hmm, I'm gonna guess it's like time skip Willow when she's going to like a Flyer Derby match. Looks a little beat up though. I guess she's been uh, playing a rough game. <laughs> Don't worry, Willow, you got this. Ooh, yo, this is a bit of a creative style. Look at the eyes, what the heck? That is a very interesting style for the eyes. They're like coming off the face, what the heck? But it looks so like natural, hmm. I haven't seen a style like this yet. This looks very interesting. Definitely stands out a lot. Bye, coming from the Titan loose, dude. Yo, that's so good. Has like a bit of a sentimental uh, smile there with the beautiful lights and little sparkles coming off of them and the fluffy hair. Oh, this is such a good piece here. This poor collector looks so sad and alone. Oh, this takes place right after Luce's sacrifice. He's still holding on to that light. And that light is the only thing illuminating this whole piece. Otherwise, it's just Bellos' eyes in darkness. Oh, this is such a good piece, dude. All these ones that have a really big focus on the lighting are just so captivating, dude. Oh yeah, now this one's really interesting. This is a uh, human waffles redesign. They saw waffles as a bird and they're like, you know what? I wonder what they would look like if they were a witch. And this is the design they came up with. Pretty interesting. They even have a necklace that's literally a waffle. <laughs> Can I get that necklace, dude? I feel like I'd wear that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, pretty interesting idea. Now we've got uh, Hunter and Willow here. Hunter seems to be giving uh, some flowers to Willow. She is semi-surprised and he's like, oh, I like you, Willow. And she's like, oh, I like you too, Hunter. It it's weird that he's still so nervous though. Haven't they been together for like, however long the time skip is, like, like four-ish years? <laughs> but you know, that's just in his nature to be a little shy. That's okay, Hunter. Ooh, yo, okay, immediately I'm already intrigued by the lighting and the colors on this one. Loving the lighting just across the Titan loose, the highlights on the hair, and just all these bright lights from uh, the glyphs look so good. And look at that little string bean. That's a very adorable little string bean there. Even got the bellows eye or like the eye of the Titan in the background too. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. And we got another classic here with King's dad saying, I loaf you to King. Oh, you should have been able to say it directly. Come on, dude. I want it so bad. Oh, it needed to happen. It really did. Oh my goodness. This is Luce's sacrifice here, but this is when she's like completely enveloped in that bellows crust or coral. I still don't even know what to call it, dude. And she's literally just completely evaporating while the collector just has to sit there and watch. What a powerful scene, man. And what a good redraw of it too. Ooh, that's a menacing Titan loose, dude. That is a Titan loose that's ready for battle. You said two different glyphs about ready to clap bells. Look at that. The glyphs are so strong that even her hat's flying off of her head. <laughs> Next up is a redraw of Hunter and Willow at Flapjack's grave where Willow's going for a little spell to help generate some plants for old Flapjack's grave while Hunter just sits back and watches. How nice. Aw, we got, oh, that's so cute. We got like a bunch of stars in the sky that uh, shapes the collector's head with King just waving to his buddy. Aw, that's such a cute idea. Ooh, spooky. You know, we haven't really seen too many uh, loose sacrifice like directly uh, in her face, we've seen her like be impacted by it, but you know, not like where she was like completely almost overtaken by it. I still don't know what to say. I don't know why, but I've always really liked this line. It, it feels very like, I shouldn't say out of place, but I feel like it really works for Luce's character in that moment, even though it feels like she should say something different, like cause she wanted to say thank you. But I think it definitely stands out because most of the time, like when the character is like, you know, sacrificing themselves, they would say the last thing that they wanted to say to their friends, like, oh, thank you, or I love you or whatever. But no, she just doesn't even know what to say. I, I just thought that was really interesting. and. It really did make sense for her character and they really captured uh, that feeling here in this drawing. But of course she does say thank you in a piece like this, watching and dreaming the whole trios together, just chilling, a nice warm hug. The weirdos do have to stick together, dude. They really gotta stick together. And they're sticking together as the beast trio here too, dude. Oh my gosh, loving the line art on this one. Did a really good job. They both are just supporting Luce. He's got her hand on her shoulder while King's on the other shoulder. Just happily smiling, dude. That is adorable, dude. And I like how they all have different expressions too. King's super happy. Luce is like pretty content. And he's just like, what is happening down there? <laughs> 
Oh, now we got uh, Time Skip King and Luz hanging out together. Looks like they're talking about the new glyphs that King uh, has. I'm sure he's got a lot to show her about. Where'd she go? Oh, collector buddy. She died. <laughs> That's all I can really say, pal. She'll be back though, don't worry. Aw, goodbye, Luz. This is just the artist's own goodbye to Luz. Very nice redraw here, like in the hairstyle, little highlights in it. And the way they styled the eyes is very unique too, how they have like a lot of like sketchiness at the bottom. Haven't really seen eyes like that before. It looks very nice. Now we have the collector here. I thought I was doing the right thing. Aw. Dude, that, that hits so hard because like he really did think he was doing the right thing after Luce was teaching him about kindness and forgiveness. It, he really did try to do the right thing. Poor collector. Ooh, we got the whole gang here. Okay, we got Luce and Amity on the string bean. Uh, Gus is just going crazy down at the bottom. We got Hunter and Will up over here with, of course, Waffles chilling atop his head, dude. Oh my goodness, and all these like lovely trees in the background. Very nice piece of the gang here. Oh, yo, okay, this one is sick. We got Titan Loose in the background here, except her staff of streaming is like in a really cool perspective where it like goes all the way uh, towards us and you get to see like the full streaming with the magic coming off of it. Yo, this is a really cool perspective. Oh my goodness. Very fascinating. Oh, <laughs> we got uh, Loose in the Nightmare Realm here. Looking a little surprised to see String Beans. Like, yep, you got a buddy here. Don't worry, you're not completely alone. String Bean will follow you anywhere. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, Time Skip Loose here, chilling out in front of like the lake or whatever. And of course we got Amity in the background sneaking up on her GF. <laughs> Look at those like freaking eyes. She's about ready to prank, dude. How silly. Oh no. Oh no, Waffles. But don't. Don't think I don't know that face. I know who that is. That's freaking Mordecai, dude. Oh my gosh, that is cursed. That's all I can say, that's cursed. Aw, the gang's all here, except for Gus for some reason. Where the heck is Gus? <laughs> we got a thank you at the top with uh, Luce, Amity, Willow, and Hunter all together. Maybe it's a couples only thing, I don't know. And we got all the little palismans there too. How cute, actually I don't see Ghost. Where is Gus and Ghost, bro? <laughs> Regardless, this is a very nice piece. I wish it was a little clearer to see it better, but it looks very nice. Ooh, next entry, we got the Collector looking very menacing. We got Eden King looking a little scared. Oh, they're also in the Nightmare Realm. Actually, this is like a Nightmare Realm theme. You got like all the other characters, how they act in Lucy's Nightmare Realm specifically. She's in the freaking Bellows outfit. Oh, this is scary. I like what they did with like the faces where it's like light and then it like goes darker as they, they go out. That looks cool. Also, don't think I didn't see that among us. <laughs> We got another really cool poster looking here. We got the Collector and Bellos like half and half up top. We got Titan loose. All the other characters scattered around. Oh my goodness. Yo, that king though? That king is going crazy. That Bellos? <laughs> and what is this buff hoodie down over here with Odalia? What the heck? Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff. Is there another Among Us? Oh my gosh, at the very bottom right, there's a bunch of like indie horror characters and Bill Cypher and whatnot. Oh my gosh. And there's even a freaking Among Us. Two Among Us is back to back? That's, that's too many. <laughs> Oh, yo, this pose is so cool. Yo, he's like a hacker, except he's doing it with like glyphs. You know those like hacker guys, like in the movies, they're all like just type really fast, which is like completely inaccurate. It literally looks like what he's about to do, except with the glyphs. Yo, that looks so hype. Oh my gosh, dude. It's so funny how King's dad can look so like soft and welcoming and then look so awesome and menacing, like from shot to shot. It's so cool. Whoa, am I seeing Aurora Borealis or something? <laughs> Aurora Borealis? <laughs> uh, good Lord, what is happening in there? <laughs> Aurora Borealis, dude. Look at, look at that, like this little glowing things in the back. I love the, like, the brushes that they used on this one for like uh, Luce's hair and the collector's little hair and the little sparkles they got. So many little just little effects in the watching and dreaming. Like it just looks like it's glowing or something. It looks very nice. You got like the magical glyphs. Like look at that. Look at all like the little details in there. Oh my gosh. They must have spent so much time on this and it's definitely worth it because it just looks so good. Aw, this one's pretty cute. Take care of him for me. We got Caleb and Flapjack to Hunter and Waffles. Aw, what a cute little comparison, dude. Yeah, Flapjack, don't worry. He's still with Hunter, but he's also with Caleb now too. Flapjack is with both of them in spirit. I challenge you to a witch's battle. Not quite the duel, but it's the Nightmare Realm. Oh my goodness, dude. I kind of wish the Nightmare Realm lasted a little bit longer so that we could just get to see more of like the evil, like good characters. I don't know, I just think, it, I just thought that was like such a cool scene. It didn't last very long, but it would have been cool if we got to like see more of their characters. But you know, we had to get to the good stuff with the collector and whatnot, so it's understandable, but really good piece here. Ooh, this one's interesting, especially since it's like a non-canon sort of like a bad end version. We got just everybody turned into puppets by the collector and still got more bellow size in the back. This is something I would have expected 
uh, like before for the future, like we were expecting, but no. The collector's our buddy now, don't worry. Just a bad ending. <laughs> Ooh, this is a beautiful redraw of the now eat this sucker. She's ripping Bellas out of that heart. You can see the magic just bursting from it too. Very nice redraw here. Love the Bellows face, just ah! <laughs> we got the whole gang up next. Uh, for some reason, Willow feels shorter than she should be here. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but either way, we got all of them looking very clean, loving the style. Kind of got like these little rigid faces, but it looks pretty cute, honestly. I like how you got all their background colors to represent uh, each character's color as well. Very cool. Titan loose is back. Look at those fists. Oh my gosh, looks like he's about to punch somebody. <laughs> Punching freaking bellows, dude. Punch that glob. Once again, like many others, a very stellar redraw. Are you guys gonna do it or should I? Nah, I'm gonna do it. Psh, high fives. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like, I think it's just like a specific redraw of a scene. It always looks like she's going for a high five or something. Either way though, nice Titan loose redraw, a little string bean and glyphs. That's what we like to see. Another very iconic scene redraw. Once again, we got the rain, the sparkles, and the very uh, nice brush. I'm liking the brush uh, that they did with this one on the line art. I also like how they added the shadows to the face. Just looks even more menacing, dude. Aw, snap. We have, I think this is a little painting, a little tight and loose painting. Okay, it's been a minute since we've had a... Uh... A painting, very cool. This is also a streak of, I believe, four. Four Titan loses in a row. Let's go, dude. This is very nice. Always down to see some more paintings. Oh, snap. We have five Titan loses. Could we get six and then maybe even seven? Are we gonna beat our streak? We're gonna find out. But here we got a very happy Titan loose, chilling with the glyphs. And I think this is supposed to be the rain, all the little dots falling around here. I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, it looks nice. Ah, uh, not quite. All right, we missed our streak of six. That's all right. We got the collector saying bye to everybody. How nice, dude. Look at all like the little wisps and magic and stars surrounding them too. Oh my gosh. And like the lighting and shadows too. Don't worry, collector. You'll see him again one day. Uh, if only this one swapped with the collector one, we could have had six in a row once again. Uh, this is definitely a really interesting style for sure. The eyes are definitely uh, very interesting. I can see like the little lashes there, the hair with like the little strokes, but then adding like a bunch of little sparkles to it. You got a bunch of sparkles on the glyph too. Really helps like the little magical elements uh, stand out. And you got the us weirdos have to stick together quote too. Very nice piece. Oh gosh, is this what I think it is? Is this Pizza Tower again? This is Pizza Tower again. Oh my gosh. She's so nervous. Oh my gosh, Titan Loose looks so nervous. But then again, I think it's supposed to be like a homage to uh, Peppino from the Pizza Tower who is quite uh, freaking nervous. So I guess that's a pretty good uh, crossover there. <laughs> what the heck? He's so tiny. Yo, the collector looks even smaller than he normally is. He already looks small, like he's just a little baby kid. But now he's even tinier, oh my gosh. He looks so sad too. You definitely need an iPad or something. <laughs> Aw, look at this little cute art style. Very round, very shaped. Cute little uh, willow drawing here. We have uh, some pencil and marker combination. Uh, very cool with the different styles there. Nice to see the little hybrid uh, tools there. And now we got Titan Loose and King, the Titan siblings, dude. Going for a cool little photo here. Always down to see more Titan sibling action. <laughs> Uh, she it looks like she's like, yo, take this, take this light quick, grab it. <laughs> I'm trying to grab it loose, I am. I'm trying to grab the light. It's a very nice drawing. I like how you can see the light reflecting in her eyes too. Very skillful attention to detail on this one. I like it. Oh, thank you. Coming from King's dad. He's going for a little wave. He's like, oh, thanks guys. It's me, King's dad. I only got like five minutes of screen time, but thanks anyway for showing up. <laughs> Always good to see King's dad. We got another Titan loose coming up here with a bit of a power pose. No wand in hand, but it looks like she's uh, going for another charge of magic or something. I swear it looks like she's about to charge up some magic. She getting ready for the fight, dude. <laughs> Bye, it was fun. It's so simple, but it works so well. Thanks, Luce, uh, from the future. I guess we'll catch you later. Oh, we got a comic here. We got Bellos. Uh, I feel so much better after punching the collector. After this, I will surely take over the aisles. One hour later, <laughs> he got Lego Ida T posing rain and just some dog looking king. And he's like, oh my biscuit, it's over. It's over. Yeah, literally, dude. He literally had all the power in his hands. And then one hour later, he's just a dumb little skull that's about to get stomped on. Oh, yo, he's got the quote here. Both king and queen. Best of both things. And then you've got king's dad in both a suit and a dress. How about that, dude? <laughs> Yo, he kind of killing it though. What the heck? Look at that little hat that he's got on the left one. That's actually so cute. That little baby hat. That's actually so adorable. 
I'm back. That's right. Titan Loose is back once again. Literally, I expect it. I, every time I like click the next image, I'm just like, is it going to be Titan Loose? I mean, it's like a 50-50, it feels like. There's so much Titan Loose art. Giving us a good wink in this one. Like the little uh, shadow casted over half of the uh, portrait as well. Looks very solid. Oh, this is such a cute little art style here. Very soft looking. I hope I see you again with the Collector and King. Don't worry, you two. You guys will always be friends, surely. Oh, we got a story in two parts. On the left, we got Collector saying, toys break all the time. You can just fix them. Literally like 10 minutes later, why can't I fix loose? No, snap, snap, it's not working. That's because it doesn't work like that, buddy. You had to learn the hard way, I'm sorry. We got a classic Titan Loose redraw up next, looking very, very solid. She did really well with the markers, honestly. It looks very, very solid. Great job with this one. <laughs> what the heck, he looks like a potato. Bella's explaining why he was actually good this entire time. He was just like, oh, duh, uh, actually I was under a curse. It wasn't me, uh, it was literally just a curse. I had nothing to do with this. I'm literally just Philip Woodabane. Like, yeah, come on, bro, come on. <laughs> You tried, you tried. Ooh, yo, this one's sick. The first thing I'm noticing is just like the huge bright blue light coming off from the Titan loose. And I love the way they did the line art of this one with the different colors. They have like the purplish with the hat and they got like other colors with the outfit. Oh, I love it when people do that kind of like line art. It looks so sick. And just all the glyphs in the background too. Yo, this is a sick piece of art. Nice job with this one. Everything's so shiny and pretty. Next, we got Time Skip Loose here with, uh, I'm gonna guess, one of the future glyphs here that she's probably studying under King. Good to see her keeping up with those studies. Next, we have a piece of Huntlow fan art, which uh, this did not happen in the show. <laughs> but again, this is why fan art exists, so I'm sure lots of Huntlow fans are definitely going to be happy to see this. Yo, hold on now, Titan Loose. Chill out with all that lightning. Sheesh, you're gonna zap my computer. <laughs> Oh, I heard, oh, yo, look at the eyes, dude. Look at all the glyphs inside the eyes. There's a ton of glyphs inside this one. Oh my gosh. Both new and old style. Yo, that's crazy. Cool little uh, detail there. Oh, what's up with Rain in this one? Rain whispers. Uh, they look a little nervous. Uh, it looks like they be sweating or something. Hmm. You okay, buddy? Something wrong? You can tell me what's wrong. Ooh, this one's very elegant. I like this one a lot. Already loving the lighting, just all from the glyphs and whatnot. And the expression from Titan, this is quite interesting. She looks very bored. <laughs> I don't know, it, it looks very uh, mystical almost. I don't really know how to describe it other than that, but it's just very elegant and mystical. And I really like the lighting and the effects on this one. We're continuing the streak with the Titan Loose once again. We got a simple Titan Loose redraw with the I'm Back pose with all sorts of glyphs floating around here going for a crazy magic spell. Although, where is her nose? This has just been a weird trend where people just don't draw Titan Loose's nose. I don't know what is up with it, but I guess just some of you just don't want her to smell. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness she has a nose in this one. All right, we got three Titan Looses in a row. Glyphs surrounding her and plenty of Bellows eyes surrounding her too. But you know what? She looks confident enough. She's like, nah, I got this, bro. I got this. Thousand of Bellows eyes versus one me. Nah, we got this. Oh, we got four. Our streak is building up once again. Very classic disappointed look coming from Titan Loose here. Looking down at old Bellows. Loving the little shading on the outer rim of the uh, hair and outfit here. Very nice redraw here. And another Titan Loose. Hold on, we got a streak of five. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this one looks rather confident going for a mighty glyph attack. Even String Bean's like, yo, she's got this, bro. <laughs> you get him, Titan Loose. <gasps> no way. We hit six. Yo, that's not a new record, but we're tied with our new record. Can the next one also be tight and loose? <laughs> dude, this one's awesome, dude. I love the pose with the hand. Looks like she's having a grand old time trying out all this new magical power that she's got access to. The hair is looking fluffy as ever. Yo, this one is awesome. <gasps> this counts. This counts. This is seven. That's a, that's a new record. That's seven tight and looses in a row. That's a new record. That's a new record. Oh my gosh, we hit a new record with the Titan Looses seven in a row. That is actually crazy. And this time we also get to see Amity once again seeing Titan Loose, which is not canon, but you know what? That's exactly what fan art is for. And this is a very nice piece of fan art. Um, this counts. No, this counts. The artist titled this as a full Titan Loose. Like what if she, you know, basically completely got rid of her human form? What if she went full on Titan? This is what she would look like. That's an interesting concept, honestly. I'd never really thought about something like that before. She definitely looks a lot more like King. I guess uh, they're even closer as Titan siblings now, but that is eight Titan Looses in a row. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be hard to beat. Oh, another streak's over. Okay, we're back to some time skip loose. Very adorable, going for the little wink and peace sign there. Thank you, Owl House. Yes, thank you, Owl House, indeed. 
Man, I can't believe we got a streak of eight Titan Looses though. That was crazy. Oh, what do we got here? Hmm, I've never been to the moon before. Why does it look like cheese? Ow! Oh. <laughs> so good! <laughs> it doesn't actually taste like cheese, Collector. What the heck? This lid is the Collector goes to the moon, eats the moon, is like, oh yeah, that tastes like cheese. It doesn't. I mean, to be fair, I've never been to the moon and I've never eaten it, but I highly doubt it tastes like cheese. But you know what? Go ahead, prove me wrong. <laughs> I'll gladly be proved wrong. Ooh, yo, we got a uh, I'm back pose with the Titan Lewis with a big old combo glyph here. All four of the uh, glyphs here in the background, which combine for some beautiful lighting on the Titan Lewis. Each one casting a different color on the Titan Lewis. That looks so good. Wow. Dude, lo looking at lighting like this, it's it's just so fun. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of words on this one. So we got a Luce and Amity moment where they uh, reunite and have their kiss at the end of uh, Watching and Dreaming. Oh, it's a, uh, I have no idea what my future holds, but it'd be so cool if you were in it. Okay, and there's a bunch of other like little quotes that's uh, related to Lumity. That's cool. Very styled around these two with the quotes and whatnot. That's neat. Now we got a time skip Amity uh, redraw here. It looks like this is straight out of uh, one of the shots at the very end or something. Pretty good looking redraw, honestly. Oh dear. <laughs> I actually got jump scared by this. Oh geez. He literally is just like reaching out, dude. That That is such a spooky pose. I don't know why it's like scares me so much. Well, not so much scares, but you know, I don't know why I find it so intimidating, but you know, it also is just Bellos and his goopiness and nastiness and just coming out of the heart to taunt you. So you know what? I can see why it would be scary, but I don't know. I just kind of got jump scared by that one. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Look at this Albert. He literally looks like a potato. <laughs> Sorry, that's so cute, dude. We have uh, Eden and Rain looking into each other's eyes here. And we also have Albert and uh, Rain's Palisman looking at each other. I'm sorry, I just love this Albert so much. It literally looks like a little potato. It's so cute, dude. Oh, yo, this one warms my heart so much. You have King running towards his dad with a little baseball because he wants to play catch, dude. He never got to play catch with his dad. Oh, that is so cute, dude. That really does warm my heart. Oh, this one's kind of neat. You got like a corrupted collector here, inspired from uh, when all, all the Bellos gunk was uh, taking up their arms. But now it's like whenever they're trying to use their magic, it doesn't work nearly as well because of all that Bellos gunk uh, neutralizing their powers. Interesting concept, but I feel so bad for the poor little guy. Now we got a simple Titan loose here, just looking directly at us, very nice. Love the little warm lighting. You can see like the little circles of just the warm lights of the, the sun or whatever. It looks quite cozy. Oh, and we got another uh, time skip Lumity moment here. Sharing a romantic moment with each other. Not too much else to say besides that. Pretty simple and sweet. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice the hoodie at first, but I was, I was just looking at this piece. I was like, aw, how sweet. You got the whole family reconnecting and then hoodie just <laughs> through Ida's hair. Like, look at that. He's literally shoving himself through her hair. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. He should have been there, honestly. He should have been there. But, you know, he would have been too powerful. He would have taken out the collector and his. So they had to they had to nerf the fight a little bit, you know? <laughs> Ooh, now we have another king and king's dad here. I am both king and queen, best of both things. And they also tell uh, which episodes they came from. That's cool. I, didn't, I actually forgot which episode uh, the quote that king originally said came from. That's a nice little comparison with father and son there. Oh, where does magic come from, everybody? It comes from the heart. What a nice looking redraw. Oh my goodness. He got the whole toe trio here looking very awesome. Luce's hair is very sparkly. Her eyes and crest are glowing like crazy. Even string beans popping off. That is amazing, dude. Next, we just got a very chill sketch of uh, Time Skip Luce here. It looks pretty solid, honestly. Except, you already know what I'm going to say, right? Where's the nose? <laughs> she doesn't have a nose. I don't know what it is. People just love deleting Luce's notes. There, is this like a meme? I swear it's gotta be a meme or something. <laughs> Next, we got a pretty simple drawing of Luce. Uh, I guess she's standing on one foot trying to do some balancing exercises or something. Uh, I really like the uh, eyes here. They got like a very cool little sparky effect on the eyes. Makes it really stand out for sure. Quite nice. Oh, now we got like a whole party going on here. We got Hootie going crazy, Time Skip Eda, King with some really nice glowing eyes, Loose chilling with the new glyphs, Amity's watching some little sparkly fireworks and whatnot. Yo, we got a whole party going on here. This looks awesome. Aw, oh, snap, dude. You already know what I noticed right at first. We got <laughs> Tibble's bacon right at first. We also got Harpy Lego Eda, uh, some pizza bagels. Uh, and Luce, King, and Ida, of course. Yeah, we got the whole gang and a bunch of other stuff going on. That's awesome. Especially the Tibbles bacon, dude. Whoa, those are some big ears you got there, Hunter. 
<laughs> we got Hunter, we got Waffles, Flapjack's Grave, and the Beauty Hootie, dude. What a combo. You can't go wrong with it. Next, so we got King's Dad with the scene of Tell King I Loaf Him. That's right, I've been watching over. I know the inside jokes. Tell him the bread pun, quick, loose. <laughs> very nice sketch of King's Dad. Looks very solid. Ooh, now he's got a whole bunch of characters redrawn here. We got Time Skip, Loose, and Hunter. We got a very scary looking collector. Beauty Hootie, Albert, King's Dad, uh, King's Glyph, Bra Moment with Bellows and the Collector, and Flapax Grave, and a Marky Woo off to the right. Oh my goodness, dude. Nine whole drawings for the price of one. I guess 10 if you count the Marky. <laughs> 10 whole drawings for the price of one. That's crazy, dude. In memory of Flapjack. Aw, how sweet, dude. How very sweet. You got the whole little palisman gang down at the bottom and all the tattoos in the middle. That looks really good. Truly honoring our boy in the best way. Next, we got another Titan loose, pretty standard pose. And oh my gosh, I didn't even notice King. <laughs> it took me like three seconds to notice King. He's so tiny. Why is he so tiny in this one? Oh my gosh. King, you're supposed to be getting bigger, not tinier, buddy. What's going on? <laughs> Looks pretty good overall, but King does look so tiny in this one. Aw, look at this one. This one's very soft looking. I like how they did the uh, color pencil styled uh, shading here. Got some overall nice fluffiness. Very cool. Ooh, doesn't it drive you crazy just how fast the night changes? <laughs> we got Nightmare or Loose in the Nightmare Realm over here, and then we got Titan Loose on the right side. Kind of crazy that she had so many outfits in this one episode, like four different ones all in one episode, dude. That is kind of crazy. I always love these half and half pieces. This one looks really, really nice too. Oh, next we have the collector in despair. She's really gone. Don't cry, buddy. It's okay. She comes back. She comes back. It's all right, pal. Like the shadows uh, on the face that really helps add to the collector's despair. Aw, a little blurry here, but we got like a nice little uh, time skip group photo here with everybody just kind of chilling. Look at those happy faces, dude. That is what we strive for. Only happy times from here on out, hopefully. Next, we have a quick sketch of a time skip Amity. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Pretty simple sketch. Not bad. Aw, oh, I should have thanked them. So sad. Again, loose. It's all right. You'll get your chance four years later. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just joking. <laughs> but you know, it's good to know that she eventually knows what she wanted to say to them. Uh, we got Waffles and Flapjack here, little sister and the big brother. How adorable. The little bird buddies do, the bird siblings. So very cute. They're back together again. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. Even Hunter's going in for some pets, dude. Double pets on both Waffles and Flapjack, dude. They deserve all the pets. <laughs> Ooh, this one is very, very pretty. Yo, the level of detail on this one. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The lights coming off from the collector's hands. That's Luce's light from her sacrifice. Look at like the highlights that it added to like the hair because the lighting. Oh my gosh, and the eyes. You can see like the light reflecting in the eyes too. Holy moly, this is good. This is really, really good. Oh my goodness, dude. What an amazing piece. Yo, this poster though? Hold on, we got a freaking crazy bellows out front. A wedding king, Rain going for the whistling. We got Harpy Ida, the collector in the back. King's dad in the back too. And of course, dead center, we got Titan Loose surrounded by a tons of glyphs. Oh my gosh, this is a hype poster, dude. All the crazy stuff happening. Very nice work. Do you not understand what death means to mortals? No, he doesn't. Look at his eyes. Oh my gosh, he looks so terrified. Aw, buddy. <laughs> It'll be okay. Completely surrounded by bellows chunks. Watching the person who just saved you completely just turn into like light dust. Must be so terrifying, dude. Now we have uh, an Amity adult redesign here. Interesting, okay. Well, you kind of kept the uh, similarities with like the abomination style with the pants and whatnot, but she got some like new boots and a new little outfit here. A little bit blurry, I wish you could see it a little bit better, but not bad, not a bad redesign. Ooh, now we got Titan loose once again. Looks like she's uh, about to run somewhere. You look at that, she's like a action pose or something. Looks like she's got to get somewhere quick. Are you going to beat up Bellows? Go on, get over there, go beat up Bellows. <laughs> What the heck is happening here? We got, come on, fish with me. What's going on? Is that supposed to be Bellas down over there? Oh my gosh. We got uh, Hunter and Willow up in the front. Ida doing something. And that's supposed to be Lego Ida. Oh my gosh. We got Among Gus. That's disgusting. And some crying Amity. That's me. I'm that crying Amity in the background whenever I see Among Gus. <laughs> 
It's just so cursed, dude. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is a very nice redraw of Titan Loose. Super fluffy hair, the line art and the shading and everything just looks so clean. Nice job with this one. Now we got the king and the collector going for their goodbye hug once again. Every time I see it, dude, it just warms my heart. It's so bittersweet because it's like, you know, the collector's got to go and mature a little bit more, go back up to the stars. But at the same time, you want to see the two of them hanging out. So, you know, it just it gets you bittersweet. Oh, dude, this is so cute. Another piece that just warms my heart. A cute little waffles chilling on Hunter's hand and Flapjack watching over the both of them with a cute little smile. How adorable, dude. How very adorable. Hey, it's been a minute since we got some more Harpy Lilith art. Let's go, dude. Feels like every 100 pieces or so, there's like a Harpy Lilith redraw, which is awesome, dude. This one's very cool, too. We got like lots of little sparkles coming up from the ground, even like a little swivel to, I guess, represent how she was like spinning around all the way up there. And even Hootie's just kind of chilling up there with her. How cool, dude. I love the, like the little brush that they use for this one, too. It's one of those like chalk-like brushes. I don't really know how to describe it other than that, but I always really like those types of brushes. They look very pretty. Oh... Oh my gosh, this is probably the most cursed hootie I have ever seen in my entire life. What am I even looking at? I think this is supposed to be like somebody's face, like really, really close up, but they added like hootie to it. This is very cursed. I don't know what else to say other than that. This is just truly very cursed. <laughs> Next, we have a very impressive redraw of uh, Luce's sacrifice here when uh, she sacrificed her help to save the collector. It was a pretty cool scene. You did a really good job of recreating it, especially with like the glowy particles uh, coming off of Luce there. <laughs> the owls and also a little flapjack up top. That's cool. I can just call them the owls. You got all the time skip uh, characters here. Luce, Willow, Amity, Hunter, and Gus all looking clean as ever, dude. Let's go. Even got some custom outfits for them too. Not bad, not bad. Next, we got a little time skip uh, king here with the KC King Clawthorn collar there. Looking very fluffy. Not a bad sketch of all king. What the? How is she? Oh, she's hanging from vines. I was like, how the heck is Willow upside down? What? <laughs> uh, she's got like some vines that are uh, keeping her hung, I guess. I guess she's like probably on her broom or something. But there we go. Another piece of uh, Hunt Low fan art for all the Hunt Low fans out there with some very beautiful uh, trees in the background. Very nice. We're back to Titan Loose once again. We got a very uh, standard theme here with the glyphs in the background. Go over some very cool magic tech. Love how they did that magic one with like the outer parts being really bright and the inner parts being very dark. That looks very, very cool. She's ready to battle, dude. She's ready to go freaking in. Ooh, look at the lighting on this one. You can see like the sunbeams coming down onto old Flapjack's grave. You can even see some of the little uh, roses there sparkling. Aw, dude. This is so good. And like the, just the highlights and shading on Flapjack's grave too. That looks so good. Oh my goodness. What a very nice tribute to our boy Flapjack. <laughs> Look at this Titan loose. Oh, she looks so bored. Unless this is, oh, I guess it's supposed to be a redraw of her looking at uh, Bellos all disappointed. But at first I thought she was just kind of like chilling there being like, what? What do you want from me? What, you wanted me to do magic? I'm not here for your entertainment. I'm just chilling. <laughs> Ooh, now we got King. We got King looking out over the corrupted Titan. Poor, poor guy. I just realized, dude, having King see this is just having, like, to see his dad's corpse basically be corrupted by Bellos. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that perspective yet. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, buddy. So sorry you had to witness that. And we got the bye once again coming from Titan Loose herself with some crazy little glowy effects coming from the eyes, the crest, just all around her as well. Got the light glyph up top too, looking very solid. What the? Oh, this, <laughs> this looks like a baby king meets a future king. Wah, wah. <laughs> they just keep going back with wah, 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 wah. That's all I say to each other, just wah. <laughs> That's so silly. Next up is a happy little chibi collector. Pretty simple, honestly. He looks very happy. How cute. <laughs> Yo, people love doing Amity's reaction to Titan Loose. Oh my gosh. This is a lot more popular than I thought it would be. Hey, Hermosa. They've also got, like, just Bellow size in the background. What the heck? Why is Bellow still around? You got a job to do, Titan Loose. What are you doing? Go beat up Bellows. <laughs> now is not the time. Oh, we're back to the Flapjack's grave again. And we got all the little palismans surrounding Flapjack's grave, too. Oh, how cute. They all look so sad. Don't look so sad, guys. It's okay. Flapjack will watch over, I'm sure, everybody in spirit. <laughs> Even more Wes, dude. The Titan still is going for the way, way. <laughs> no longer just the Kings, but now it's just freaking loose and King going way, way, way. And I imagine this Eda is just off to the other side. And she's just like, please shut up. <laughs> 
Oh, I like this one. We got like a darker theme, Titan loose, like a very uh, greenish background. Probably just all the Bellas corruption taking place in the background. Got the very fluffy hair blowing in the wind. Very nice. Oh my goodness, what a scary piece here. You know this can't last forever. With, uh, we got like Nightmare loose here, and then a Bellos watching over her. Oh my gosh, this is supposed to be the Nightmare Realm. You're not supposed to be here, Bellos. <laughs> Gosh, that would generally be terrifying. If you just look to the right of you and you just see Bellos. Oh my gosh, I'd freak out. Next, we got another Titan loose once again with a super, super teeny little string bean. Oh my gosh, string bean str uh, shrunk a little bit. <laughs> just string bean chilling behind the neck and she's going for like some dark magic glyphs. I don't even know how they're doing that. I guess just to make it stand out a little bit more, but she's attacking with all four different glyphs, dude. She's going crazy with those glyph powers. Next we got King's Dad, oh no, I'm sorry, King's Mom, oh no, I'm sorry, The Titan, no, I'm sorry, Papa Titan. <laughs> Papa Titan, dude, looking very, very good. I usually just call him King's Dad, but you know, Papa Titan works pretty well too. You got another Titan loose here, uh, combining lots of the colors on this one, very, very interesting. Kind of like a, more of a minimalist style here, I guess. No, please. Okay, thank goodness. I was about to say, I zoomed into the picture. I was like, please tell me that's a nose and not eyelashes. Thank goodness it's a nose. Thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness there was another piece without a, a nose for all tight and loose there. Anyway, nice job. Back to back Titan looses. Let's go, dude, with a crazy smile. Looking a little concerned and also... Wait, is she even holding the staff? What? Okay, no, she is. For a second, I thought her hand was facing out when she was like tossing like string bean behind her, just about to throw hands at Bellas. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, poor string bean, you're just abetting her just to punch Bellas. I mean, honestly, I'd punch Bellas, but don't abandon little string bean to do it. But either way, good piece. Oh, now we got like a concentrated Titan loose here. Very, very much a close up. We get to look at the very nice and fluffy hair and the nice little warm lights. Like we have some light glowing on her face as well. Pretty interesting. I wonder what uh, that light is coming from. Oh dear. Now we have a uh, King's Nightmare Realm with Bill taunting him for being the last Titan. Oh my goodness. And look at his like super sharp horns. Oh my goodness. Bit of bit uh, stylized there with the ha 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 is all in the back. That's actually kind of scary, dude. <laughs> But again, it's a nightmare realm, so, you know, it's supposed to be. Really good art, though. I love, like, just how everything is just tinted red. Very good. What the heck is happening here? Why is Camila so scared? Hootie's just screaming, Hoot! And Amity's trying to, like, shut him up somehow with, like, some freaking abomination magic. What the heck? Why are you yelling at Camila? What'd she ever do to you? What? <laughs> I mean, yeah, Camila would definitely be scared first, uh, her first meeting Hootie, but why the heck would Hootie be so mad at her? What the heck is happening here? We got our boy Hunter here next with, of course, little waffles resting on his shoulder. How very adorable. And what's also quite adorable is Flapjack watching over them. That's right. Flapjack Spirit will always be watching over Hunter. Next, we got a simple Titan loose here. Looks like she could be holding her staff, but is choosing not to. How about I go for a psh, high five there? Thank you, Titan loose for the high five. <laughs> dude, I swear, every time I see a Titan loose, it's either like a high five or a streak or something, dude. We're just playing games the Titan loose out here, I swear. Great drawing as well. Okay, what do we have going on here? Lots of stuff happening. We got uh, Gus, Willow, and Amity all chilling out here using their magic powers. I think that's supposed to be the collector in the background and somebody else back there too. It's kind of hard to tell who else is flying around, but uh, cool to see everybody practicing their magic powers. Uh, next is uh, the collector. I really like the lighting here right from the very start where Luce's last little light is glowing up so much of the, the collector. Looking a little sad there, knowing that Luce is gone. You can even see her hat in the background. That's a good touch there. Very good piece. Oh, look at this. We got a nice little comparison redraw here. Amity coming off the little flying machine, abomination flying machine, whatever the heck it is. Got her book in hand. Looks good, dude. That's a pretty freaking accurate redraw, I gotta say. Even added some extra details with the shading and the highlights, dude. Remarkable. Oh, look at this. We just got Hunter chilling with uh, his new little palisman waffles. How adorable, dude. I wonder how uh, soon it took for waffles to be carved. Because we know he has waffles in the time skip, but I wonder, like, his waffles still kind of new? Like, did he? do you think he waited a while? I wonder. That's actually a good question I'd love to know someday. Cute art, though, regardless. Oh, now we have watching and dreaming. It looks like everybody is uh, dreaming right here. We've even got some half and halves here as well with uh, at least everybody but Titan Loose. Titan Loose is the only one who's just uh, Titan Loose throughout. But we got like season one and season three Willow and same with uh, the rest of everybody. Pretty interesting idea there, but keeping Titan Loose, that's an interesting choice just to keep her uh, being the only one there. Hey, what's going on, King's Dad? How's it going? Loving this piece. It's just pretty simple, pretty sweet. Loving the little colors in the background. You colored uh, King's Dad really well. 
Just looks good, makes you just wanna hang out with them. Next up, we got a quick sketch of uh, Titan Loose here, looking pretty solid. She looks like she's almost like, oh? <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, oh, is that a challenge, Bellows? So you dare challenge me, Titan Loose? Do you know of my power? <laughs> Ooh, we go from a little cocky to a little uh, edgy. Oh my goodness, we can't even see her eyes in this one. This is uh, a little scary. Complete disapproval of Bellas, but this time you can't even see her eyes. Oh my goodness. Bellas is truly about to meet his end in this one. Oh, hey, we got uh, Time Skip V up next. Looking fluffy as ever. Dare I say, like, extra fluffy? Oh my goodness, this is like a very, very fluffy V. <laughs> got a little simple shading going on there, too. I've noticed that a lot of people do, like, one big, like, line of shading as, like, a main thing. It's something I picked up on after looking at a lot of these art pieces with the shading. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's, like, a common trend to just put, like, one little big line of, like, shading to, like, have a... Just to make like the piece more detailed. I don't know. It definitely looks neat. I don't know. It's it's a technique that I've just kind of been noticing recently, and I think it's kind of neat. Oh my goodness, yo, this is crazy. Now eat this sucker. Oh, this is marvelous, dude. I love how it's uh, very dark in the center, uh, except you got like the amazing like. Look at that mouth, dude. Look at that style of mouth. Oh my gosh, like the tilted, <laughs> just furiously, but also happy. And I like the the like the freaking I don't even know what to call it, but like the the gleam coming off of the eyes like in different directions. I love how the words are like written like just differently, where like the S and the C are really big, but the U K A is like kind of small. It really helps stylize the piece a lot. Oh my goodness! And like how it's just like I was saying, like it's dark in the middle, but like it goes to be lighter on the outsides because of the background light. Oh my gosh, dude, this is just marvelous. Very nice job with this one. Oh my goodness, Luz, that is quite a face of despair. And I know Despair. I'm a fan of Danganronpa, so... <laughs> oh gosh, but still... Jeez, this is... I feel so bad. It's a very good piece of artwork, but I feel so bad for Luce in this one. Aw, back to another time skip V, a little redraw when Albert comes to visit. Look at this little Albert, dude, so adorable. Loving the fluffy hair come from the V as well. I like the stylistic eyes that you got here, kind of like having little spikes at the end and having little stars in it too. Very nice drawing. Oh my goodness, we're launching Bellos out of there today. Rip him out of that Titan heart. Let's go, dude. I'm so happy there have been so many redraws of this scene in particular. Not only because it's just freaking epic, but every time I just look at the Bellos just screaming, I just, something about it is just so funny. Because I imagine just being like, ah, <laughs> just being ripped out. Like, that's gotta hurt, surely. He didn't even say, like, when Len Luz, like, rips him out, he doesn't even like scream or anything but surely it's gotta hurt right i don't even know dude <laughs> oh next up we got a little watching and dreaming poster here we got the owl house logo with all the different uh glyph magic coming off of it the glyphs down at the very bottom and we got a bunch of the main characters up at the top here let's go dude this is a nice looking poster Ooh, what the heck is happening here this is a bit of an interesting style i don't even know how to describe this so Luce is barely holding she's actually pinching the glyph there and then you look at like her legs and there's just like these I don't even know, what, it, what would you call this? What the heck? There's like little shadows of like another drawing or something. I'm confused. Is this supposed to be like representative of like tight and loose in the background? I don't even know. Very interesting though. I do like the style of the eyes, how that kind of comes off the head. Very like big eyes, very, very fluffy hair. I, this style confuses me, but it's very interesting. I would definitely like to see more. Ooh, this style is also quite unique as well. Luce, oh no, she's gone. She's gone, look at that. You can see the collector tightly gripping the hat. Aw, that's so cute, dude. The tears coming off of his face. Got the string being staff and the bell's corruption in the back too. This is a very, very nice piece as well. It's so fun to just see all these different styles, dude. Speaking of new styles, we got another Titan Loose here with a very unique style coming out here. The fluffy hair goes crazy. No hat, unfortunately. Um, so that means this is the worst art piece in the... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I just have... I just like hats, dude. What can I say? Oh, I think it's off to the side. You know what? You know what? You redeem yourself. It's off to the side. Though you should put the hat on. You know, maybe she does, has it off so it doesn't fly away while she's riding on freaking string bean. So, you know what? You get a pass. You get a pass. But when you land that broom, you better put that hat back on. <laughs> very amazing drawing, though. <laughs> what is this? He's got V chilling like, hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, I'm V. What's going on? Hey, I'm V. I, I just picture you're doing that with those sunglasses. She just looks so smug and funny, dude. Oh my gosh. That is stellar, dude. Ooh, this is a bit of an interesting take. So we got Harpy Lilith here looking very, very clean, except this time uh, it's not a redraw of uh, that one scene where she actually turns into Harpy Lilith, you know, for like 10 seconds. <laughs> this time she's just uh, looking a little sad. Looking a little sad. Poor Lilith. You doing okay there, pal? You got no hoodie to back you up? 
Interesting to see a more somber take on uh, Harpy Lilith, though. I like it. Ah, we got a little time skip Willow redraw here where she's holding the little thingy. We got Albert in the back being adorable. Oh, this looks good. This is a very solid redraw. Now we've got a little thanks for watching. I love the little background in this too. I have like the sun and it just goes and gets darker all the way up to the stars. We got these cute little, I want to say like plushies. They almost look like little plushies <laughs> of Luce and uh, Amity in their time skip designs. That's so cute, dude. That's adorable, dude. Why don't they sell official plushies for this show? Do you know how much money Disney would make? Disney, you guys like money, right? You guys are constantly making live action remakes. You know what you should make? Owl House merch. You want money, right, guys? Literally just make Owl House merch. That's all you have to do. Oh my gosh, Disney, please hire me. Hire me. Literally make Owl House plushies and they'll, they'll, they'll sell. Seriously. Sorry. <laughs> I just had to go on a rant there. <laughs> Oh, we got another time skip Will. This time going for like a little dance or something. How cute, dude. That's so adorable. Oh my goodness. Even got the little flapjack tattoo there, of course. I love how everybody's like so particular with adding the flapjack tattoos. I'm, I'm super happy about that. As the self-proclaimed number one flapjack fan, which I just now self-proclaimed myself to be at this very second, uh, I do appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. We got a little uh, time skip, uh, Loose and Amity at the end of watching and dreaming. A little redraw of them. Looks nice. We got a hoodie going crazy as well. Always gotta love the hoodie. Uh, no. Is that an Among Us? Is that an Among Us? And the that's an Among Us. Oh my gosh, dude. You really had to ruin it by putting an Among Us there? Whatever. I'm over it. <laughs> Once again, in a very new style, like in this one for sure. Got all the glyphs going there. This is a very interesting looking stream bean. This one's like very, very big. Got the big old ears, a happy little face. Just because it looks different doesn't mean I don't want to pet it. You can never stop me from trying to pet that string bean, dude. Ooh, what is this? What was this made with? Is this like a oil pastel or a paintbrush? I can't actually tell. It's a, it's a little hard to tell. The, the, it's a little too uh, dark, but it almost looks like an oil pastel. I don't think it is oil pastel. I don't know. I don't actually know. I think it might just be pain, but it's uh, freaking Bellos sitting in the heart. That is scary. I wish we got like some better lighting on this one so we could actually see it a little bit better. But that looks very good, even just in the dark lighting. We got that Titan Luz going once again. I like how I have like the blur reflects on this one. It really helps it uh, look like she's in the middle of combat too with that I'm back pose. Going for that big old grin. Looking great. Ooh, look at this majestic king. I can already picture him running across fields of red grass. <laughs> you got the... Bellow size? Are these supposed to be bellow size? No, these don't really look like bellow size. Hmm, bellow size look a little more menacing. Maybe these are collector eyes? No, the collector eyes were yellow in that one scene. I wonder whose eyes these are supposed to be. Uh, I don't know, but this king does look very, very nice. Very detailed as well. Now we're back to the redraws of good old Harpy Lilith and Hootie chilling up there as well. We got Hunter and Willow and Amity, the whole crew, chilling together in this beautiful picture. Very nice drawing. What have we got here? Puppet Camila, huh? Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not our very first piece of specifically Puppet Camila art? I'm surprised we didn't see more of this. Dude, seeing uh, Camila's tears while she was in her puppet form, mind you, uh, when Luce's little lights were passing by, it's like as if she knew that was Luce. That was so sad, dude. That honestly like got me more than any other part of like Luce's sacrifice. Because I, I didn't cry in watching and dreaming, but like if I were to cry, it would have been at this scene right here. It would have been at this scene when we saw Camila seeing these little lights of Luce. Like that, oh, that almost got me. Next up, we've got a battle ready Titan Luce drawn up with a little pen here. Got plenty of glyphs all around. Not looking too happy, but that's okay because she's, you know, going up against Bellos. So, you know, I wouldn't expect anyone to be happy going up against Bellos. But, you know, she's got to do what's got to be done. Ooh, yo, look at this pose. Okay, hold on, we got like a bit of a dynamic pose here. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at the, the shading on the string bean. Holy moly. I like this little square type shading, a big old little circle around. Even got like a glyph bracelet there and like some sparkles coming off of a sparkly eye. Ooh, okay, lots of interesting design choices here. Oh, I just realized you got like, uh, it's not just on the hand, but it's on the other hand and it's on their ankles too. She's literally got uh, like little glyph bracelets on her like wrists and ankles. Very cool design choice, I like it. Well, now we're back with the Titan Loose, almost seeming like she's in the in-between or something. She even got those uh, those full balls of glyph or whatever you wanna call them. I don't even know what to call them, the glyph ball? I guess let's call it the glyph ball or the glyph shield, something like that. Even got the live Amity reaction going on over there, dude. Oh my gosh, so adorable. I love it when people do like little circle hands. They're so cute. Very nice piece here. Now we've got Thank You Owl House with a very sentimental, very nostalgic looking time skip loose. 
chilling off over here. Some very bright lights being cast on her. Looks very nice. Hey, now we're ripping Bellas out of the Titan, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Once again, he's just going, ah! <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. You can even see like his goop trail being left behind. Oh, it's so freaking nasty, dude. Leaving his goop trail all around. Oh gosh, reminds me of that one animation earlier. <laughs> very, very good redraw here. Oh. <laughs> what is this one? We got just King's dad looking down and then Lucy just like, hello, I am small. How's it going, King's dad? <laughs> She's so freaking tiny. This is so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why I find the expressions of both of them to just be so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, now we have time skip. Luce and Amity holding hands with a little goodbye owl house caption with string bean and ghost watching them. How very nice, dude. How very, very nice. Loving the, the very light shading on this one as well. Both on the characters and the little palismans. And I like how you have like the little blur in the background for like what trees are closer and which ones are farther away. It looks very good. Ooh, now we got a whole poster here. We got Titan loose right in the center of everything, sitting on like a Rubik's cube. And then we've got uh, the puppet versions of all of her friends. Uh oh. It's okay, Amity frees all of them because she can just, I don't know, move as a puppet. That's kind of broken, that's kind of insane. Dare I say that's unfair that only she could do that. But regardless, we know that that's what happens. But very nice little uh, poster here. Aw, look at this Ida, dude, she is so happy. She is so freaking happy in this one. Loving the little hook hand. She's going crazy being the new headmaster of the new University of Wild Magic. I still find it so funny how Ida basically becomes like a headmaster slash teacher even though she was always complaining about like Hexide and the way it was run uh, so long ago. But you know, she wants to be the change. So it just ends up working so nice for her ending. Oh my goodness. Now we have a puppet Amity here being like completely trapped. You can see like the collector's uh, threads, puppet threads. I don't really know what else to call it other than that. But uh, you can see them like wrapped around Amity completely controlling her. Even like her f hand is like covering her face, maybe to almost like kind of try and resist the collector's uh, influence there. Very interesting. Next, we got a I'm back pose with the Titan loose once again. I think this is probably the most popular pose so far. It's either that or like the looking down on Bellos one. One of those two has got to be the most popular. Loving the colors that you chose for uh, Titan loose here with those little uh, colored pencils there. And uh, thank you for saying that you like my content. I do appreciate it. <laughs> I find this one so funny because you drew Hunter. This looks kind of doofy, but it looks so nice. And then it's like, oh, look, it's Waffles. And you have like a bunch of arrows and hearts pointing to Waffles. Like, where's the love for Hunter? <laughs> oh, I'm just messing with it, but this is very cute. Okay, we got a bit of a collage of different drawings here. We have Titan loose up here. And it, like she's got like inside of a glyph over here as well. And then we have uh, Rain when they're trapped inside of all like the Bellows gunk thinking that it's basically going to be the end for them. Luckily they do get rescued, but two very interesting drawings. I'm a bit surprised that we haven't seen more uh, rain drawings, like rain being like captured or like more possessed rain. Honestly, I thought we'd see a lot more rain, but I think this is probably like maybe like number 10 of rain that we've seen out of like nearly 650 entries. That's kind of crazy. But you know, nice to see them here. Ooh, we got a bit of a unique style here. A watching and dreaming poster, dare I say. We got a crying collector at the top. Eat at the top as well, who also seems to be crying a little bit. Uh, we got some sparkles coming up from the watching and dreaming logo, the glyphs, and King and Titan loose chilling together. I really like how they have these outlines set up. It almost feels like they added the outlines after they drew the picture to add on like a little extra effect of uh, just like color. I think it looks really, really nice. It really helps to stand out too. Very stellar design choice there. Ooh, look at the high detail level of shading on this one. Just like looking at the little collector's pants, their sleeves, and just up by their uh, freaking hair. Yo, this looks very, very good with the shading. That's what I just noticed immediately. It looks very, very solid. Finally friends with the king of demons. That's right, buddy. This time for real. You guys were friends, but you know, you're keeping some secrets from each other. But this time you're fully realized friends. Oh, look at this, dude. The new owl family. Dude, this is so adorable. Ida and Rain together. Loose King and the Collector chilling. Hootie with a cute little bow tie and Oliver with a cute little bow tie too. Oh my gosh. And String Bean too, I almost forgot about String Bean. Yo, this is so cute. And they all have like little matching sweaters or at least the people who can wear sweaters, Hootie and Alberts have like little bows, but that's so adorable, dude. Oh my gosh, I love that the collector is there too. Oh, that is so cute. This is definitely one of the best like group family photos that I've seen so far, so cute. Those are some very sparkly eyes. We got another very close up here of Titan Loose with a bunch of glyphs and some very, very sparkly eyes that 
kind of stare into your soul. Oh my goodness. Back to back Titan loses once again. We got plenty of uh, magical sparkles, glyphs, little uh, whatever the heck Luce is casting there. Some sort of like light and dark spell or something. I'm not sure. We're looking quite happy to cast it though. Going for a little wink. About to ride on String Bean. What a magical form. Oh goodness. What the heck is... <laughs> so this is Caleb's Pentagram, which he can apparently edit after he's dead, but whatever. <laughs> we got Widowbro, got what he deserved, taking a picture of Bella's getting stomped on. And everybody else is like, oh, I'm, I did that. Oh, he sucks, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, oh, he even puts ratio. He puts hashtag ratio Bellas, dude. Dude, Bellas has got to be the freest person to ratio of all time. Oh my gosh. That's such a funny idea. Oh, now we got a quick little sketch here of the collector looking very curious. He's like, oh, Oh, I wonder what's out there. More adventures to find? I love the little sleeves, too. And I, I always love long sleeve characters where you can't really see their hands. It's so adorable, dude. Such a cute little collector drawing. Don't worry. I think it missed. Ooh, look at this, like, 3D text looking very interesting there. But no, loose. it did not miss. It did protect the collector, sort of, uh, but it did not miss. I don't even know how she thought it missed. She charged right into that. How did you think it missed? I'm being so critical to poor Luce here. My goodness. Solid redraw of this scene, though. Ooh, next up we got uh, Watching and Dreaming Loose on the left, Titan Loose with that uh, one stare down at Bellos, and we got Time Skip Loose as well. All three different versions, got all the glyphs up here with their elemental properties coming off of them and the classic quote of now eat this sucker, dude. What a very nice tribute to Loose and her glyphs and her funny quotes. <laughs> Well, if that isn't the roundest king I have ever seen, nope, this is pretty much the roundest king I have ever seen. Look at him, he's just, he's so round. Going for a little wink there. He's even got like the new glyphs in the background. Looking good, buddy. Hey, we got another group photo, very nice. Everybody looks like they're just chilling, except for Gus. Gus literally, like, he looks like he's mentally checked out. He's like, nah, dude, I just wanna go home and play video games. <laughs> He literally looks like he's completely mentally checked out. Like everybody else is kind of like, yeah, yeah, we're all chilling. But Gus is just like, nah, man, nah. <laughs> Regardless, this is a very nice group photo. Loving the little shading and highlights on the hair and clothes and whatnot. Very nice job. Aw, look at this. Thank you. Yes, thank you to the Owl House and Titan Loose here with a cute little string bean right next to her. Giving her some pets, dude. She's even like got her tongue out and her little eyes are so happy. Oh, I wish I was you, Titan Loose. I want to pet that little bean so much. Ooh, been a minute since we've had a redraw of this scene. For some reason, my mind immediately went to Wind Waker because of the background and the Korok Forest. I don't know why, but <laughs> I just immediately thought of that. Uh, but either way, this is a very cute little redraw here of Time Skip, Hunter, and Willow. I love the little details on the hair. You can see like all the little strands of hair with the highlights. Very awesome details here. Next up, we've got Time Skip Amity here. A little redraw of her coming off that one uh, flying machine or whatever. Looking pretty good. You got the colors on point there. Little diamonds in the background. Looking happy as ever carrying that new book that she wrote. It's a good looking redraw. Oh, now we got a sad loose here holding that light glyph. Come on, Luce. You know you gotta use it. That's the one way to wake up. You gotta use that light glyph. The classic. The very first glyph you found, Luce. Liking how that glyph also casts some highlights on Luce herself. Looks very nice. Got a bit of a more realistic style to tighten loose here with some very fluffy hair. Oh my goodness. And I love like the top little orb there, which I keep confusing for the moon sometimes. <laughs> I won't lie. Uh, but it's got like, it casts like a bunch of really cool highlights on like the back of uh, like the ends of like Titan Loose's hair and her hat and whatnot. That looks so good. Wow. The, and, like, the glow of the eyes like is definitely like the cherry on top. This just looks so amazing. Ooh, next we have a proposal scene. Rain proposing to Ida. Ida Clawthorne, will you marry me? How very interesting. I know uh, in a post too, Dana mentioned that she wanted to keep it uh, up to interpretation if these two got married or not, since not all relationships end with marriage. But this is very interesting to actually draw the proposal itself. And this is the first time we've uh, seen something like this. I like how she's like holding the hook so close, almost like she's about to eat her hook. <laughs> I don't want to ruin that moment, but still, just something I know. It was kind of funny. Very unique piece, though. Very, very unique. Haven't seen something like this before. Next up, we've got Watching and Dreaming with the Titan Loose. It's got, like, a bit of a face portrait here. The hair covering the eyes. A little, a little bit of extra edge there, but that's okay, because that hair looks fluffy as always, dude. Not a bad Titan Loose. We got a streak going with the Titan Loose here. This time, she's picking up Amity. Amity's like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Why is your hair so extra fluffy? What the heck? Why are your eyes like that? 
Seriously, dude, every time I see fan art of like more people being exposed to Titan Lucy, it makes me really wish that other people got to see her in that form because it's such a sick form and yet only like a few people got to actually see her in that form but you know what whatever again that's why we got fan art dude oh this is adorable dude we got darius ruffling old hunter's head and he's like hey quit it dad <laughs> dad dude oh man this is I, I love like the it's another like found family sort of thing like darius being hunter's found family I really, really wish we got to see more of them on screen with each other, but you know, what we got is really, really awesome, and this is such a good artwork here. Oh my goodness. Even the background is beautiful too. Ooh, look at this. Next we have a very detailed uh, time skip rain here playing on their violin. Honestly, that's the first time we've seen so many jaw rain with the violin. That looks awesome, dude. I am actually learning the violin in my spare time. I haven't had too much time to practice recently. But, you know, seeing this piece <laughs> kind of reminds me. I need to start practicing, dude. I need to be more like this drawing of rain right here, going crazy with the violin. This looks very, very good, too. I love, like, the highlights on the hair and all the shading on the rest of the clothes and whatnot. Looks very, very good. Ooh, the colors on this one. Titan Loose is, like, in a big old, like, circle of magic. Lots of just different little colors in here. A big old, like, yellow wave coming out. You can even see, like, a lot of the colors reflected onto the Titan Loose, too. All done with, like, this very beautiful colored pencil. But the hat is so colorful, like there's so many little different colors in this, oh my gosh. Colors really stand out on this Titan Loose, oh my goodness, very good. Aww, why do you get your own palace but I lose mine with time skip loose with a little string bean? And then Hunter looking over Flatback's grave. Well, listen, I know that was Nightmare Hunter, I'm sure those are thoughts that he probably felt in his mind, but I don't think he holds any grudge or anything, but you know, he, he's he's been able to move on by remembering Flapjack in his life and also has a cute little waffles on his head dude that's so cute dude oh my gosh oh my gosh he's kind of cut off a little bit but i love this king's dad look at he's got like the arms crossed he's like now listen loose don't cry you are no you are nothing like bellows loose <laughs> here want to be a titan want to be like me literally just like transform into a titan it's awesome actually <laughs> we got a nice three for one here ah, said bellows as he got ripped out of the heart of the titan dude I'm so happy to see more and more of these, dude. It's been uh, getting more and more common as we go on through the contest, and every single one is just so beautiful, dude. If nothing else, just for the way they, like, do the expressions on Bellows, I just look forward to it every time. It's just so funny, dude. I don't know why I find it so funny just looking at him going, ah! <laughs> oh, this one's so soft. We got little soft lines, little sketchy lines here, a bunch of little sparkles with the collector looking a little nauseous, almost. <laughs> Pretty cute drawing, though. All right, we got a simple Titan loose here. This one uh, just looks like she's talking to somebody like, oh yeah, by the way, this is my Titan form. This is how cool it is. I have all these awesome powers and uh, there's a time limit. It's about to go away. So yeah, <laughs> you don't even got to tell me, dude. Psh, it is time for the high five on the Titan loose, dude. I'm not even sure what scene people are redrawing this specific like uh, pose from, but I keep seeing it. And like, it's kind of funny because it looks like she should be holding the staff, but she's not on some of them. I don't know. Regardless, this one's pretty good. I like the eye style. Uh, a lot of people have been doing this like this cool eye style where like the eyelashes like kind of come off uh, of the, the head. I'm not sure if that's a stylistic choice or anything, but I don't know. I just find it to be a little interesting. Ooh, I think this is the first redraw we've had of this scene where the entire uh, toe trio is just lying down in the grass after a job well done. Honestly, this little scene right here was just so relieving. Getting to see the three of them just lie down, relax, not have to worry about Bellas. Because they. this is like... They've been stressing for months, and he's finally gone. They can just finally take a break, dude. I can't imagine how good that must feel, having all that pressure just, like, completely relieved off of them. Ooh, this one is so pretty. Yo, the lighting on this one, very dark all around, but the little light glyphs or little light particles really, really lighting it up. Love the reflection on Luce's eyes and how it casts, like, the light on her face. Looks so good. This is also drawn by one of my uh, mods in the server, so thank you for this, Cleoff. It's a very beautiful piece. So this drawing looks to be like a retelling uh, of the collector's story where he's like plays with the Titans and he's got like the little archivist up there who sent him down to go play with the Titans and he's just looking all sad because they lied to him. This is a very good drawing dude. You got all the three characters watching this happen and they're all drawn at like really, really unique angles too. Like it's not just like completely back facing, but it's like a, like a three force angle or something. Uh, and I love like the little brush that you use, like whatever this uh, pen or marker or something that you use for like uh, the collector and the little baby titans up top and the archivist. Dude, it looks really, really solid. This piece is very, very pleasing to the eye. Good job. Oh my goodness, look at this titan loose. 
Yo, this huge magic circle she's casting. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. The colors, dude, like the electricity wave. Oh my gosh. And the background with all the like the little polka dots or whatever. Dude, and the lighting, the highlights. Oh, oh my gosh. And like, look at the outlines of like tightly. She's got like two different outlines for different colors. Oh my goodness, dude. This is just so beautiful. What an amazing Titan Loose fan art. Oh my gosh. I just can't get over like the big old like magic circle being charged up. It just looks so cool. It looks like it's in motion, but it's not. It's it's a freaking image. And this one's so good too. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The collector in their style looks even more menacing than the comparison one. Holy moly. I, th I, th I think I even like this one better. Look at yeah, more fluffy hair. The eyes definitely feel more stern and intense. You can see like the little like marks on the eyes. That facial expression is just... Oh, it captures the collector's feeling so freaking well, dude. And you got like it perfectly shaded. Oh my gosh, dude. The talent is crazy out here. Oh, and this one's just adorable. Look at that. They got like a big old little magic connector thingy. Some little squiggly line connecting all these glyphs together. A cute little string bean. Luce having a grand old time using this magic with uh, this cool outline style that I really, really like. It's a great piece. Oh, yo, check out this one, dude. You got like a partial sort of realistic uh, style Titan loose here uh, using a light glyph, but they also added onto it too by like uh, having like little plant glyphs and like actually like adding different pieces of paper with like a fire effect and like a plant effect. That's so cool, dude. That is such a neat idea. And dude, the shading on the, the hand with like this, like the little marks over and over again. That looks like a comic book shading or something. Oh my goodness, this looks very good. Oh my goodness, this is... <laughs> this is cursed! Look at this! Ew, the hands! Oh my gosh, slay! What are all these freaking... Does that say hootie money? It says hootie money all around him too. Oh my gosh, this is cursed. This is just 100% cursed and I love it. Oh, geez, hello. <laughs> How's it going, Titan Loose? You are very, very close up. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, the outer rim of the eyes and the sparkles on the inside. Jeez. And like, you can even see, like, the, like, white lines in the hair. Oh, my goodness. Level of detail going crazy. Those eyes, dude. There's literally just space inside of those eyes. Holy moly. Ooh, now we got the Beast Trio versus Bellos. King's going crazy. Ida's going crazy. And Titan Loose is like, now eat this, Bellos. It's over, bro. Take these glyphs to the face or eyes that you have very many of. Uh, wouldn't that? I just got to know. I just got to know. He's got so many of those eyes, right? How does he keep track of everything? I can, I mean, it's just because we only have two eyes as humans. But, like, I feel like if he had more than, like, eight eyes like a spider, it would just get confusing. And the fact that Bellos has eyes everywhere, like, do you think he just has to, like, I don't know, focus on one at a time, or can he just like focus on a ton? He's got so many. Wouldn't that just like hurt? I feel like it'd just be information overload. Why am I going on this rant? I don't know. <laughs> oh, where did she go? There's a surprising amount of redraws of this scene, but it's very, very good. Loving the lighting from the light glyph here. The tears coming off the collector look clear as ever. Very, very good. And it shades on the, the top of the eyes. And like, as it goes further up the collector's face, it gets darker and darker. Makes the lighting have an even better impact. Oh my goodness, dude. The lighting in so many of these pieces are just so freaking good. This one included. All right, here we have a bad ending. Hunter, can you prepare a room for my Empress, please? Oh my goodness. So this is like Nightmare Loose, as if she took up the throne, like Bellus's position. She's like, Hunter, can you prepare a room uh, for Amity? Which I guess is like, that means Hunter would be the golden guard again. So it'd just be a bad ending for everybody. Oh my goodness. Interesting concept, but also pretty scary. So we got a Titan Loose up here with some interesting uh, technique usages. They got some line art, but they also have like these blurry effects. I'm not really sure uh, what's up with this, but they got some like little blurry effects on the, the hair and the arms for the magic spells too. And then he got like this glowing effect coming from the eyes. I guess it's supposed to give like the whole picture like a sense of motion since so she's going for like one big like circular sweep of a magic spell. That's what I see it as anyways. It's very cool looking. Oh, now we got a nice group photo with all the main characters. The Owl House, thank you for being there for us. Yeah, truly, truly. I'm sure there's so many people out there who are just so thankful for this show in so many different ways. And this is such a great group photo too. Everybody's uh, personality coming through, even Willow being a little bit of a prankster sticking out the tongue there. How very nice, dude. 
Excellent group photo. Oh, it's been a minute since we've seen Possessed Rain. Uh, this kind of looks more like just a regular rain. I feel like there's like some uh, little spots here missing, especially with like the little eye uh, parts here. But you can see those eyes are glowing like crazy. Got the stars in the background. Very interesting to see uh, Possessed Rain again. Ooh, whoa, 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 look at this. We got Titan loose in the back with some very cool highlights all across the uh, design there. The collector giving a pretty stoic uh, face there, which is not something I really see from the collector. And then Bellos roaring up into the sky with all these just bright lights scattered around. Oh my goodness, dude. What a very cool trifecta of uh, characters here. And it's all combined with a big old like light glyph symbol in the background. That is a very, very cool piece. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh gosh. Just posing. Just doing a freaking pose next to Bellows when he can't do anything. He's completely defenseless. I mean, as he should be. We just got King in the background like, yeah! Bellows is dead! We're finally free! <laughs> oh. Don't think I didn't notice that Lego Ida up there. <laughs> And that amazing shirt too. What a godlike shirt. So we got watching and dreaming and also screaming and crying. I'm sure there's a good amount of people did that uh, knowing the finale was coming. So we got like a, uh, I guess this is time skip loose, but with like a bit of a redesign here. She's got the Titan loose hat though, okay. Got the flapjack tattoo, little glyph in her pocket. Looks like uh, one of the older type glyphs, so I'm not sure why she's doing the older ones when she's uh, supposed to be learning the newer ones. Come on, you're going to school for that reason. You gotta study the new magic, Luz. Come on now. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a bit of an odd piece here. So we got Time Skip Willow thinking of Hunter in a loving way. And then <laughs> why is Hunter like spying on her? What the heck? She's thinking of him when he's right over there. Oh, I don't even know, dude. <laughs> this is... This is a bit of an odd piece, but whatever. It looks good. We got a bit of a prankster Titan loose coming up here next. Got plenty of glyphs all around going for that glyph magic. Even got King's dad coming off in the corner. That's all thanks to you that she can even have this form. So thanks, dude. We appreciate it for giving us this awesome design. Ooh, this is like a final battle poster. We got the Bellows Titan form versus the Beast freaking trio, dude. With all the colorful lights all around. I love getting to see all these lights because all, all these different like colored lights from like the glyphs and whatnot really adds to the lighting of a lot of pieces. But this one here is just a very, very cool poster depicting the final battle. Next, we got a simple uh, turn on the light little quote here from the nightmare segment of Luce's uh, nightmare dream thing collector moment. <laughs> but she's got that light glyph you gotta use if you wanna wake up, buddy. Hey, now we got time skip Luce and Amity together going for a little I guess like a little pose here, probably taking like a camera shot or something. Luce is going for the peace sign. Got some nice shading all across the clothes, even like a little highlight outer rim uh, outside of the outline too. Looking very good. Now we got a uh, puppet Amity, which I think is the first for this contest. We've been through 700 entries, so it's kind of hard to keep track of every last little one. I think this might be the very first puppet Amity. Uh, why is she smiling? Why are you smiling? Are you happy to be a puppet? I would hate to be a puppet. Being a puppet sounds like it sucks, but either way, this is a nice drawing. I'm just a little confused as to why she's smiling. Now we got our boy Gus here in his little time skip design looking pretty, pretty good, gotta say. Is he like on the back of a card or something? Is this like supposed to be like a card, I'm gonna guess? Yo, can we get some Owl House playing cards, please? <laughs> Maybe it's like a Hex Hold'em card. Ooh, now we got Luce here looking at a, I assume, a light glyph? Or something that she activated like a little light glyph. She looks like she's about to like freaking poke it. You can't poke light, Luce. What are you thinking? <laughs> you can hold it, kind of. You can cast it up like you do in the ending of season one, but you can't poke it. You can't poke light. Anyways, though, lighting looks good on this one. Good piece. Oh, what the heck happened to the collector? Did he play too much? <laughs> He's got the Rubik's Cube, little marbles. I guess these are part of like the little Jenga tower thing and he just looks like he's knocked out. Hey, she's got little star eyes, but is he sleeping? Is he knocked out? Do you play too hard, buddy? Ooh, yo, this is so cool. Yo, more pixel art with the freaking Titan Bellows. I think, this is weird. I feel like every pixel art that we've had, okay, that's a lie. Almost every pixel art that we've had has been related to Bellows in some way. That's so cool, dude. I almost imagine like playing this on my DS and a big old like Bellows boss fight shows up. Oh, that'd be so sick. Dude, this looks so good. Oh, now we have the classic thank you for finding me line from Hunter, the little time skip design. And of course the adorable waffles chilling together. How very cute, dude. 
Oh, we got Hunter and Waffles again. Oh my goodness. I'm loving the little eyes from Hunter too. Those big old eyes. And looking at, uh, I'm sorry, not Waffles, but uh, bird number two. Oh, and not Hunter. I'm sorry. I meant Trauma Boy. <laughs> Trauma Boy and Bird Number Two, my favorite gang from the Owl House. <laughs> it's so funny because you could at least say that people would know what you're talking about. So I guess it works, but this is such a cute little style. I love it. Okay, what do we got here? So we got uh, Possessed Rain down on the bottom, but a pretty menacing collector up top. From the way this is framed, it almost looks like the collector has more like influence and power over Possessed Rain, even though we know that's quite the opposite. So. A little, little interesting uh, design choice there, but good drawings of both Possessed Rain and the Collector. Hey, now we got a very happy Collector when he's about to start playing some games. Oh my goodness, look at the lighting cast on his face. Oh my gosh, that is one menacing freaking Collector. And we're back to the most popular topic. We got another Titan loose with her cape almost blowing in the wind or something like blowing outwards got all the glyphs circling around pretty cool background too looks like a bunch of little sunbeams coming on down perhaps symbolizing a new age a new dawn that doesn't have bellows in it oh that's good oh yo this is kind of hype okay this looks like it's uh rain fighting alone inside uh the bellows castle it's all just been corrupted by all his nasty crust or whatever and they're all beat up oh no don't worry rain help's coming soon you got this buddy back to titan loose once again Again. Pretty simple looking Titan loose. She's just looking at String Bean, and String Bean's like, hey. <laughs> at first, I thought String Bean was a little confused. Like, hold on. You look a little different. Did you get a haircut? <laughs> it's funny because it's literally what the opposite of. Her hair literally got longer from this. Anyways, great drawing of a uh, Titan loose and adorable little String Bean there. Aw, look at this. It's uh, the Time Skip gang all hanging out with these little uh, fireworks sparklers. Yo, that's so cool. But I also love how they got like little sparklers. That's so cute, dude. Oh my gosh. On like celebrations, like 4th of July or whatever, I used to do this with like friends and family where we'd like shoot off fireworks or just like have these cute little sparklers because like they only last for like a minute, but they're so fun. And like whenever you like move around with them, they leave like a smoke trail so you can make like drawings in the air if you go fast enough. Not really, but like, you know, you always tried to. That's such a cool drawing, dude, of them all hanging out using like little sparklers. That's so awesome. Oh, we got the Harpy Sisters up next. Looks like they're a... Uh, looking down at something. Not really sure what they're supposed to be looking at. Maybe they're comparing their wing sizes or something. <laughs> That's so cool to have both the Harpy sisters there though. We haven't had too many of these, which is a bit odd. Again, there's another one that I thought we'd get a lot more of, uh, but not really. So it's, it's nice to see both Ida and Lilith in their Harpy forms going crazy. Aw, we look at that hoodie. <laughs> He's like, oh! <laughs> We got time skip Lilith and Hootie, of course, looking very, very good. Interesting little shading style and shadows throughout. Um, not really sure what's up with the the like darkish lighting, where it like is dark on the outside, gets kind of lighter on the inside. I guess they're investigating something together both at night. I don't know. They're going on some sort of adventure. No way! Is that Principal Bump? <laughs> Dude, that's the first bump art, yo! Yo, the two headmasters of uh, schools meeting up together. Yo, that's so cool. And Bump's just working away in his garden. That's so awesome, dude. Oh my gosh. I think this is actually the only piece, sadly, of uh, Principal Bump fan art. And it's so good, dude. He's just working away in his garden while he's talking to Ida. That's so awesome, dude. Oh, and we're back to Lilith and Hootie. Yo, it feels like we only get these two every once in a while, but I guess we got a bit of a streak here with the uh, the Lilith and the adorable little Hootie. He actually looks so happy in this one. Oh my gosh. What a great drawing of this duo. Oh, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Why can't I snap and use my broken godlike powers to bring everything back? Love the little pen shaded style. There we go for like the little lines just to get the shadows on there. And how you also only colored the eyes and the light glyph is pretty interesting as well. Also, <laughs> can't get over the name of Flatback and Greg's PS5. You have to be a fan of my channel for a while to get all these references. <laughs> Ooh, yo, check this out. Welcome to the Boiling Isles. We have a time skip collector design. So since the collector doesn't age very fast, obviously during the time skip, they're probably not that different, but you know, he could have a bit of a different outfit here. And yo, look at this one. Got the sun and moon all around. We got like uh, different colored suns and different colored moons too. That's so awesome, dude. That's actually a really cool design for the collector. Having a big old cape kind of just makes him look like a wizard. <laughs> That's so cool. Next, we got another time skip willow redraw, which is looking pretty simple. She's posing right there. She's got the little peace sign. Pretty nice sketch. It looks good. Oh, this one's a little bit far away. <laughs> uh, I like the uh, interesting colors that you went for here. We have uh, Loose and Amity here, but it seems like they're just done with like a little simple sketch. Then you have, uh, they're just kind of shaded in, but like not even really colored in the lines. I don't know, it looks kind of interesting. It kind of makes it a little more unique. 
Just like a quick little drawing and some simple shading. Oh, that's so cool. Yo, that's actually so cool. Okay, so we got Harpy Lilith here once again, which we always like to see, but she's pouring out uh, the elixir. I'm gonna guess like they've gotten to a point where they no longer really need it, you know, since they kind of live in peace uh, with the freaking raven beast slash owl beast, whatever, and uh, Ida with her owl beast, obviously. Um, so yeah, they don't have to drink that stupid elixir any longer. That's so good, dude. Ooh, we got a whole lot of stuff here. We got, I don't want anyone else to go missing. I'm so sorry for everything. Aw, don't worry, Collector. You didn't know any better. Look at those bright lights, dude. That, man, I like how they're just like super bright in the center and then they kind of dull out uh, as you go, you know, more out. And then look at the levels of detail of fluff on both uh, freaking Owl Beast, Ida, and King. Oh gosh, that looks good, dude. Yo, the detail on that looks so awesome. They just look so freaking fluffy. But you know, probably not best to pet them right now. They would probably chomp your hand off. <laughs> oh, this is neat. We got a comparison of characters here where they started off, you know, as enemies or maybe not so much as enemies, but like rivals or like, I don't know, they didn't like each other. They, <laughs> they did not like each other in the beginning, but you know, now they're together at the ending. Very cool drawings from both season one and season three. Very nice. All right, hey Hootie, how's it going? Yo, look at this one, he's he's a little more uh, reserved as opposed to the other beauty hoodies. He's like, yeah, I know my beauty, I don't need to flaunt it. <laughs> oh, so beautiful, dude. Oh, we got Bellos up next, looking like a pretty good redraw of that stupid, pathetic little skull Bellos. Everybody, I want you, while you're all watching, if you're sitting down or lying down, whatever you're doing, just, just stomp, just stomp on the ground. That way we all just stomp on Bellos together. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, so we've got King's dad over here with a bunch of uh, glyphs. Got a house in the back. I think that's supposed to be the owl house. I actually don't know. We got Luz, King, and Hootie over here. Glyphs up in the sky. I guess it's supposed to be like King's dad off in the distance showing Luz about the glyphs or something. I'm not really sure, but it looks nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Look at this nasty Bellos game. You can see the eyes on the goo, too. That's disgusting, dude. Oh my gosh. But the collector's face just being like, ah! <laughs> I know he's like getting beat up by the Bellos goo, but like that face is just, it's so funny. <laughs> Ooh, yo, this one's really, really nice. Us Ritos have to stick together. Thank you, the Owl House. Yo, that's so cool, dude. Yo, look at the levels of detail on the freaking Ida and Titan Luz. King's is pretty simple, but he's got those glowing eyes. Oh my gosh. Yo, the detail on this one is crazy, dude. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Very nice piece. Next, we've got a... What? <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even notice Hunter at first. What the heck? Okay, so we have time skip loose over here. Looks like she's taking a photo, so then King's just chilling with her. Uh, we got Amity in the background as well, and <laughs> Hunter is like, whoa! <laughs> I think he's, is he like flying? Is he jumping past? I can't even tell what he's supposed to be doing. He's just like, meow. Oh my gosh, that's so, that's so funny. Oh, I, I can't, I didn't even notice him at first. That's the funniest part is I literally saw like Luce and Amity and King. And I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, that's such a good one. <laughs> oh, yo, look at that magic circle, dude. Oh man, that looks good. You can see like the motion coming off. You can see which way she's spinning the staff just by like the little uh, trail that it's leaving behind. Yo, the attention to detail on that is so good. The hair is so fluffy. The uh, glyphs are like placed on not just like 2D angles. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so good. Ooh, that is quite the shadow being cast. Oh my goodness, they worked pretty hard doing that shadow there. Uh, definitely gives some depth to the piece for sure. I'm not really sure uh, what she's looking at. I guess it's like her looking up at that old Bellows Titan thing while all the Bellows eyes are looking at her. But definitely a big fan of the shadows on this one. Ooh, we got Titan Loose here versus Bellows. Even the name is dripping. Oh my goodness. You got the staff in the background, all sorts of glyphs going at it, while Bellows just, like, kind of just looks like stink lines because he's dumb and he's a loser. And he gets beat up, you stupid Bellows. Look at that. He looks so dumb. He's just like, ah, I'm Bellows. <laughs> oh gosh. Good poster, though. Ooh, what the? What do we got here? So we got the collector with a whole bunch of little details going on here. So he's got some puppet strings over, looks like the Titan, I guess. He got some bellow scoop on him too. He's got his, uh, I guess, what, he, what we, his 2D form. I don't even know what you would call that form. His sealed form, I guess we could call it. Uh, he got his sealed form, little things there. He got Pac-Man arcade little machine going around. Oh my goodness. 
All sorts of little stuff flying around with the collector here. Oh, now this one is just so cute, dude. You got Flapjack's ghost next to all waffles with little siblings. How adorable, dude. The bird siblings, they're too cute. Ooh, I'm loving the background on this one already. The expression on Loose looks really good. The Titan Bellus in the background looks amazing. Very, very menacing with those eyes and teeth. And got Hootie down the bottom left as well. <laughs> Hootie is always watching. Oh man, dude, I love just the, the background, how you did that. My goodness, that looks so pretty. Got another little poster here. We got Owl House watching and dreaming with Bellows eyes all around. We got uh, what looks like the Beast Trio down in the front going crazy. We got the Heart of the Titan and we got King's Dad in the background, kind of just hiding behind the logo there. Very cool looking poster here. Oh, next up we've got Puppet Camila here being, looks like she's actually being like straight up controlled by the collector this time. You may be very proud, Miha. Uh, this is probably her when she's witnessing uh, Luce's sacrifice, but I I'm sure she would be as proud, but more sad than proud, honestly. Any mother would, I feel like, but nice job on this piece. Titan Loose up next with the classic looking glyphs flying all around. We got some very, very fluffy hair. Loving the style on the hair here. I'm not really sure what to call it. It almost looks like little paint splotches or something. Not really sure what I would call that, but it looks quite nice. I don't know. I, I just like the details on this one. It's a very solid overall piece. Next, we got a cool looking group photo. We got all the couples together looking like a cool little style. Even Waffles is chilling in Hunter's hair. How adorable is that? We got a bunch of characters in the background with Eda King, Rain, and the Collector, and what I can only assume to be the rest of Bellows, just a nasty glob on the ground. <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. That's really, really funny. Good job with this one. Oh, this is fantastic, dude. Time to eat Tibbles. They have... <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's kind of morbid. They literally just left his clothes like in hat or whatever on the ground. Oh my gosh. I mean, I love it. Time to eat Tibbles. That's like the joke, right? You gotta eat Tibbles. He's a freaking pig. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, dude. You got Liz and Emily over to the right. It's like, oh, we get to eat Tibbles? Okay, we're down. I can't believe the. the, the <laughs> I think it's just kind of more morbid that they just left the shirt and glasses right there. It's like they invited him over. Uh, to the quinceanera only to make him the food. That's so funny, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces, if not just for eating tibbles. Oh, dude, is this not the most precious thing you've ever seen? Uh, do you ever just get the feeling where like you could just like clasp your hands together and just hold a cute little bird in them? That's what I would do with Flapjack or Waffles. You just hold your hands, like just cuff them together and then just pet this cute little bird. Even got these cute little flowers next to him. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm actually got three looses. So we got Watching and Dreaming Loose, Titan Loose, and Time Skip Loose. I don't know why uh, specifically like the normal version here has so many eyelashes and then like Titan Loose and Time Skip Loose just have nothing. <laughs> I don't know, just like the first thing I'm noticing here. On the bright side, they all have noses, so that's good. Regardless, great job on uh, these designs. Next up, we got uh, Time Skip Willow. I I'm not even really sure what she's doing here. Is she like flying? Is she riding down? On she's like has her hand on the ground. Is she like doing some sort of exercise? I can't, I can't even really tell what she's doing here. It looks like she might be waving to somebody. She even got some like plant magic on. I'm not even really sure what's happening here, but nice to see some more time skip willow. Ooh, I like the lighting on this one already. I like how it's like very bright near the bottom where she's like standing on like this water or whatever and it gets darker as it goes up, but it still emanates that light all across the design. Looks very cool. I love like the water based magic where it looks like a puddle, like whenever she steps it like generates a bunch of magic. Even got a little hat on String Bean too. That's so cute. It's like String Bean transformed too. Got a cute little Albert giving him a hat. Yo, that's adorable. What did I say, dude? Everybody looks better in a hat. We got Titan Loose, String Bean, and Albert all with hats on, dude. Like that's that's it. You, you just made the best piece of art of all time. Like, come on. <laughs> In the darkest time, there is still light. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a Kingdom Hearts quote, dude. <laughs> you spent so much time in the darkness, you forgot about the light that cast them, said Sora. <laughs> dude, Sora would be so good in Kingdom Hearts. Imagine a Kingdom Hearts freaking Owl House run. Oh my gosh, I'd go insane. <laughs> that would actually be so hype. But anyway, nice piece here. We got like the light glyph going over the Toe Trio, just chilling with their little reunion there. How very good. Next, we got some Titan Loose redraws. Three of them back to back. She's even like holding King. He's like, what? 
<laughs> got a bunch of quotes going around there too and even a live amity reaction up top i swear we had so many of these just like live amity reaction just memes of her reacting to titan lose oh my gosh dude it's so funny that so many people just had that same idea. It actually is really funny to see like how many people thought of that and then was like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh gosh, this is a bit relatable. First day of college, woohoo, college baby, chilling with string bean. First month of college, why am I alive? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you get, what was happened to the apple blood? It looked like it's leaking out of the cup. What the heck? Yeah, poor little street just like, oh dear. Now what? I, I can't imagine the University of Wild Magic being that depressing though. Real college? Sure. You just got so much work piled on you. You got a bunch of debt. You're constantly doing things. It's pretty rough, but uh, I surely, University of Wild Magic, you know, you, you treat your students right, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Ooh, now we have a uh, different sort of beast trio here. We've swapped out King for Harpy Lilith. Unfortunately, again, never got to see Harpy Lilith go into battle mode. We got Titan Loose, Harpy Ida with the hook, and Harpy Lilith. What a freaking combo, dude. We even got Hootie kind of just being like the featured on in the back as well, because, you know, why not? <laughs> That's so cool, dude. It would have been so awesome to see like all three of them go on in for a final battle, but alas, it didn't happen. <laughs> but he does get his good looks from me. Brag much, King's Dad? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. Like, seriously, he had so much charm. Like, come on, give him more screen time. Give him the screen time he deserves, bro. I know he's, like, supposed to be dead, so it's kind of hard, but, like, oh, uh, they made. I hate it when freaking, like, shows do this. When they introduce, like, a cool character and they only have, like, zero minutes of screen time, it's like, come on, bro. Could have been so. It's like, come on, bro. Look, it was such a good character. Whatever. Whatever, dude. It's fine. Good drawing of old King's dad, though. Ooh, okay. We got an uh, interesting amount of details on this one. This looks to be a puppet hunter in Willow hanging out. Uh, they got lots of uh, stars and moons on their design all throughout. The hair is looking extra a little wiggly today. I guess this is more of the puppet form. Even got little sparkly things in their eyes. I especially like what, how you did the shading too. I don't even know how you did the like higher levels of shading where you have like, you know, cause this is all done in pencil. So like, if you look at like Willow's shirt and Willow's hair specifically, uh, they got like little highlights in them too. It's like, how the heck did you do that with a pencil? That looks really, really good. Gotta give props to good shading, dude. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I, I know this looks to be uh, the archivist telling the collector to like go down and play with all the other titans but i couldn't help but think i thought that one archivist was pointing at uh the collector that we all know and love and it was just being like <laughs> just exploding him <laughs> oh that would have been so sad but i think it's just them like teleporting the collector down to uh the bowling owls or whatever hey hey loose look at this i made this i did this <laughs> That's so adorable, dude. Like, look at me. Look what I did. I made this cool new glyph. I still wonder how he learned that glyph. Do you think he just like, it just came to him? Or do you think he had to go into like attack mode and like notice that he had different glyphs, like especially on his like glyph shield or whatever? I don't know. But cool that he's learning more about it. Oh, this is such a cool idea. An AU if Belos actually met the Titan. He's like, Whoa, wait. <laughs> dude, if he actually met the Titan, it'd be over instantly. It would actually be over freaking instantly because the Titan knew. The Titan knew what was happening with Bellos, and he wouldn't even give him a chance. Like, he's just giving him that even more disappointed stare. It's like it'd be over in a second, dude. Bellos would not stand a chance. You already know you'd get the wrath of King's dad. We're back with Beauty Hootie. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I am literally zooming into his face more. <laughs> more and more i like how oh i think this is all like the little paper effects too you can even see like little sparkles are done by adding on different little papers there okay i got like a little arts and crafts project here i like it and thank you for the kind words as well next we've got a classic titan loose pose going on with the i'm back pose once again loving the outlines on this one too this outline style is definitely one of my uh favorite ones that i've just noticed out this competition uh, i noticed that the eyelashes uh and fang have gotten a lot bigger too so cool little design choices there oh my goodness what the heck is this wait is this supposed to be the full titan oh my goodness i think this is supposed to be the like whole titan completely corrupted by bellows because you see like the the leftovers of like the ribs and like the heart in the center and then you also got like this weird like axe arm. What the heck is up with that? I think this is supposed to be like if Bellos won and like everybody died. Oh my gosh, that's actually terrifying. 
Thank goodness he didn't, dude. Ooh, yo, the level of detail on this one. First off, the background is very pretty. Then we also got this very, very awesome Titan Loose. Highly detailed. Look at all these like little glyph rings across her design. Going for like some black hole magic spell. String Bean is so happy to see Loose going crazy like that. The lighting coming from like the little ball up top too. Oh my goodness, dude. The level of detail on this one is phenomenal, man. Actually got a crazy group photo going on here. Uh, Loose looks a little... Upset, almost. <laughs> Hunter's reaching up toward Willow while Willow's going crazy. We got the freaking PS5, PS5 or Willow? What the heck? Don't make him choose. We got uh, Eden right off over to the left. Eda holding Lego Eda. Yo, what are these details, dude? <laughs> we got trash can on Dahlia. I didn't even notice that one. Oh, that's so good. We got Rip Flatback. We got Kiki Miki on a paper airplane up top. Hootie with his own name, like on a chain. Oh my gosh, dude, we got so many awesome characters here with so many memes. Truly a beautiful combination. Oh, now we've got a very sentimental piece here. Thanks for everything. I like how you even added like extra lighting, even though it's like a white background, but all because of that little uh, glyph right there. It looks very nice. This is a very solid drawing of all loose here. Ooh, yo, the lighting on this one. I really like the lighting in this one. Feels kind of like hazy almost. We got like lots of blurry uh, looking glyphs there. They are near like the front. Loose going for like a magic spell. I love how they did like the hand perspective too with like the claws. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking good. And they got that menacing smile, the hair being fluffy as ever with lots and lots of details and highlights on it. You got the crest glowing like crazy too. Oh my goodness. Dude, the Titan Loose level of detail, it's so good. And we got even more Titan Loose, this time with a glyph. Uh, right here that shapes the eye in the Titan. Going with a very happy smile there. That's what we like to see. You even got Flatback up on the top right corner. That's what we like to see even more, dude. You always know I'm down for some more Flatback content. Great freaking drawing, dude. <laughs> no way. They're doing the Marky Woo phase? Oh my gosh. They're actually doing the Marky Woo phase. Look at Bellows. He's just like, what? <laughs> what? Marky Woo? What? <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue, Bellows. <laughs> I like how they always just take like so these like serious moments and then everybody's just like, they just meme on Bellows, bro. It's so funny, dude. This piece is just, it's so good. And then of course you just, you can't go without Lego Eda standing off in the distance watching over them. <laughs> oh my gosh, we've had banger after banger after banger. Look at this one, watching and dreaming. Us oh, readers have to stick together. Look at this awesome freaking fan-made poster, dude. All the bellow skew all around. The beast hero going ham up front. We got the collector in the back doing their best to save the freaking archive house. Oh my gosh, this is such an awesome poster, dude. Combining so many different parts of the episode together in one very cohesive poster. Very awesome work with this one. So now we got like a regular Lucent Hunter versus like Nightmare. Uh, Lucent Hunter, like they're kind of mirrored with each other. I was a bit confused when I first saw this, but they're kind of like mirrored with each other. We have Hunter mirrored to be the Golden Guard and uh, Luce with her Washington Dreaming Halloween outfit mirrored to the Nightmare uh, Realm with like the Bellos outfit. Very interesting piece here. Cool to see the contrast in designs. Next up, we've got a little Hunt Low piece here. Uh, well done, my boy. Is that supposed to be Flapjack, dude? I think that's supposed to be Flapjack, what the heck? Ha, Luce and Amity, you both owe me 20 snails, Gus. Were they betting on this? What the heck? Gus. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of obvious that uh, Hunter had feelings for her pretty early on, but still. I actually got a quick little sketch here of Luce and King's dad, just kind of looking up, being a little bit sad, especially at Luce, feeling so bad about all the things that she's done, even though she really shouldn't be. <laughs> But whatever, it's a redraw of that one specific scene. Loving the little hootie there too. It's like this so simplified and adorable. Good work with this one. Uh, there was Flatback, but now introducing Waffle. <laughs> Just take out one of the Fs, Waffle. <laughs> Look at this Waffles going for a cute little sit there, dude. When you sit down, that means you're vulnerable for more pets, Waffles. I hope you know that. Oh, what the heck? We got the collector playing with little collectors of themselves what the this <laughs> is just like playing with little versions of themselves they made dolls of themselves to play with because nobody else will play with them no okay that's actually kind of sad but you know he looks pretty happy even without a nose 
Ooh, we're back to this one type of style again. Again, I still don't know what to call this style. Love and the fluffiness from Ida here. We have Rain hanging on to her as well. Oh my goodness, love and the lighting on this one too. It's, it's not quite the minimalist style, but it's, it's kind of uh, similar to it. We also got their palace pins at the back with the glowing eyes, looking a bit more uh, realistic uh, as opposed to cartoony, but I really like the shadows on this one and the warm lighting in general. It just looks very nice. Oh, now this is cool. I'm always down for picnics. This is a time skip uh, Lumity picnic here. They even uh, swapped their palaces too. Like uh, String Bean's chilling with Amity and uh, Ghost is chilling more near Luz. Looks like they got some grapes, oranges, apples, bananas, and some bread. They just have a whole loaf of bread. They just smack it right down, right down on the blanket. No plate or anything. <laughs> just like loaf of bread. Smack that right on the blanket, dude. We don't need it. We don't care about hygiene here. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I would probably do the same. Actually, I think I would just yank the bread out of the box and just eat the whole thing. Um, so yeah, that's what I would do if I was on this picnic. <laughs> nice drawing though. Oh, yo, check this out. Okay, first up, we got a pumped up Titan Lewis here. Loving the little uh, highlights on the fingers there. The, the hair is looking very, very awesome. Loving that. King's Dad, the Titan, and Titan Bellos with lots of levels of detail all in the background. Looking so amazing here, dude. Wow. What a good freaking poster. We've been just having banger after banger. Oh my gosh, dude. The level of talent in this competition, dude, is just so... Oh, it's so consistent and cool to see. There's so many just talented artists out there. You guys are so amazing at this. Oh, this is the Spider-Verse meme, what the heck? For those who don't know, there's like this Spider-Verse meme where Miles is like doing this pose and, and, then he, and then he starts running away. And then he has to order the other Spider-Man uh, start chasing him. And this is literally just a redraw of that meme. We got Bellows doing the stupid pose and then Luz is about to just chase down after him. Oh my gosh, that's such a funny redraw of the meme. So next up we have, not the Echo Mask, that's what I thought it was at first. This is a mini uh, Titan Bellows. I thought it was like a possessed uh, freaking Echo Mask. Like Bellows sunk that low that he's like possessing freaking rats, bro. But no, it's just a mini Titan Bellows. And honestly, I hate to say it, but it's kind of cute. Hate saying that about Bellas, but come on, it is pretty cute. Now we've got Titan Luz with a very intense expression. Oh my goodness, she is not happy at all. Going crazy with the glyph magic with a beautiful glyph in the back. Looking clean. Oh, now we got the whole beast hero coming out here. Oh my goodness, they all look ready to go. Luz is going absolutely crazy with the glyphs. All of their eyes are glowing. Oh my gosh, dude. What an awesome team going in for the attacks. Oh, now we got a little uh, tribute here to our boy Flapjack. We've got uh, lots of different things sitting at Flapjack's grave, like flowers, a little candle and whatnot. How very cute, dude. Gotta pay your respects to Flap. Ooh, look at this king. Very pretty with the fur. I like it a lot. We got Bellow size in the background. And he's uh using the older glyphs. He's the older glyphs. Interesting. Look at those eyes though. Oh my gosh, King. You have got some beautiful eyes, my boy. <laughs> I know this is probably supposed to say wanna play, but it looks like it just says one play? <laughs> One play? <laughs> Pretty cute looking collector. Like he's got he's got like a little Pikachu and a Pokeball. Oh my goodness, dude. That's pretty good timing because I'm pretty sure the Pokemon World Championships are taking place as this video releases. Oh, now this is a very beautiful piece. Look at the level of detail on this one. Loving the grass and King's fur, the highly detailed there. And we got King's dad in the background. This is also drawn by Cat and Tomatoes, who goes by several different uh, iterations of that name. But they're also an active creator in the Discord server, posting lots of art. I can immediately recognize their style. And this is absolutely beautiful once again. Just stellar art here. Oh, goodness me, what is happening in this one? So we have, back in my day, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> so back when King's dad was still alive, he wouldn't have to worry about freaking Bellows. That's right, that is true. Bellows uh, did appear after King's dad has already uh, unfortunately perished. Uh, we got a sad looking collector and a very angry king here. Oh my goodness, lots of details on this one. Next, we've got a very, very crisp uh, looking us weirdos have to stick together little redraw here with the reunion between Luz, Ida, and King. I don't know why, but like the pen that they used, first off, the penmanship is actually beautiful. It's funny that I'm paying attention to the penmanship, but like the lines look so crisp. I think it's just because it was like done with pen and then colored pencil afterwards. So it really sticks out. Really like this one. Aw, how adorable is this freaking collector, dude? The beautiful background. He's holding on to little Francois there who has his own. <laughs> they, they put a little collector hat on Francois. That's so cute. And the hoodie pin on their own hat. Oh my gosh, I love these little details, dude. 
Oh, look at this. This is so cute. We got time skip Lilith and this adorable hoodie just chilling together. He's even got a little curator hat on. Oh, that's so cute, bro. Dude, we've had some really cute entries recently. And this just adds on to it. How's it going, King's Dad? He's just like, hey, what's up, guys? It's me, King's Dad. <laughs> what, what happened to my other arm? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Always down to see more of King's Dad. And there we go, more King's Dad. Asking you shall receive. My goodness, this is very beautiful. He's like holding the little uh, in-between cubes to look at what King's doing. We can even see uh, different scenes from watching and dreaming uh, throughout the cubes. We have some very beautiful glyphs inside a uh, like King's collar symbol here as well. Very, very interesting uh, piece here. I really like this one. It's just very entrancing, I guess you could say. Oh. What is this? Are they talking? They're talking in glyph language? What the heck? I thought glyphs were just supposed to be magic. <laughs> uh, light, ice, ice, nature, fire, nature, light. And Lucy's like, ah, yes, nature, fire, freaking ice. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That's, <laughs> they literally just talk with the glyphs. That's so funny. Next, we got a little poster here, the Owl House with all different characters on it. We got everybody looking like they're going crazy, except for uh, King. He just looks like he's defaulting and that's Lego Eda. You can't tell me that's regular Eda. That's just, that's Lego Eda, bro. That is not regular Eda. Oh my gosh, dude. We got all these cool characters and then just slap Lego Eda instead of actual Eda. Oh my gosh, dude. The Lego Eda beam has gone too far. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. We've had so many redraws of Flapjack's grave, but this is like specifically Waffles adding on an extra flower to the grave, paying homage to her big brother. That's so cute, dude. Like imagine Waffles comes over to Flapjack's grave every once in a while and is like, hey, I never got to know you, but you know, we're still very close. We still have like the same position. It's so cute, dude. Okay, so I recognize this pose. This is uh, a lot of people have been drawing tight and loose in this pose. This looks to be a redraw of Luce's watching and dreaming slash Halloween outfit, but in the tight and loose pose, I think? I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. I think it's a costume redesign. That's actually really cool. That's a cool little idea. Oh my goodness, what do we got here? So uh, we got the archive house being separated a little bit. We got Willow, Amity, the collector and King, and we got Titan Loose, what the heck? Bit of a inconsistent art style. I wonder if this was done by more than one person. Uh, I don't know, that's very interesting. Is my cat meowing in the background? Oh my gosh, she's meowing, hold on. <laughs> good art though, good art. Now we've got the disappointing stare once again coming from the Titan Loose. Loving the shadows here on the eyes, hair covering up the eyes too. Looking very, very solid. Just adds to that menacing disappointment. Even more disappointment. Ooh, it's so cool. Like, look at this. You can tell it's like the same sort of uh, inspired uh, drawing, but it's still like in a different style. Like, this one's a lot fluffier. Got a bit of a different expression here. We even got like a little hoodie down at the bottom. <laughs> Just a little extra effect with the hoodie. How cute. Aw, oh, we got Time Skip King saying bye. <laughs> saying bye to us. He's got that lovely collar. Got that new little sticker on his skull there. Plenty of fluff. That's what we like to see. I'll be seeing you later, King. Ooh, okay, look at this. Very, very detailed time skip hunter here. We even have like half of a time skip Gus as well. Yo, that's awesome, dude. Oh my gosh, the detail on this sketch? Yo, yo, that looks very, very good. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> Not again, bro. Waffles, are you hiding a secret? Waffles, you okay? <laughs> This just, just goes to freaking regular show with Mordecai again. I can't believe so many people have made this comparison just in this one art contest. That's so funny. I think this is like the third or fourth one that's been like Mordecai waffles. That's so funny, dude. Oh my gosh. And now we got a bit of a two-parter here. We got the collector saying, can't we all be friends? Sad face emoji. And Bella's just like, nope, you're about to get freaking slapped, dude. That is a really solid redraw of Bellas. Oh my gosh, he looks menacing as ever. And the collector just looks so freaking teeny. You better look out there, bud. Your powers don't work on him. Really cool drawing here though. I love how you drew Bellas. Okay, next we've got a uh, wolf Titan loose here. I think, dude, I swear we've had so many of these like wolf or like cat like uh, loose entries in this. Uh, I guess we also, we also had dragon loose too. Dude, she's taken on so many different forms. I swear, I thought String Beam was supposed to be the shapeshifter, not loose. <laughs> really liking the gleam and just like shading highlights throughout this piece as well. It looks very solid. Oh, now I've got the whole gang chilling, just all on a nice little broomstick riding. Uh, loose and Amity look like they're staring into your soul just a little bit. We got Huntlow moment back there. Gus is chilling. Good looking piece. Nice to see the gang riding off into the sunset. Hey, now we got a time skip loose, just chilling. 
simple little time skip loose, going for that little peace sign there. And once again, what the heck? No nose? I swear, it's only loose. You guys just they hate giving her a nose, apparently. <laughs> Uh, it's not, I have nothing against it, but it's just like a weird trend that I've noticed throughout a lot of these drawings, you know? All right, this one has a nose. Thank goodness. <laughs> well, we're back with uh, the Titan loose once again. Oh, looking pretty simple, you know? Just looking at little String Bean there, who's happy as ever to be helping her out in the fight. Let's go, dude. Very nice drawing of Titan loose. Ooh, we got a comic here from the Nightmare Realm. Looks like a pretty standard redraw of like two different scenes. Uh, I guess three different scenes throughout uh, watching Dream. You think about it. What's the first thing you do when you wake up from a bad dream? You turn on the light, and it has uh, Titan loose. Her eyes are just shining. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Really, really solid redraws, too. Looks straight out of the show. Wow. Very solid. Like how you also like change like the pens as well, like the color of like the pens that you used. Really nice drawing here. Oh, now we've got a simple time skip Amity redraw here, looking pretty solid, giving us a good old thumbs up. Well, thumbs up right back to you, Amity. Hope you're doing well. Oh, look at this. We got BFFs with the Collector and King. Yo, the Collector got smaller. Oh, my goodness. He can probably adjust his size, though. I mean, he did. He did actually get bigger that one time, so I guess he can just, like, adjust his size whenever he wants. Also, we have the Owl House burning down with Hootie just being like, Hoot! Help! <laughs> Collector's like, hmm, did I do that? Did I pull a prank and burn down the Owl House? Probably. <laughs> I don't doubt it. All you need is kindness and forgiveness, huh? Yes, for the most part, Collector, that's all you really need, uh, except on Bellos. Bellos is like one of the one... <laughs> Bellos is just like one of the only people that won't really uh, work on, because that dude will not stop at anything. Uh, like in the little Collector uh, redesign here, too. Almost looks like he gave them like a little turtleneck sweater or something. Looking pretty cute. Continue with the collector trend. We got the collector here watching over the quinceanera. Oh, that's so cool, dude. I, he definitely did, though, because he actually uh, left some fireworks for everybody. So he surely had to at least, like, you know, look in to see how everybody was doing just for a few seconds there. That's so cool, dude. Oh, and next we got another very heartwarming piece with Texas. Don't think I don't see that Texas in the background. It's flipped. I don't know why I'm paying attention to that. Anyway, we got uh, Hunter chilling here with his two little bird buddies with the thank you for finding me from Hunter down at the very bottom. How freaking adorable, dude. I've said it a thousand times and I'll say it again. These birds are the cutest thing ever, dude. Now we got some Ida and Rain fan art here. We got their colors in the background, of course, too. Looking very, very happy. Good for you guys. Oh, yo, this style is so cute, dude. It's so cozy and friendly and oh, I love it. We got number one bad girl and Ida's mug. We got summer memories, like a little scrapbook with Luz. And King looking pretty excited to check out some of these memories. Oh, this is so cute, dude. And nice little thank you there as well. Dude, this is adorable. Oh my gosh, such a heartwarming little art piece. Oh my goodness, what the heck is happening here? Is this like the collector's split in half? What the heck? I think it is. Or no, no, it's like a mirror. What the? Dude, my brain is getting confused. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Very unique art piece here, though. I can't even really tell what's going on, but it's like a big old collector theme, and we got all sorts of little symbols surrounding them. Not really sure what's happening here, but it looks very unique. <laughs> Yo, that's so cool, dude. We got lo what looks to be Loose and Hunter drawn on a nail. Dude, that's <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't really paint my nails, so I'm not really sure how hard that is to do, but I can't imagine it being easy. But, you know, having unique entries like this is so cool. That's really, really awesome. Aw, we have another redraw here, looking soft as ever. I love how they use like such soft looking colors to really emphasize how tender and adorable this scene is with King giving the collector an old hug. How heartwarming, dude. This is giving me the warm fuzzies. Ooh, yo, this one's looking slick. Look at the hair. Yo, that hair, the level of detail on the hair and the sleeve too. Okay, hold on. Yo, this one kind of goes hard. Dude, the detail on this one is crazy. Oh my gosh, dude, you can see like the fangs. The eyes look just beautiful, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, level of detail on this one is just absolutely insane. What an awesome looking Titan loose. Oh my gosh, this one's so good. And next we've got Time Skip Rain. They're just like, hey, what's going on? How's, how's the contest going? It's going pretty good, Time Skip Rain. We got like 250 more entries to go through, buddy. <laughs> Always nice to see more of Rain. 
Oh, another, dude, this is another one of King and his dad playing catch. You can see King's got the little mitt with the little baseball on there. And King's dad just like patting the top of his head. Oh my gosh, dude. The King and King's dad freaking content. It's just, it's too good, man. It's just too good. Hey, we got Smart Darius and Alador fan art. Yo, it's, it's rare to see these two. I think this is actually the second Alador fan art and the other one is also with Darius but yo it's so cool to see the two of them together once again uh I also think it's a bit interesting that they didn't draw their left eyes but I think that's just supposed to be like you know the way that their position is kind of like a stylistic choice but it's good to see these two getting along in the epilogue after they're like beefing in the background for the whole show what <laughs> yo that expression bro what <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so funny. I love the little circle hands too. This like the little simplified art style. That is so funny, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just love how teeny that face is. It's so funny. Speaking of teeny, what the heck? Yo, this Titan Loose is so small. I'm confused. What's in the background? This is kind of odd. The Titan Loose is so bright, but everything else in the background is like mega, mega dark. It's actually really hard to see what's uh, going on in the background. I'm not really sure what that is either way nice looking tight and loose though oh uh, yo look at this we got a very clean looking king's dad he's got a nice little coffee mug there it looks tired as ever <laughs> dead looking i mean he does kind of have a skull and he is he is dead sadly poor guy only had like five minutes of screen time but you know what it's nice to see him here dude i'm so glad we get more appreciation for old king's dad Ooh, yo look at the detail on this one you got even like little fingernails too wow Okay, yo, the expression from the collector looking awesome. Love how you did like their eyelashes also being white. That's such a cool like little touch there as well. Oh my goodness, love the detail with this one. That's awesome. Oh, hey, yo, this is like a AU. This is like an alternate universe. Like what if King's dad uh, survived or whatever? And it looks like he is like playing around with uh, Amity. They're like doing like a dress up thing where Amity's like in the silly otter costume and uh, he's doing something with his skull. And we even got string bane there. Bit of an odd pairing, but you know, I feel like these three could get into some chaos and have some fun. Next, we got a bit of an emotional redraw here. This isn't you. Where's the real Amity? I mean, it technically was her. Um, it technically was the real Amity. She was just like under a spell. So it is her, but not her. I don't know. At least Luce realized it pretty quickly. Hey, now we got another Titan Luce looking happy as ever. Thank goodness she has a nose. Even got a little smiley face down over here. A uh, bit of a strange thing coming off of her uh, right arm. Uh, got like a little like effect coming off of it. I wonder if that's like adding on to a magic spell or something. Not really sure what that's supposed to be, but just something that I thought I'd point out there. Very interesting. Ooh, next up we have uh, some pixel art here. Interesting style pixel art here. I like how you did the eyes, especially. The eyes look very, very clean. Honestly, when you zoom out, you can't really tell it's pixel art, but uh, when you zoom in, you can definitely see like each little detailed pixel. That's very cool. Next, we've got another very classic Titan Loose. I believe this gives us a streak of three, so that's pretty cool. We got the standard glyphs, the standard pose. Go for that high five. Psh. <laughs> and the, of course, illuminating little light on top of the hat. Looking great, dude. Oh my goodness, yo, look at the lighting effect on this Bellows. Holy moly, we got their eyes gleaming like crazy. Loose versus Bellows. And even me, given commentary in the corner, I knew there would be fan art. <laughs> Well, of course there would be fan. I literally, the second I saw uh, Possessed Hunter and the second I saw uh, Titan Loose, I was like, dude, there's going to be so much fan art because like, that's the kind of stuff that we love, right? Where there's like bad ending type of characters or like the stuff that like whenever a character goes like a major design change, like that's the stuff that like we really get hyped for. So when I saw these two things, I was like, there's going to be so much fan art, bro. And like, look at this. Uh, look, <laughs> I'm not wrong. It's so beautiful. Aw, look at this adorable Titan Loose. Yo, P.S. I'm really proud of the hair, as you should be. Look at that. That's so fluffy, dude. Even have it where it's like darker in the back, lighter in the front. It's looking good. It's a very solid Titan Loose. Even when the light seems lost, it will never truly disappear. Aw, that's so good. Yeah, even when uh, Loose's light seemed to disappear, she came back stronger and better than ever with a new form and newfound confidence, dude. That is what I'm talking about. Love how we even have like the little effects of like Bellow's hand, you know, coming over the collector. Almost just showing it's like, you know, you can't win. I've got control over all of you now, now that I've defeated Luce, the main character. But nah, she came back thanks to old King's dad. Aw, now we get another bittersweet moment here with King saying goodbye to the collector while he's holding on to old Francois. Such a heartwarming scene, dude. But it is time for the collector to go back home and go mature a little bit. But don't worry, you guys are still pals. You'll see each other again. Speaking of seeing each other again. 
We got King and the Collector chilling, holding hands uh, with Francois as well. And uh, there's a little like shooting star off in the off in the distance. Yeah, that's awesome. What a cute little poster here. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So we got a super intense expression from Crying King here. Looks very awesome. Loving the like highlights on this one. And we even got a sick looking King's dad in the background with a very like blue theme to him too. He got like a lot of blue lighting on him. He just looks so cool, dude. Even the hoodie coming out of his eye looks kind of menacing. Look at that, dude, the dark pits. Oh my goodness. <laughs> got a very cool piece going on here, dude. Oh, I'm liking this Titan loose here. Okay, I really like the expression on this one. It doesn't really seem so much like that disappointed stare, but almost just looks like, I don't know, like confident or something. I don't really know how I describe this expression. It's like confident, sort of stoic, sort of mature. I don't really know what the word I'm looking for is to describe this expression, but I really like it. It really fits this uh, ending part here with Titan loose. Aw, we got King saying, I love you too, Dad. He's got a big old bread loaf. <laughs> he's literally carrying a big old bread loaf with him. Oh, he's looking super fluffy too. That's so cute. Unfortunately, your dad can no longer hear you say that. Well, probably. We don't know how the afterlife works with Titans, but it's the thought that counts, you know? Aw, see more of this stuff, dude. We got King chilling with his dad. We were robbed, bro. <laughs> Every time I see art like this, I'm just like, we were robbed. Oh my gosh. It's okay. I have to just settle for the fact that we have this amazing fan art. Oh, it's sad, but you know, it is what it is. Ooh, now I got all sorts of little redraws here of Titan Loose. We got one menacing one down here, one with the now eat this sucker sort of anime-ish one up in the top right and a pretty doofy looking one in the bottom left. Oh my goodness. Nice redraws here. Oh my goodness. Okay, this looks like it's uh, in the archive house here. Luce is uh, taking a look at her light glyphs while all of our friends here are turned into puppets. Not really sure what scene this is from considering Luce was separated from them once they turned into puppets, but uh, I really like the atmosphere of this one. How like all the ground is really dark, but you got like the little light rays coming on in. It's Gives it a very interesting vibe. I don't really know what to call it, but I really like the atmosphere in this piece. Oh, oh my goodness. What is that Titan loose expression? Why does it look like she's eating like a jawbreaker? Dude, <laughs> this is so cursed. Me and the weirdos finna stomp some goo. Bellows. Uh, I mean, yeah, you do stomp on that goo. I just... <laughs> I don't think I could ever get over these faces, dude. Oh, yo, that is so cool. Yo, that's so sick. We got a very nervous uh, nightmare loose here. The collector's hands in the background as if being like, yeah, you're stuck here now. Oh my goodness. Then we have all the hands of her friends here. Hunter, Willow, Gus, and Amity. Amity's holding the little light glyph there too. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I like how it's a little more light down where her friends are though too. It's like almost as if like her friends are the light and it gets darker as you go up toward the collector. Pretty interesting little touch there. I like that. Oh, now we got an epic final battle here. We got all of Titan Bellows and all of his nasty faces over here versus Titan Loose and all of the power of her glyphs clashing with the light glyph. Oh my goodness, dude. A battle for the ages is taking place right here and it's looking amazing. Oh my gosh, the levels of despair in this one are crazy. We got a watching and dream poster. Luce is crying. The collector is crying after turning all of Luce's friends into puppets. Even Camila's there. We got a big old Bellows in the background pretty much taking over the Titan. Oh my goodness, dude. The despair levels on this one are off the charts, but it is a very amazing art piece nonetheless. Uh-oh, I'm getting gotcha vibes. <laughs> Either way, we got uh, Future, Lilith, and Hootie here. Liking how you did uh, Lilith's hair here. Looking very solid. And Hootie is uh, not the correct color, but he's looking like he's just having a good old time chilling there. So you know what? You go for that Hootie. Also, I just realized it said in gotcha down the bottom right. I'm a dummy dumb. <laughs> Aw, this is so cute, bro. We got King sitting atop the owl house looking up toward the moon seeing a little shooting star and the collector generating said shooting star for King to look at while he's got Francois sitting next to him. How adorable, dude. That is adorable. Next, we got a pretty simple drawing of a uh, future Willow here. Looks like she's just been like, hey, what's going on? I just won my first flyer derby game. I'm crazy, bro. <laughs> got some pretty cool like polka dot theme shading in the background too. Looking nice. Ooh, yo, check out this style of Titan Loose. Oh, even she's going for like the, the sharp claws there. The hair is looking super awesome with lots of different like little colors in there. Even like the little shading on the horns. Oh my goodness. 
Dude, and like the, the way they did like the lines on this one where some of them are thinner, some of them are thicker. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Yo, the details, bro, the details. This is an amazing art piece. We got back-to-back -back Titan loose entries. This one just seems to be kind of chilling without a hat. What is wrong with you? Give her the hat, <laughs> give her the hat. Oh my gosh, listen, just put on the hat and we'll be fine. Either way, good looking Titan loose, like in the little shading on this one. Next, you got a bit of a comic here. It's a little awkward to read. You go from one where Luce is falling down in the in-between realm, two, she meets King's dad, Three, you go back up to the top right, which is a bit awkward, and we get the awesome Titan Luce with no hat! What the heck? Give her the hat back! You know what? Is it funny that I would rather have a hat than her have a nose? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but looking very, very good. Like the little comic here, how it just kind of like, you know, goes through the story. Okay, this is a really unique entry. I don't even know where to begin. We got the archive house back here, and we've got uh, Titan Luce sitting on the throne. Is this like a bad ending or something? We got like this weird, like bluish, reddish, orangish effect that uh, kind of dissipates as we go higher, looking at the uh, starry sky. I, I'm not sure how this is done. It looks very interesting though. We have not seen a piece like this yet. I don't really know what to think. I'm not really sure what's up with this background. It's definitely a very unique entry though, which I can definitely appreciate. Oh my goodness, check out all these looses, dude. We got four Titan looses for the price of one, all with some very awesome expressions. That final one, she's going super intense trying to rip Bellos out of that freaking heart. The top left one in despair by getting hit by the Bellos goo. And we also got a uh, time skip loose here, looking at the new light glyph. Oh my goodness, dude, all these drawings are super, super stellar. Love seeing all these loose drawings throughout watching and dreaming. <laughs> Yo, forget Titan Loose, bro. Forget Titan Loose. We need Titan Tiny Nose. Titan Tanella Nosa? The power. The power of Tanella Nosa is too freaking powerful, dude. I like how you even had like the orange on her horns, too. Oh my gosh. This is truly the most powerful being in all of the Owl House. And next up, we've got a pretty simple but pretty sweet drawing of Hunter and Willow attending Grom together. I like how you gave them their special little uh, outfits here with Willow having like a little bit of ivy uh, on her skirt or dress or whatever that is. And uh, Hunter, not really sure what's on his shirt, but he's got like some little yellow themed uh, thing going on here, which, you know, kind of makes sense. This is whole color is yellow, so it's looking good. You know, it's a very nice picture of the two of them. Hey, we got Harpy Ida and Harpy Lilith reuniting here. Only in fan art is this actually seen. It kind of reminds me of the season one ending when they're, you know, finally getting back together and they do that little spell. But this time they're both in their awesome freaking harpy forms, dude. That is awesome. Aw, next we've got the whole gang here. Yo, they all look so happy. They finally got the good ending that they deserved. Look at Gus City. Almost looks like he's doing that one meme pose with the guy like be like, oh my gosh, look at that thing in the background. <laughs> Even got some sparkles from Luce's eyes looking toward the future. That is awesome, dude. Oh, we got a sentimental one here. It had helped me find my place when I had no other way. In my heart, I'll never forget it. Luce Noceta, aw. And goodbye, the Owl House, as she's letting the old glyph go. That is so freaking nice, dude. That is a really nice send off for the Owl House. Truly the end of an era. <laughs> what the heck do we got going on here? So we got Titan Lou showing off her glyph powers and a very angry hunter in the background saying, why didn't I get my fursona? Listen, Hunter, I hate to say it, but you kind of already got uh, your cool transformation. It probably wasn't what you were looking for considering it was Bellows, but you already got your cool transformation. And hey, listen, you did dress up in that one Flapjack costume, so you know what? Just wear that, bud. <laughs> got another back-to-back -back Titan Loose entries. This one, not really looking too happy here. This one's just a little more, uh, almost looks like she's upset or something. I wonder why. But it's a pretty clean looking redraw. I like the little shading that you have on the ends of her cape and the highlights in the hair too. Pretty great drawing of Titan Loose. Next up, we've got two quick little sketches here. We got one of King's dad and one of the classic pose with Titan Loose here. Both looking very, very solid like they came straight out of the show. Very nice, uh, you know, control over the pen. I really like the roundness of uh, these characters, like with Loose's chin 
uh, King's dad's beard and like his sleeves. You're really good at drawing very well shaped like roundedness. I don't really know how to describe it other than that, but it looks quite nice. Ooh, hoo, hoo. yo, check out this freaking menacing Titan loose. She's like, yo, check out all these new powers I got, dude. Look at this. All like the magic swirling around. I love how you just did the background of this too. All the glyphs coming and all the sparkles. Even got an adorable little string bean. The hair's looking fluffy as ever. Oh my goodness, what an awesome Titan loose art. Whoa, yo, detail, detail, level of detail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got the whole trio coming out here. Glyphs are going crazy. The starry sky is looking beautiful. Detail after detail with lighting, shading, all sorts of stuff across all these characters. And it just comes together to make an absolute masterpiece. That is a very beautiful drawing. Looks like it's Steven Universe time again. We don't have to fight. Coming from the collector, we see a Bella Slug in the background. A pretty... <laughs> Got some funny faces here with uh, Ida, Luce, and King. Why does, okay, hold on. Why does Ida have a bone sticking out of her arm? Come on, that's a little excessive, don't you think? <laughs> cool Steven Universe reference though. Hey, this one's really cool. So this is, uh, for those who missed it in the finale, this is Dana Terrace's, the creator of the Owl House. Uh, this is her uh, Owl House like character. She was there in the epilogue for like maybe three seconds. She was just walking on into Hexide. Uh, and I think they had a couple other cast members uh, there as well. I just put them into the show. And it's just pretty cool, you know? It actually looks like her. She's got like a cool little beanie, little owl sticker there. It's a nice little Easter egg. And a nice redraw of her character, too. Now, this is a JPEG background. <laughs> I can definitely tell that's a J the space.jpeg background. But this collector is absolutely adorable. Hold it on to little Francois, giving like little tears. Oh, so cute. Love how droopy Francois' ears are in this one, too. <laughs> Even got some nice shading on it. Looks very nice. Next, we got Watching and Dreaming Loose here. Not too bad, except she doesn't have a nose, which has been a trend with Loose recently. And you already know what I want to say, no hat. So that's it, GG's, no hat. Well, and that means this is the worst entry in the contest. I'm joking. <laughs> this is my obsession over hats, dude. Either way, not a bad drawing. Just give her a nose and a hat next time. Next, we got a Titan Loose here. Oh, thank goodness she has a nose. <laughs> for a second, I thought she was missing an arm, but it looks like it's uh, just tucked away behind her. Going for a little glyph here. I do really like this one as well. I'm not really sure what this one was made with, but I do like the uh, look of the drawing and just like the overall vibe from it. It looks very nice. Ooh, okay, this one's a little scary here. We got a watching and dreaming poster, Bellow size in the back. The whole gang here looking uh, pretty sad, honestly. King's the only one who's like really showing like great emotion. Everybody else just looks like they're about to like cry or something. Hunter especially, oh my gosh, he looks so freaking sad, but cool to see the whole group here in this very uh, dark lighting. Oh, I really like this one. Us Rudos have to stick together. Got a cool quote right there. And we have possessed rain up top, just like completely towering over loose, falling down into the depths below. Even got the bellow size there too. I really, really like pieces like this where you have like your hero character that's like, oh, I'm falling. And then you have like a really cool poster of like a villain standing like just above them completely. It's so cool, you know, it's so freaking cool. Oh, how adorable. We got Flapjack's grave here with Waffles taking a little sit down right next to it, enjoying her brother's company or I guess paying respects. <laughs> Truly adorable Birdos. Not the one from Mario though. Next we have Amity Blight here coming out with her time skip design. I like how you did the hair with uh, like one main stroke, then added a bunch of other colors for the strands of the hair. I like how you did the eyes where you like lit up the eyes to show a little like gleam in there too. It looks nice. Next we have String Bean. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant mean bean <laughs> why is string bean so mean it's just string bean with an angry face what it's a little blurry kind of hard to see but what the heck just mean bean i can turn into anything you can turn to string bean well string bean's already a thing but you can turn to a green bean uh, a black bean there's a lot of other beans out there a baked bean why a mean bean uh, did somebody order glowy eyes? <laughs> what is this? Okay, it looks like each character, well, we can't really see kings, but each character has like a half and half. One of their regular eyes, and then one of their transformation eyes. Very cool. We got king with a... Uh, looks like he's eating a glyph or something. I'm not really sure what's happening there, but I do really like this style. This is a very unique style. I love how they did the eyes as well. They're very, very big, and they stand out quite a lot, so it looks nice. Ooh, yo, the perspective on this one? Yo, that's actually such a cool looking perspective. We got Hunter here, chilling with little waffles. Oh, that's so cute. Level of detail in the shading. Oh my gosh, it's actually phenomenal. Oh my goodness. I really love people who can like draw perspective really well. This is a great example of that. This is an amazing drawing of perspective. Wow, 
Huge props to you. This looks very awesome. Aw, oh, once a Clawthorn, always a Clawthorn. We got the whole Toe family here with the cute little hands. Aw, oh, look at how they did the hands for, like, Ida and Luce. Like, they just have, like, a little line in a circle. That's so cute, dude. Even, even for the... <laughs> Even for the legs, look at Luce's legs. They're just little lines that lead to it. That's a cute little style. Oh my goodness, that's adorable, dude. It's like half stickman, but like keep like the details of it too. Unfortunately, you can't really do that for Kid, or else he'd look very, very cursed. But I don't know. This is just adorable. I love this little art style too. Next, we got another Titan Luce. That hand doesn't look like it wants a high five, unfortunately, but it looks like it's waving, being like, yo, what's up? I'm Titan Luce. I'm about to absolutely destroy Bellows. Check out all this magic, dude. Look at this magic just spiraling around me. I'm so freaking cool. And look at the hair that's so fluffy dude very awesome titan loose here this is neat we have a little comic here hey guys uh so i was thinking we could all get matching flatback tattoos uh that's a great idea i want mine to be on my ankle spelled incorrectly <laughs> that's cool that's like a little comic idea of hunter just being like yo we should all get the matching tattoo of old flapjack here that is a cool little idea honestly it makes you wonder who actually came up with the idea but you know what it was probably hunter so i could see this being quite accurate I love how you did the panels too, where Gus is like actually in two panels at once here. That's, that's pretty cool, actually. Next, we got ourselves a pretty default looking render <laughs> of uh, old time skip loose here. Looks pretty solid, honestly. It looks pretty solid. Can't go wrong with it. Ooh, look at this one. That's cool. We got King roaring up into the sky, screaming wet, tears dropping out of his eyes with all the Bellos eyes watching him. Oh my goodness. You can see they're like scatting away from that web beam. <laughs> It's literally Titan Powers versus Titan Powers, dude. That is awesome. Oh, goodness me. What the heck? We have all sorts of stuff going on here. So we have Bellos in all, like, three, four? All of his many forms. Look at this, dude. Look at the level of detail on this. Got Droopy, Gooey Bellos, Emperor Bellos, Philip Woodabane, and then, like, I guess... I guess it's just those three, but still, that's a whole lot of bellows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Even got like the collector's sealed thing up there as well. That is a really cool drawing of all Bellos's forms. Uh, okay, I think I know what's happening here. This is Amity. I'm going to guess she's like holding on to like a little abomination staff. Uh, connected to like the thing that she rides on that we see her get off in the time skip at first when I when I saw this I thought it was like Lily Mary Poppins or whatever and she was like just you know riding down with an umbrella or something oh my gosh that would have been so funny either way though this is a very cool drawing of Amity very nice shading very nice details even got the flapjack tattoo on perfectly looking good with this one Oh my goodness, I love this style. This is almost like a little anime style here. We got a very uh, confident but a little angry Titan loose here. We got some shading on the cheeks. Very nice little highlights throughout the hair. Looking fluffy as ever. Even got plenty of sparkles to go with it. Really like this one. This one's awesome. And to top it off, String Beans also got a cute little smile. That is truly amazing. I'm back, guys. Hey, Titan Luce is back for a streak of two. Looking very sentimental. Happy to see her family, her found family in the Owl House once again. Good for you, Titan Luce. You didn't deserve to die. Ooh, loving the sketchy little art style here and the shading on Hunter here as well. Farewell, old friend. Got some beautiful cursive. Even got some uh, wings there, spreading your wings. Giving a little flower to uh, Flapjack's grave there too. This is just truly heartwarming. Ooh, liking the detail on this piece already. I can already see just like the shading. It's very light, but it's like very noticeable as well. The shading looks very nice. The highlights on the hair. Titan Luce checking out her new like form. She's like, yo, this is my power. And he's like, yep, you're a Titan now. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. Even got a really cool perspective with the side angle there too. Looks great. Ooh, now this is another awesome style we got here. Loving the collector's fluffy hair out from the start. <laughs> that is some great fluffy hair. Even got some really cool highlights on the face and hair as well. Looking down at the marbles with Ida King and freaking Luce in there too. Oh my goodness, what a great redraw of the marble scene. Hey, next up we got an adorable little king there. Happy as can be. That is great. Got shooting stars in the back there. That is a great looking king redraw. Next we got Amity in the moonlight or something. That is supposed to be the moon, yeah? What, what's happening to it? Is there a day of unity again? Oh no, Amity, look out! <laughs> oh, I just... But you know, nice looking Amity redraw in her uh, Halloween outfit there. Uh oh, <laughs> this is quite a group photo. We got Amity on top of Willow, Gus on top of Hunter, Luce standing there with like the most default pose of all time, all in their time skip outfits, dude. That looks great! That's awesome. That is quite a unique group photo that we haven't seen before. <laughs> and to top it off, you got the new King Glyph down there as well. Looks great. Aw, Flapjack's grave here once again with a very beautiful background. Look at the light coming through the trees. Wow, the lighting on this one is really, really good. 
Oh my gosh. The detail. The detail is just so good. And honestly, good old Flapjack deserves it. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, I just killed a hypocrite. Luz, please help. I'm dying. <laughs> Why are you asking her for help? Well, I guess that's what he did in the actual show. But still, it's like, bro, nobody's going to freaking believe you, Bella. It's like, come on. You just tried to destroy the entire world. You think they're going to believe that? Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, what you sticking your tongue out for, Collector, huh? You're pulling a prank or something? <laughs> Oh, that's cute. That's a cute little collector. I like how they got the background that like flip-flops the uh, collector's colors. They have like the blue color on the right, then in the background it's like the blue colors on the left, and then opposite with the other colors. It's, it's cool. It's a nice little touch. So this one's interesting. This is actually not the collector, but this is a concept art somebody made for an archivist. Since we never actually get to see the archivist besides like, you know, their basic forms. This is a interesting little concept of what an archivist might look like. That's actually pretty cool. It just kind of looks like a grown-up collector. They got a whole bunch of little powers going on here. Very interesting. And they got like the scroll with the owl bee stuff. My goodness, that is cool. Oh, now we have a rage out here of Luce's sacrifice. You did so good, collector. And he's like, oh, Luce, what's happening? With all the bellow eyes looking at him too. Really like the lighting on this one. And he really captured like the terror on the collector's eyes. Big old tears coming from his eyes too. This one looks very, very nice. Such a sad scene, but an amazing redraw. Next up, we have a redraw of Titan Loose going with that disappointed face. Once again, no nose. <laughs> Not sure what's up with that. Like in the hair though, the hair's got like a cool little shading on it, a little highlight throughout the center. I feel like the four watermarks are a bit excessive. <laughs> That's quite a few, but uh, either way, it looks good. Aw, next we have an adorable King's dad, Papa Titan, going for a little heart right there. Look at the stickers on him, too. Oh, that's so cute. You got a hoodie sticker, string bean sticker, flapjack sticker, stars and hearts little collector sticker, too. That is so adorable, dude. Oh, my gosh. That is truly adorable. Gotta love King's dad, dude. And I love this style, too. Now we got a redraw of Luce here. She's been accepted to the new academy. So good for you, Luce. She actually has a nose, thank goodness. I, don't, I literally don't know what it is about like the lack of noses in some pieces, but whatever. She's here looking clean as ever. Got a little hoodie on her shirt too, I think. I think that's what that's supposed to be, unless that's supposed to be string bean. I'm not really sure, but whatever, looks good. Ooh, this is a great drawing of Titan Loose that we got here. She's ready to hop into action. Got the glyphs going crazy too. Really like the lighting on this one, how it's very bright like on her face. And then as it goes like, you know, back toward the right side, it just gets even darker. That is some really nice looking lighting. Honestly, the gradient of the lighting, I'm not really sure how else to refer to it. It just looks really nice how it just like smoothly transitions to like the rest of the colors as it goes like from the left to the right. That just looks really solid. Loving this piece here. Ooh, next we got a little poster, Watching and Dreaming. We got Luce right up in the front with the uh, Emperor Bellos freaking cape on. We're started by a bunch of glyphs. We got the new King Glyph. Luce with her funny face after seeing what the Collector did. Uh, we got Hunter there, Amity, Flapjack's Grave, Ida's Hook, all sorts of stuff, dude. All sorts of stuff uh, referencing watching and dreaming. Looks very nice. Now we got Time Skip Loose just chilling here, like in the little eyes, how they're very, very big, kind of coming off the head. Pretty interesting style there. And we got King hanging out there too. Very adorable, dude. Gotta love these two siblings. Oh no, this is freaking double. This is double cannibalism. We have Flatback over here eating Flapjacks. And on the right, we have Waffles eating Waffles with some little extra details on there too. Even some like berries off to the side. Just eat the berries, please. Don't eat the waffle or else this is double cannibalism. You guys can't be doing this. <laughs> Jokes aside though, this is very cute. Oh, look at this. We got the whole team. We got the whole squad for a Grom like picture. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got Hunter and Willow in the back. Gus going crazy with the singing. V's there too. That's so awesome. We got Amity and Luz down in the front. Yo, that is an amazing drawing. Love how they colored this too. Like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. They use all sorts of different little tools like pen, markers, pencil, all of it. My goodness, that looks awesome. Great drawing. Oh my goodness, this is very fascinating. Uh, didn't really expect to see a Slither Beast on here, but here we are. And I really like the level of detail on this piece too. It looks very like sketchy, almost like it's kind of roughed down a little bit. This looks really nice. I'm gonna guess this is, like takes place after watching and dreaming where it's just like the whole world is now natural. This looks really cool. Hope you have a good nap there, buddy. Aw, there we go. We got Beauty Hootie. Look at those eyelashes, dude. Oh my gosh. So stylish, so sparkly with the eyes too. You are so beautiful, Hootie. 
Next, we got some uh, render redraws here. We got Gus, we got Luce and Amity down the bottom left. We got Hunter and Willow down over here too. Looking very nice. These are some really nice uh, time skip versions. Well, mostly time skip. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. This is interesting. They're in their time skip like age, but they went back and wore their like Halloween outfits. Okay, that's so cool. What the heck? Oh my gosh, that's actually really cool. I can't believe I didn't pick up on that at first. <laughs> that's really cool. Next, we got our boy, the collector, looking very sad, questioning where Luce has gone. Oh, his expression's really, really good here. I mean, it's really good in that it, uh, you know, details how he's feeling in the moment. Not so much that, like, it's good that he's sad. You know what I mean, though. Got some great lighting on this one, too. Looks very nice. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, Luce, I did it for the laws. <laughs> This gets beat up immediately. Could you imagine, dude? Could you imagine he's just like, Luce, I did it for the laws. Not even that he's like trying to convince her that he's cursed. It's just, I did it for the laws. 350 years of work just for the laws. That's so funny, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so good and a great drawing too. It's That's amazing. Oh, next we have uh, Luce here. Doesn't really look too happy. Honestly, she looks bored, but also like she's crying. I'm not really sure what she's feeling here. Looks like we got some, maybe some bellow size in the background here. We have some like dead trees or maybe like some bellows coral coming in toward her. I'm not really sure uh, what that's supposed to be, but Luce is not looking too happy. Okay, so this one's a little interesting. We have the collector here, wondering where Luce is once again, but uh, it's a bit different because he's got plenty of like bellows goo all over him this time. I think that's actually just the same thing copy pasted over and over again, which is kind of funny. Uh, but all of her lights are like flying away. I'm gonna guess it's like, what if the collector got more corrupted uh, than usual? Cause there's plenty of bellows scoop on him. So that's a bit of an interesting idea there. Oh gosh, no regrets. And we have Philip literally melting, just completely turning into goo. You got no more legs, dude. You are just a pile of goo and you are going to melt in that freaking boiling rain. Oh my gosh, that is kind of creepy, but honestly, yeah, I don't think he had any regrets except for the fact that he lost. <laughs> Ooh, yo, this one's so good. Okay, loving the lighting on this one too. If you look at like his left shoulder, I guess his left shoulder, uh, our right, it's super bright. Then the one on the right is like super, super dark. Same with his face, he got a very, very serious expression. That is the face of somebody who has suffered way too much in their time, oh my goodness. Loving like the realistic sort of style you got going on here. This is very, very nice. Aw, this one's so cool. You have to choose yourself. We have Titan loose when she's, you know, back in her own confident self talking to the one in the nightmare realm. Even though this is like only 30 minutes apart, you know, there's still such a drastic change of mood between the two. It's so cool having the two right here. We got a very nice glyph in the center glowing up, making it so the lighting just looks really, really awesome on this piece. This is awesome, dude. That's an awesome piece right there. Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay, so we got Titan Loose looking pretty happy down in the front. In the back, though, we have the skeleton of uh, King's dad back there. Oh my gosh, that is so menacing. That skull, dude, that skull looks so good. Like the, the freaking like shading they did on this. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to say. It's just, it's just kind of scary, but like, it's so good. Jeez, and this is all done on like a piece of paper too. That's impressive, wow. Hmm, okay, so we have some interesting stuff here. Dumb liar and beast. Not really sure what this is supposed to mean. I thought liar would be on King's side, you would think. I don't know where dumb would be. I don't know, I guess this is just like how the collector perceives people and sometimes. I don't know. Love what you're doing here though with like the three main characters here all like in a bit of a collage. That's really cool. That's a really neat idea here. <laughs> Dude, out of context, this just looks like she's just bored out of her mind. He's got like Titan Lucy just sitting there like yeah, I got all the magic power in the world. What do you what do you want? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> but no, we know exactly what she's looking at. Disappointed down at Bellas. It's just so funny out of context. <laughs> oh, buddy, it's okay. Dude, this is such a good piece. Oh my gosh. Look at the lighting on this one too. Lighting coming from like the left side. Oh my gosh, the tears looking really, really good. Even got like a lot of flush marks on his face there. Oh my goodness, dude. This one is very, very solid. Ooh, okay, what is up with this? We got Titan Loose here in a pretty interesting style. Sort of like a merge between like minimalist, but also got some extra details on there. This is a very unique style for sure. Liking the uh, eyes on this one too. I like how it's like solid on the right side, but then it also like feels like it has like a sort of fiery wispy effect on it too. That is a very interesting uh, style for the eyes there. I kind of like it. Almost makes them look like gems or something. That's neat. 
Oh, this one looks really nice too. So Amity in the back pulling Luce along while she's looking at a glyph, pretty much saying goodbye to all the old glyph magic, heading toward the future. Got some awesome lighting too. The glyph is uh, lighting up Luce's face a little bit there. I love, I love all the drawings that just kind of emphasize like moving on from the old stuff and you know, going to the next chapter of their lives. It's cool. Next, we got a pretty standard little drawing here of Luce looking very, very happy in her Halloween costume there. Got sparkles all around. Even going for a little wink there, looks nice. Uh, what the heck is this? <laughs> what? Huh? Hold on, I'm confused. This is like a merge of designs. So we have Time Skip Amity, but it's like her hair and then she's wearing her season two outfit. And then Luce, I think this is just season one Luce, I think? I'm honestly not really sure. Is this supposed to be season one Luce with like Time Skip Amity? That seems a little weird, huh? I guess that's kind of neat to see the two in their drastically different, uh, you know, designs. <laughs> Look at this. Bro really thought I died. <laughs> Look at all of them in the back. That's just Lego Ida. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, they drew King. They did a sprite edit of the collector. And they're just like, you know what, for Ida, let's just, let's just draw Lego Ida. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so silly. Oh, that is so silly. I love the little caption there too. That is amazing, dude. Bro really thought I died. They truly did, didn't they? Next, we have a quick little uh, sketch here of Time Skip Amity coming off her little flying device there. A little hard to see, but that's okay. It's a pretty nice looking redraw. Oh my goodness. Glowy eyes. What the heck? <laughs> All right, so we got Ida and Rain here. Looks pretty good. Loving the little art style here. The lighting looks very nice on this one, too. The eyes definitely stand out quite a bit. Rain's like glasses uh, have some cool lighting on them. And the eyes just feel like they pop out quite a lot. I like that. Looks quite neat. Also, <laughs> I just now noticed she's also holding them with the hook. Oh my gosh, that's gotta be dangerous. <laughs> Oh, yo, this Titan Loose is sick. Yo, you can see like the movement coming from the staff where it was down. She's like rising it up. Oh my gosh, the trail of like little magic bits that follow it and the glyphs that comes out. Oh, and it like reflects the lighting onto the hair. Oh my gosh, that is cool. Yo, that is cool. Actually, I have time skip Loose and Amity hugging here. Pretty simple stuff, pretty simple stuff. Not too bad. Like in the simple shading on this one looks nice. Aw, oh, this is adorable, dude. This is so cute. Look at that. It just looks like, hey, What's going on? It's me, Titan Loose. It's so funny how the hat is so light colored compared to the rest of the outfit. I don't know, just something that I noticed right there at first, but looks nice. That's two back-to-back -back Titan Looses. She only has four fingers in this one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so funny, like the design choices that people make throughout all these pieces, but this one's really awesome. Loving the expression on this one. Very like menacing. It's like, oh man, it looks like she's ready to fight, dude. Has a lot of confidence in herself with this one. Love it. Ooh, this one's awesome. We got the whole Titan Bellows like dragon looking thing. I still don't know what to call this form or like what it's supposed to look like. It does kind of look like a dragon with like the wings and whatnot, but it also looks like Garen from freaking Fire Emblem Fates Conquest with that uh, center with all the eyes inside of it. It's really creepy looking, but it's really, really cool. This one is awesome, dude. This is a great drawing of Titan Bellows here. Oh, we got some nice looking redraws here. Thanks for watching up at the top. This just looks like a bunch of little paper cutouts of uh, characters that they drew. That's awesome. These are like really, really good too. Oh my gosh. like. These are, like, are almost one-to-one -one with the show, especially that Ida, dude. Oh my goodness, these are amazing, man. Amazing job with these redraws. What the heck? Oh, um, oh, oh, oh my Titan, Flatbag. <laughs> Flatbag's ghost just visits Hunter. We got Waffles chilling up on top of uh, Hunter's head. Hootie looking very, very happy that old Flatback's back. Lego eat it in the corner. Oh my goodness, there is too much happening in this piece. <laughs> but you already know I'm happy to see more Flatback. Now we have a classic redraw of Bellos's end. Now eat this sucker. What an amazing redraw of this scene. Loving how this one's like right before he gets ripped out too. A lot of people have been drawing the point like when he gets ripped out, but this is like right before it. So it still looks very dark and menacing. You can see Bellos just, oh, uh, and his creepiness as she's just ripping this nasty goo skeleton out of there. <laughs> This looks awesome, man. Such a stellar redraw of that scene. Now I have a little sketch here of a uh, time skip hunter. Looking pretty good here, just chilling. Very simple and sweet, I like it. Graph paper? <laughs> like in this one here, you can even see some of the lines left over from the uh, techniques that they use. That's cool, yo, I love how uh, the hat like 
comes up and then swooshes on back down. You got the fluffy hair, the peace sign, the wink. All sorts of little details into making this an awesome sketch. I like it. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so first off, this is adorable. We got the collector and king here. Loving how they did the outlines here where some of them are black, where some of them are like, has this like little chalky whiteness to them. Really uh, adds on to the shading of this piece. I like it a lot. And then <laughs> just in the background, you have like tight and loose. What the heck? Why does she look like that? That reminds me of like how Squidward would look at SpongeBob and Patrick, bro. <laughs> SpongeBob, SpongeBob, Patrick. What am I saying? <laughs> Next, we have a very solid looking redraw here of Amity telling Luce to turn on the light in the nightmare realm. Yes, Luce, you are not alone. Don't worry. None of this is real. It's all just a nightmare. Really nice looking redraw of this scene, though. I do like it a lot. Oh, goodness. What is this? All right. So do not underestimate me, Bellows, for I am the good witch, not Luce, but Hootie. <laughs> He just, I love this panel right here where he's like, no, 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 please, no, I need to see Hootie with like this dark, <laughs> I love this, this is like one of the, the best Hooties I've ever seen, where it's just him completely menacing, not even like trying too hard, he's just standing there, but you know, dude, it is over, then he just goes, ow, <laughs> eats Bellows, yummy, <laughs> oh, this is amazing, dude, this is one of the best comics I've ever read, especially just for that Hootie, like the way they did the shading on him makes him look so menacing and perfect oh my gosh that thing is going to appear in my nightmares and i'm actually going to be happy for it <laughs> oh my goodness somebody call up talent patrol look at this dude this is so beautiful i love how flapjack's right in the center glowing up on the little tombstone there it looks amazing but i love everything else around it too the nature dude oh my gosh that's so pretty the way they did the leaves the trees the plants and bushes oh my gosh dude this is so pretty. This is genuinely so pretty. This is taking me back to like my time in Boy Scouts. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful piece. Really nice job with this one. I love this one. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like this. Looks like uh, the whole gang here is taking a little uh, walk through the woods, looking very nice. I got all their little palisades there too. How very cute. We even got Flapjack off in the corner. Oh, that's what we like to see, dude. I like how they styled the hair too. That's very uh, unique compared to a lot of our other entries. Very like shaggy looking. <laughs> like, did somebody call me, man? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I do like this piece nonetheless. Ooh, did somebody say despair? Because this is all that we got in this one. Oh my goodness, we went from a happy walk to a very despairing gang. Everybody's depressed. I guess is everybody's like, you know, feelings when they saw Luce's lights or like when they saw that Luce was dead. Not that they really got to see it firsthand, but you know, they saw the lights and whatnot and Luce has just fallen down into the in-between. That is a very cool piece. I like this one a lot. It is very sad though. See what I mean, everybody? Another collector, like, Steven Universe reference of the whole you don't have to fight song or whatever. I still don't know what, what the song is. I've never seen the show again. I'm sorry. But I do really like this one. The moon in the background makes for some awesome lighting shown on the collector there. Got the classic pose that Steven goes for in the show. I really like this one. Oh, gosh, I nearly got startled. <laughs> All right, so this is intentionally a creepy titan loose and it actually kind of got me dude that face that face i don't know what it is maybe it's just like the teeth i don't know but it actually got me the second i like looked at it um, i'll go for a high five but very gently that's a that's a very uh hesitant high five like in the hair though it's a very uh like saturated different colored kind of hair compared to the rest of the titan looses very creepy but i do like it oh this one's so cool this is like a whole redraw of uh, that one scene when they're up above the Titan. This looks amazing, dude. Even got like the other like corpses of the Titan off to the side. Oh my gosh. This looks so good, dude. The hand coming up too. Yo, they even got like the depth drawn really well. They have like shadows where like the leg is lifting up. But you have like the shadow of like the water underneath. That's so good. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. Huge props to you. I really like this one. Oh wow, there's a lot going on in this one. Okay, so we have two different looses here is what i'm noticing at first we have regular loose and then titan loose we have everybody else going for their awesome power also we have three edas i just now noticed we have regular eda harpy eda and then off to the left we have lego eda we got will using some play at magic everybody else doing some crazy stuff gus giving himself extra hair with some magic oh my goodness what a freaking crazy group photo <laughs> oh yo this one is sick i love the expressions on this one the way they did the eyes is so cool 
Oh my gosh, Lucy's just like, yep, these are my new powers. We got King's Dad in the back, and we got Titan Bellows off to the right. That is awesome, dude. Truly, everybody here has got Titan powers. <laughs> Literally all three of these characters have Titan powers. That is so cool, dude. Oh my goodness. Love the lighting on this one, too, with like the little uh, glyphs here. That is a really awesome piece. Aw, now we have Flapjack's grave here. How very adorable. Even got some little lights flowing around it, too. And we have Flapjack's spirit looking a little sad, but coming to visit uh, the grave. That's so cute, dude. I'm sure Flapjack would be happy to see that, knowing how well they've taken care of the grave. This one looks really interesting. So we have, I think, like, pretty much every main character here in a huge little collage. Oh my gosh, I, it's kind of hard to follow. Oh my goodness. Gus, Luce, The Collector, Rain, V, Lilith, Hootie. Dude, like almost every main character is in this one. Oh my gosh, that is so complex, but really cool seeing like a huge collage of like every character combined. That is a really cool idea. Uh -oh, what have we got here? We have uh, the future collector design here. Looking a little emo. Got some big old ears looking like Dumbo. Cool looking little t-shirt. Uh, I think he's got like a little Rubik's Cube as the, a little necklace. Got hopscotch on their arm. What the heck? This is a very interesting design. We're back to the Titan loose here. Looking awesome as ever. Holding that staff. Ready for battle, dude. Look at that smile. She is confident. Ready to go beat up all freaking Bellos. You already know how it is, dude. Bellos about to get clapped. Ooh, yo, another half and half design. This one's awesome. Love how it's like at different points in the episode too. On the right side, it's like at the beginning of watching Dreamer where you have like King stuck in the marble, the collector wanting to play them. On the left side, it's like the finale where we have Ida uh, going crazy with the harpy mode and they're like attacking Bellos inside the like fortress. Dude, that is awesome. That is a really cool half and half piece. I really like this one. The expression on Luce is really cool too. Aw, this is adorable. So we have a uh, little redraw here with Hunter and Waffles looking very adorable. Little time skip designs there. And then over off to the left, we have a uh, little Flapjack over here watching over them in spirit. How sweet, dude. You know I'm always down for more Flap content. Oh, yo, the freaking pose on this one? That is awesome, dude. It's like ducking down, got the peace sign. Those eyes look amazing, dude. The gleam coming off of them. You can just see the light coming off those eyes. The hair is looking curly and fluffy as ever. Oh my gosh, that is an awesome piece. Really liking the color choice of this one too. It looks like very, I don't know how to describe it. Like it has like an overall like reddish tint. I really like this one. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Hey, it's Beauty Hootie. How's it going, bud? Oh my goodness, how beautiful are you? I look into those beautiful Hootie eyes and all I see are just infinite possibilities. <laughs> oh, lovely Hootie here. Oh, this is so cute. Look at Hunter, always oh, so happy to be carving a new little palisman there. Uh, we got like a little, oh, it says mystery shack on the little uh, carving thing there. That's a pretty interesting uh, little reference. That is adorable, dude. Look at Waffles, it's, it's not done yet, but you know, he's working on it. He's freaking working on it, dude. That's so cute. Ooh, this one's awesome. So we have like the final battle here. Everybody going crazy. Lisa's got an amazing looking magic spell. That looks amazing right there. King going wet. Rain going crazy with the bard magic. Oh my goodness, dude. And this is all done with like pens and colored pencils. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. This definitely took a lot of planning beforehand to make uh, this piece for sure. Like having to like draw all the effects as well without having to like overlap them with any of the colors. That just looks amazing, dude. The level of like pre-planning of this probably took a lot. Oh my goodness. Very nice work with this one. It looks great. Aw, now we have Hunter chilling here with little waffles, dude. Aw, Hunter and his little bird buddies. That's what we love to see. We even got other little stuff scattered around. I think that's supposed to be Marcy Wu up there, maybe? Uh, I think. And then we got a little poly sticker from Amphibia. Got a little Marcy bow and arrow, probably. I guess there's some references to Amphibia throughout the piece, too. This is very adorable, dude. Always down to see Hunter and his birds. Oh, I love it when people redraw this spell, dude. It's so sick looking, dude. Oh my gosh. It's just like, you know, making a huge, like, rift or huge circle of just like, you know, this awesome looking power. And this one is just absolutely beautiful. That just dark streak followed by all the light coming around it, the sparkles coming off it. Like the dark sparkles are so cool. And then all that like casting light onto Titan Luce herself just is so amazing, dude. Excellent work with this one. Aw, thank you, Owl House. We got a whole group photo. Oh my goodness, look at everybody here, dude. Look at this, look at all their expressions. They're all looking at each other, having a good old time. They got the happy ending that they deserve. Look at that king, dude, that king is so adorable. This whole piece is just adorable, dude. It's so good to see everybody so happy. I love this one. 
Oh, and group photo leads it to a group photo, but this one is a little interesting. We have Lilith here uh, with Porta Hootie on her back, and Hootie seems to be carrying literally everybody. I'm not sure how the weight uh, will distribute, but doesn't this all add up to like Lilith's back, right? Because she's got Hootie on her. If everybody else is on Hootie, wouldn't that make Lilith basically collapse? I'm not really sure how that works, but you know, it's Hootie. He always works in mysterious ways. Either way, it's so nice to see everybody smiling here, having their good old ending. That is an amazing piece. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> what is this? We got Waffles meeting Flabjack. They both look so shrimpy. I love this little art style. It's like they have like no bodies. They're basically just like all head. <laughs> like Flabjack, he's got like a head, but the tiniest body you've ever seen, then just like some little feet. That's so adorable. But Waffles over here, like, who the heck are you? And Flapjack's just like, I'm you, but cooler. <laughs> oh, that's true. But you know, we gotta give Waffles a chance to prove herself. You know how it is. Even more bird buddy content. Let's go, dude. Thank you for finding me, Flap. Aw, how very adorable. Hunter chilling with Waffles there, his new little palisman. And we got the Spirit of Flapjack over on his right shoulder. His right, our left. I, I always say that. I know there's a comment going to be like, um, actually, it's on this side. So I feel like I have to say that every time. Either way, <laughs> this is so cute. Loving the flowers off at the side, too. Very nice looking piece here. Okay, we've had quite a trend of uh, group photos here. This is another very beautiful group photo. Oh, my goodness, dude. Loving this one. Lucy's connected with all the people she loves. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is so great. We even got Steve, bro. Oh, my gosh. We got Steve in this one. Let's go, dude. You know, it's kind of funny, like, you think, like, all, everybody else here is, like, the main characters. And then just add Steve. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Steve, but, like, he's, like, the one who, like, doesn't really fit into this one. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. It's always nice to see some Steve content. I think that might be, like, one of the only Steves throughout this entire contest, but whatever. This is quite an amazing group photo. Love the collector in the background, too. Just looks great. Up next, we got a very flashy-looking Titan loose here. Where, uh, one eye is just glowing completely. Got a glyph shining extremely brightly here, pretty much lighting up the entire piece. Loving how uh, the lighting works on this one for sure. Great looking piece with the Titan loose here. Ooh, now we have very upset Hunter here. Nightmare Realm Hunter. Oh my goodness. This is such a good scene, dude. It really, really got me. Seeing like the big old Flapjack statue in the background. You did a really great redraw of this scene too. Love how you did like the outline for Hunter as well. Looks quite nice. We got more Flapjack content. Rip Flapjack, you will be missed. Very true. Very, very true. We have Waffles sitting atop Flapjack's grave here too. Looking adorable as ever. This is the kind of content I love, dude. You know I love the Flapjack content. Great piece here with Flapjack's grave. Oh, we have Loose ripping Bellus out of the heart once again. Now eat this sucker. We have the Chosen One. That's like uh, what they're calling Loose here. The Chosen One. The one who was chosen to rip out a gooey skeleton from a heart of a titan. Probably not exactly what she thought she'd be doing as a Chosen One, but whatever. It's got to be done. Freaking Bellows, look at him. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, another uh, collab here. We have Loose with Anne here. Another Owl House and Amphibia piece. Goodbye, Owl House, from one show to another. That's right. The sister shows have finally ended together. Now that they're both over, we can now reflect on both these shows and think about all the memories that uh, we made while they were going on. Two very legendary shows, dude. Next, we have Loose and Amity here once again. I'm getting all Loose and Amity arts here. People showing their love for this uh, couple here. We got little sparklies in the hair. I got the flapjack tattoos too. That's what we like to see, dude. Very nice. Ooh, this one's pretty cool. We have uh, Del Clawthorn here putting his hand on uh, Hunter's shoulder being like, hey, you're my uh, student now. I'll teach you all that I know about carving palisman. It looks like he's even got like a little bird of himself. Did he have a bird at the ending? I actually didn't know. I'll have to go back and check, but that's a, that's a really cool drawing of, like, student and teacher there. I like that. Look at the happy smile on Waffles, too. That's adorable. Ooh, look at these detailed pieces. Oh, my goodness. Loving the lighting across each one of these uh, characters here. We got Hunter, Willow, Titan Loose, and Time Skip Rain, along with plenty of palismans scattered throughout. Every single one of these is, like, super detailed as well. Like, the lighting on them looks so nice. It's very, like, warm colors as well. I really, really like all these drawings. This is awesome. Aw, dude, we've been having so much, like, Flapjack and Waffles content recently. I'm all for it, dude. We have Time Skip Hunter here holding Waffles so preciously. Hello, Waffles. And we have the Spirit of Flapjack on his shoulder, too. That is so cute, dude. I just want to see more and more of these two birds, dude. We've got another Titan Loose piece. Makes you wonder how many Titan Loose pieces we've got so far. I mean, probably, like several hundred <laughs> we got adorable little string bee right next to her eyes are glowing like crazy about to destroy bellows here i know she's got these glyphs flying around it is on site dude another titan loose back to back with the titan looses this one looks to be like flying 
literally just flying up through the sky. You got that big old moon in the background, fluffy little clouds sparkling everywhere, dude. Titan Loose about to unleash all her magic. Bellows better watch out. Aw, this one's so adorable. We got King going like, no, he's protecting Luce's uh, hat and staff there as she uh, sacrificed herself. It's time for King to fight back against Bellas. That's so cool that he's actually defending her stuff. That's very sad, but also very, very cute. I like this one a lot. Next, we got a simple looking Titan Luce here. She's just chilling without a nose. I'm already noticing she doesn't have a nose, but whatever. <laughs> you gave the collector a nose, but not Titan Luce. What's up with that, bro? <laughs> Uh, looks like she's holding on to some chips for some reason. I guess Tight Lou's about to eat some chips. Even got the collector wanting some pizza bagels. I guess they're having a bit of a snack party. Now this one looks phenomenal. Oh my goodness, the perspective on this one. Oh my gosh. The like awesome top angle where you can see Luce holding on to her staff, draining such an awesome magical spell. Yo, this one is so cool. Level of detail is just crazy, and I just love the perspective of this one. Oh my gosh, perspective is like really, really hard to do uh, for certain pieces. And this one just looks so freaking good. Oh my goodness. Huge props to the artist on this one. Thank you for the memories. We have the King Glyph up here with King down at the very bottom trying out that new glyph. That's adorable, dude. Thank you for the memories, truly. This is a bit of a unique entry. So this is, uh, I think, a recreation um, of the sigil remover where we have like the gauntlet that put it on originally a uh, magic replicating crystal that Bellos used to use the collector's tablet Luce's Tamagotchi all together with some boiling seawater. I don't know if it's that simple, but uh, I guess this is like a I don't know, an idea for a structure of how you could remove it. So that's pretty cool. That's honestly a really neat idea to like combine a bunch of the stuff throughout the series to actually remove the sigils. That is pretty neat. This next Titan Loose is very interesting because it's a bit of a redesigned Titan Loose. Now, most of everything is quite the same, but she's got a tail, she's got some horns. And if you look at like the main outfit, it has changed from just like basic fluff to like a ton of like these little glyph sigil things. Like they're entirely throughout her arms and legs. That is actually kind of crazy. Really emphasize like the magic just flowing throughout her. That's actually really cool. I like that. Now we have another Titan character here, but not Titan Loose. It is Titan Amity. Looking a little different from Titan Loose too. She's got some horns here going for a different looking uh, magical spell. Her feet honestly look more like bird talons or something or like some sort of claws. She's got like glyph pants sort of similar to uh, King's dad. She's going for some other little magical spell with her left hand. That is very interesting. I'm honestly surprised we haven't seen uh, more of these uh, different Titan characters. She even got a hoodie coming out of her earring. Oh my gosh, dude, that's going too far. <laughs> that's an amazing concept though. Continuing with interesting concepts, we have uh, different archivist designs. So the bottom left one looks very similar to our boy, the collector, but the other ones are just like different designs of like different things that uh, archivists would do. Like we have like a earth based one over here, a very like dark ones over to the right side and the top left we have one with like a sword. That's a really neat concept to have like a bunch of archivists specialize in different uh, things. That's actually a really neat idea. Ooh, loving this redraw here of Titan Loose. Oh my goodness, even like the comparison, they decided to make it quite a bit different. I don't know why this pose is reminding me of like uh, that one Pokemon, like Urushifu or whatever, where it's got like Kung Fu style or something. I'm not sure, but this one looks really cool. I like how like the cloak is like facing all outwards too. It looks very nice. Excellent drawing here of Titan Loose. We have a very cozy picture up here next. Looks like a little group photo with the main five characters all just chilling, having a bit of a snooze, especially with Hunter down there. And Waffles is asleep with him too. Oh, that's so cute, dude. That is so adorable. Oh my goodness. This is so nice to see all of them just chilling, having a good time. Very nice drawing. Next, you have King's dad here saying goodbye, Luce. It's so sad even though they only knew each other for like five minutes, but it's so true. But you know, they formed a good connection. King's dad was watching over her and he trusted her with, uh, you know, the future of uh, the Boiling Isles. So, you know, it, it kind of works. It's a very cute drawing of uh, King's dad here. I really like it. Ooh, this one's really good too. I'm surprised we didn't get more of this one where we have uh, Amity reaching out toward the collector when they were all like, ah, don't, don't hurt me. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm on your side now. I honestly thought we were going to get a lot more retails of this thing because I thought it was a really, really nice scene where the collector's finally like accepted by everybody. But uh, this looks to be the only one. So honestly, I'm really happy that we got this here. Really nice drawing. Next, we got a very classic redraw here. This is basically just the watching and dreaming final poster redraw with every character looking clean as ever. Very nice job with these characters. They're all looking very good. Next, we got a simple sketch here of Luce and Amity. Amity giving uh, Luce a kiss on the cheek. 
and Luz seeming a little bit embarrassed by it, but uh, you know, everything looks very nice here. Very nice little sketch. Lumity fans are going crazy right now, dude. Ooh, yo, this one is awesome too. This is like Luz flying away on her little string bean staff while Belos in the heart is like reaching towards her. That would actually one of like the most terrifying things ever. Imagine like you're trying to like fly away from him and he like just extends and reaches like freaking Monkey D. Luffy. Oh my gosh, that would actually be freaking terrifying, dude. Oh my goodness, this is a great piece though. Actually terrifying, Belos. Next, we have the collector here saying, I don't get it, King. I really don't get it. Why do you choose these itsy bitsy spiders over me? I always thought it was a bit weird that he referred to everybody as like spiders. I didn't, I never really got that. I think it was supposed to be like, you know, kind of in theme with like the child play things. But like, I think it was also just supposed to be like comparing them to bugs is another thing that's supposed to be like, wow, you're comparing us to bugs. You know, it's like, that's what a JRPG Final Boss does. JRPG Final Bosses always call people worms because it's like, oh, I'm so far above you. Whereas the collector kind of had that same sort of thing with uh, King. It's like, well, why do you care about these spiders, these worms? They're just nothing. They're just little blips on the radar. They're nothing. But uh, he eventually learned. He learned. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, this is a very beautiful sketch here. Loving the way this is shaded. Yo, that actually looks so good. Like, it's just, it's shaded so well that it looks like everything is a different color. Like, when you compare the hat to the hair and then, like, the fur, it's, like, all different colors, but it's very similar at the same time. And then to add even, like, more layers of shade, they did, like, lines inside of what they already shaded to, like, make it even darker. That is so cool. Oh, my gosh. That is a really neat shading style. I really like that, actually. Very nice drawing here. Next, we have the collector here, Child of the Stars. Plenty of uh, colors here throughout that text. And we got a very happy collector. He's got some really pretty blue lights across on him. And on his clothes, he's got like half of his uh, face there too. Interesting. He's got like half of his like sealed form face. Interesting little design there. I like that. Next, we have another Titan Luz. This one looking very sentimental. Almost looking very happy to see that all of her friends are okay. That's good to see. Very nice Titan Luz. So that string bean is looking kind of default. <laughs> it's kind of looking off into space there. Another great Titan Luz up next. We got a classic redraw of the I'm back pose. Looking very solid. This also looks like it could have been uh, painted as well. And you know me. I always love the entries that are painted. Looks very nice. Really liking this one. Whoa, okay, this is like really, really nice. Yo, all the characters are looking amazing. Yo, this style is so good. Everybody's hair just looks so fluffy. Oh my gosh. I love the fluffy hair. You already know how it is, dude. Thanks for watching with a massive group photo. Everybody looking amazing. That's what we like to see, dude. That is such a great group photo. Oh, this one's so amazing. Yo, this waffles? Okay, I always love when people like work really hard to make a realistic type entry. This one is a really good example of that. Oh my goodness. Like just looking at Hunter's hair looks so good and just like all the details. But then you look at Waffles, like that is like, that that just looks like an actual photo of a real bird. Like, dude, that is insane. That is actually insane. Like if you look closely, you can even see like the little tufts and the little like ridges from the feathers. That's so good. Oh my goodness. That is such a good drawing of both Hunter and Waffles. I really, really like this one. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, there's so many things here. We have Bellows falling into a freaking trash can. Oh, okay, this is Luz telling everybody. This is <laughs> this is Luz telling everybody about Titan Luz. Oh my goodness, we got Titan Luz up there. Very awesome drawing. And all of her friends are like, whoa, that's so cool. And Hunter has the stupid let's freaking go face. Oh my gosh, even Willow's got a disgusting like Pog champ phase. Oh gosh, this is so cursed, but also very beautiful at the same time. Oh, this one is beautiful, dude. This is drawn by uh, the channel artist, Dulce Dragonisa. Uh, she is the channel artist behind my profile picture and uh, YouTube banner, as well as the sprites that you've been seeing throughout this video. So huge props to them for doing that. And also huge props to uh, them for doing this amazing piece of a future King and Collector. This is like, I don't know how many years uh, later this is supposed to be, but this is after the two of them have grown up and have matured a bit. They're like, they're like teenagers, maybe young adults now, and it looks like a new adventure is beginning. That's so cool, dude. I love what you did with their designs. That is so amazing. Really great work here. Next, we got a beautiful piece of King's dad here. Oh my goodness. Looking at the background, I just love the colors in this too. Holy moly. King's dad up front is looking fresh as ever, going for like a little handshake or whatever. And the background just looks... Dude, it just looks amazing. This is just so beautiful, dude. You gotta love it. Oh, another very detailed piece here, but also a very sad piece with the collector looking very sad, but also 
I don't know, sort of lost. His eyes look a little bit lost or, I don't know. He's definitely like <laughs> in despair after seeing Luce disappear. Uh, I think this is watercolor. If you look over to the right, those look like uh, tools for watercolors. If this was done by watercolor, it looks absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. I love like just different styles of art. This is so good, dude. Okay, so this, this one is so cute. This is an alternate reality where Flapjack comes back. It's like, even after all these years, I wish you were still here. And he starts hearing some chirp, chirp, chirps. It's like, oh, what was that sound? <gasps> Flapjack, is that really you? And it's like, dude, I know that can't be a thing. We did see Flapjack perish, unfortunately. Maybe that's just like the spirit of all Flapjack there. But still, it's like, dude, a Flapjack returns like AU, that would be so hype, dude. That would actually be so hype. Even if it's just like his ghost to like help Hunter, you know, be guided on a new adventure or something. That's adorable, dude. That's such an adorable idea. I really like that. <laughs> okay, so we got Titan Loose ripping Bellows out of the heart. A classic redrop, an amazing scene. But in the bottom left, we have a live Bellows reaction just being like, I just got unlucky. Yeah, I just got unlucky, you know? <laughs> I just missed the tech, you know? I just missed the tech, that's all. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, dude. The live Bellos reaction really just makes this so good. <laughs> Ooh, we got plenty of redraws here. Oh my goodness, we have Nightmare Loose, Watching and Dreaming Loose, Loose's Sacrifice, Loose when she's in the in-between, Titan Loose, and Time Skip Loose. All together. All the different like faces she made throughout watching and dreaming, so many different designs, and they're all phenomenal, dude. All very phenomenal designs. Great work with all of these. I really like all of them. Oh my gosh, they're all so good. Hey, we got an amazing group photo here once again. That's what you like to see, dude. Everybody just chilling, smiling, no more bellows, no more trauma. We're all good now. That's what we like to see. Nice work. Next up, we got Titan Loose, and uh, I should say this, I forgot to say it last piece, but we have just crossed a thousand entries, isn't that crazy? We have about 60 more pieces to go. Uh, here with the Titan Loose, looking phenomenal, dude. Ready to go in, confident as ever. That's what we like to see, dude. That is what I'm talking about. Loose plus Amity equals Lumity. <laughs> Literally the Lumity Studios, dude. I like how the crew actually just like took the fan made name for the couple and then just like went with it. That's actually really funny, but we got the two of them here. Simple little sketch in there watching and dreaming outfits. Looks pretty good. Oh, what kind of face are you making there, Hunter? What the heck? Why does it got like that, that, you know, one eyebrow up, one down or whatever? I don't really know what to call the pose, but it's like... <laughs> I don't know what's up with that expression, but there's a very adorable little piece here with Hunter and Willow. We got some very nice little shading with the little uh, polka dot shading type stuff. I still don't know what to call it, but I do really, really like it. It looks very neat. Nice job with this one. Love the style. We got King's dad here. Ooh, very nice. Looking at his son through the little cubes. How adorable, dude. He'll always watch over old King. That's what we like to see. Next, we got a group photo. Everybody looking great here. All having a great time. Willow... Looks a little odd here. She doesn't look too happy. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but everybody else looks pretty happy. That's what we like to see, dude. Gotta love the group photos. They're always so good. Ooh, this one's really cool too. We got the Titan Loose, of course, with extremely fluffy hair is what we always like to see. But instead of just her looking at disappointment down at Bellos, we got Caleb on the right and Evelyn on the left. They're all just looking down on old Bellos, dude. That is a great redraw with some very extra creative input in there. I like it. Oh, this one's just adorable, dude. We got Waffles inside of a nest, inside the owl house, taking a little snooze. Enjoy your rest, buddy. You deserve it for being cute, I guess. You didn't really do anything on screen, but you know what? You deserve it just for being cute. <laughs> Aw, see what I mean? Look at how adorable this little Waffles is. We got Hunter and Waffles. So very cute, dude. Loving this background with the warm lights. Just adds to the cuteness, dude. Oh my goodness, look at that adorable little bird, dude. Hunter, give it some pets for me, buddy. Please do that, because I, I can't pet it, it's a drawing, but he can. I'm gonna make this canon right now. Guys, I have, I have the power to do this because death of the author. Every single day, Hunter pets waffles a thousand times. He counts, he counts to make sure every day. <laughs> I've made that canon, yep. I've made that canon right now, right here and now. <laughs> anyway, great piece. 
Oh, this one's really cool too. We got, this is when King's dad uh, flows up outside of the Titan powers when he just goes for that one final roar. And then King looks up at him with a little bit of glistening hope in his eyes, seeing his father for the one and only time in his life. A little sad that they had to look at him in this like spiritual form or whatever. I would have much rather him get to like actually see him physically, but whatever, this is good enough. And a great redraw of that scene too. Oh goodness me, Titan loose. Looking fine. She's just chilling there. That hoodie, though. Are we going to talk about this hoodie? Why does he look like he's going insane? <laughs> he literally looks like he's going insane, bro. Oh, my gosh, dude. What a scary, terrifying hoodie. Ooh, loving this one here. This is Luce's sacrifice, but uh, Ida and King's, like, reaction when they first see it. King's just kind of standing there, almost like in shock, tears coming from his eyes, and Ida, you can just see the anger boiling up inside her, those red eyes. You already know she's about to go insane when she saw that happen. Oh my goodness, very nice redraw of that scene. Oh, dude, the heartwarming fuzzies. You gotta love the flapjack grave redraws, dude. You gotta love it. Some beautiful background here. Waffles sitting atop the grave, just resting there along with Flapjack's spirit. That is what we like to see, dude. That is what we like to see. Oh, it's so good, dude. It makes me so happy. I love this piece. No way. No way. Okay, this is like an inside joke on the gaming channel. What the heck? We have uh, King's dad here, you know, going for his classic pose. We got Sans up there. <laughs> Sans moment. You gotta just constantly compare him to Sans. But on his shirt, there is Ikea Man, which literally comes from one of my Mario Maker streams I do on my gaming channel, which... <clears throat> I, nobody's watched this far, but if you have watched my gaming videos, <laughs> but yeah, we got the Ikea man showing up. Not Ikea, but Ikea man on King's dad shirt. What a very funny little reference there. I gotta love it, dude. <laughs> we, want, we want some bonus points with me. <laughs> Either way, what a great drawing of King's dad. Ooh, we got a group photo here with uh, pretty much all the finale characters uh, going in against Bellos. These are all the characters that like fought against Bellos in the final uh, episode there. We got Rain, Ida, Titan, Loose, King, and the Collector all with some pretty menacing stares, except for Ida and Loose looking a little, maybe a little cocky, a little happy there. Even got some like bellow size in the back or something. He's like, oh gosh, what have I done? <laughs> I can't take them all on. I've made a mistake. You sure did, buddy. You messed with the wrong squad. Next, we got a redraw of the scene with Loose pulling Bellos out of that heart. You can see him angry as ever, about to just freaking scream, dude. Loving how you have like the glyphs, where it's just like the glyphs around the wrists and the, the freaking ankles there too. It looks really, really great. Got the iconic quote right before the uh, now eat this sucker. Looking very good here. Next, we have a little poster here, a little like enrollment poster uh, of Ida being like, enroll today at the University of Wild Magic. Learn with Ida the Owl Lady. Experiment with all sorts of magic campus in the Titan Heart Tree. That is so cool, dude. Oh my goodness. That's actually such a cool little idea. Oh my gosh. I would love to see like what kind of flyers they would come up with. Oh my gosh. That is so neat, dude. What a creative little idea. I like that. Next, we have Luz here falling down into the in-between, sinking down into those waters. Looking very, very cool. Loving the lighting on this one. And even uh, you got the glyph in the background there too. You got the light glyph uh, symbol just in the water or whatever, or whatever the goo is in the in-between. I still don't know what to call it, <laughs> but whatever. Looks great here. Ooh. Yo, this is a very dark style, sort of like realistic, darkish. I love this one. Just like him in the Nightmare Realm. Yeah, Luce is just like Bellos. Obviously, we know she's not, but you know, that's what was going through her head. This is an amazing piece, dude. Look at like the level of detail on like the face, the hair, the eyes. Super realistic. And it really, really adds that like dark overall theme. Really nice job with this one. The lighting is super good too. Where the lighting is like kind of lightish below, but darker as it goes up. That's really good. Oh my goodness. I love this piece. Oh, we just had a very dark piece. Now we get to counteract it with a very cute piece with King and the Collector saying goodbye to one another. How very adorable. Look at that smile come from the Collector, dude. You know he's happy to have a true friend for once in his life. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's the good stuff. Next, we got Time Skip Willow here. Almost looks like she's about to do the splits or something. <laughs> Maybe training for a flyer derby match or something. She's looking at her cute little palisman bee, though, dude. That is adorable. She's like giving a little wig like, hey, bud. Hey, little bee palisman. I forgot the name of it off the top of my head, but it's very cute, dude. I love Willow's palisman. It's so adorable. Very nice looking piece here. 
Okay, I really like this one. Until we play again. That's actually really cool, you know, considering the fact that there is still potentially, you know, there still might be a chance to have more Owl House content in the future, whether it be like comics or anything, or just like an art book or something. I don't know, but you know, that's that's really cool. Until we play again, it's like, you know, the Owl House has ended, but it's not like there's never gonna be another chance we'll see these characters again, so. That's cool, I really like that. We even got a beautiful collector and king here. Some really awesome glyphs and bubbles in the background. That looks really good. Yo, what a nice little message there, I like that. Next we got a very awesome looking Titan loose here, looking very, very clean with the design. Loving the line art on this one too. Again, where it's like darker on the outside and then like the shading that's inside is just a little bit lighter. Looks very, very nice on this one. Very high detail, loving the expression, the glyphs going crazy all around Titan loose. Looks awesome, dude. Very nice drawing of old Titan loose. Ooh, next up we got another sort of like realistic sort of style. Uh, I'm not really sure what to call it. It's like a hybrid realistic style almost. Got a very awesome looking hunter there. Maybe looking a little bit bashful. While Waffle is just looking into our eyes. Like, you want to hurt my boy? Don't you dare think about hurting my boy. You already know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good, dude. What a great drawing of these two. Although that Waffles is staring into my soul just a little bit. Oh, next we have Amity's reaction uh, to Titan Loose. This time, not so much just off in the distance, but like right up close in her face. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really sure why she's crying. I guess she's probably crying thinking that Loose was dead. Or not that she was really even there, but this is like her seeing that she's back. And this is like, hey, what's up, Amity? I'm back. I got this cool new Amity powers. I'm all good. <laughs> Huh? Sorry, I'm a little confused here. So we have a uh, Harpy Eda sort of. She's like half Harpy Eda with a uh, time skip rain here. Um, this is very interesting. It almost looks like it's a little unfinished. I want to say I'm not really sure. Maybe it's intentionally like this. But uh, you have like super detail uh, up at the top with like the line art. You can see like all the sketches throughout too. You can see like where like the the dress and whatever else uh, flows. You can see like all the other like things, like her wings and whatnot. That looks amazing, dude. I'm not sure if this is just unfinished or like left to, up to interpretation, but it looks very, very nice. Huge props on the line art and stuff here. It looks very, very nice. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, rip that bellows out of that heart. Now eat this sucker. That's what we like to see, dude. Huge magical gleam glowing right from the center. Bellows is just screaming his head off like, ah! <laughs> That's what we like to see, dude. The classic redraw of ripping Bellows out of there. Let's go, dude. Ooh, now we have a very menacing look at uh, the Titan here with the eye gleaming. I'm gonna guess this is right when uh, Bellows started taking over uh, the Titan. You can even see like little lines uh, coming up from like the canyon down over there. So I'm gonna guess this is like literally once Bellows just started taking over the Titan. You can even see some of the coral like out, out up front here. Dang, that's scary, dude. That's actually really menacing looking. <laughs> Okay, this one's really cool. So it's uh, Luce and Amity hanging out next to a fire at nighttime, uh, except Luce is letting all of her glyphs fly away in the wind because she loves littering. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, it's because all those glyphs are basically useless now. After they won the battle, there's no need to have those glyphs anymore since they don't really work. Gonna have to learn those new ones in a few years there, Luce. <laughs> really nice looking drawing though. Loving the lighting on this one. The campfire setting is really cool. Seeing all the glyphs being scattered in the sky, it just looks awesome. Oh my goodness, dude. The energy. The energy coming off of this collector. I don't know what it is, but there are some drawings, you know, or just like some 2D renders out there of like plenty of characters. Not just Owl House, but they just have so much like energy. And this is one of the drawings <laughs> that has just so much energy. You just look at the collector's face, that pose, and it's just like it gives off so much energy. I don't know how to describe it other than that, but it is so funny, dude. Just look at that face. Just look at that face, and you have to at least pick up on the vibe that I'm talking talking about. Oh, it's so funny, dude. Now we have a uh, Headmaster Ida redraw looking very, very good here. Got all of her stuff in the background, ready to start teaching her classes or at least manage teaching her classes. I don't know. I'm not sure how the heck Ida's gonna run her education, but I know one thing, it's definitely not going to be boring. Not with the old owl lady in charge. <laughs> Great redraw of Ida here though. She's looking real clean. Next, we've got a time skip loose and Amity piece. I feel like we're getting a lot more uh, Lumity fan art recently. So I'm sure all the Lumity fans are going crazy over this. And you know what? More power to you. Ooh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. First, okay, I don't even know where to begin on this one. This is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have Luce in a very, very tiny, like, glyph shield 
down to the very bottom in the massive, massive Titan skeleton with a really cool perspective up top. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, this is insane. This is actually insane. Holy moly. The light coming off on like the wings. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. I, I feel like anything I say just won't even like do this piece justice. It's so good. Like the bones, dude. The bones, how they did it is, oh my gosh. I don't even know how people draw. How do you draw? Anybody? <laughs> how do you how do you draw, guys? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that is amazing. That is just flat out absolutely amazing. Just phenomenal work with this one. I don't even know how to describe it other than that. It's just so good. Watching and dreaming up next, we got Titan Loose going crazy with some magic over on the left. Gotta love the lighting on there too. Then we've got Time Skip Loose holding on to little string bean there. Adorable as ever. That's what we like to see, dude. Very cool drawings of Titan Loose and Time Skip Loose. Ooh, don't think I don't recognize this pose. I know exactly what this pose is. <laughs> We've got Titan Loose looking awesome as ever, but in the pose of uh, Calamity Anne from the finale of uh, Amphibia. Looking very awesome, dude. I recognized that pose the second I saw it, dude. Oh my gosh. Gotta love the pose swaps, dude. Very nice reference there. Ooh, liking this little style. Kind of like a sort of minimalist style here. Not really sure how to describe it other than that. We got some very nice highlights and shadows all throughout the piece. Really, really nice gradients on like the hair as well. Beautiful like black magic sparkles and all sorts of elements of uh, attacks here. Very cool Titan Loose going for some crazy freaking spells. Ooh, this one's amazing too, dude. Banger after banger. Oh my gosh. We have Loose on the left going for uh, her sacrifice there. And we have Titan Loose smiling over on the right side. Dude, that is amazing. The background looks great. The glyph in the center lighting up everything looks so amazing. Like lighting up both of their faces uh, and like the coral of the bellows, even though as bad as it is, it just looks so amazing, dude. Oh my gosh, that's such a cool piece. And like, this is literally like five minutes apart, dude. <laughs> this is one conversation with King's dad apart from each other. That is so funny. But still, this is just an amazing piece, regardless of that. Now we have Waffles and Flapjack here, the bird buddies, the bird siblings, how adorable. Looks like they're just chilling too. They're just like, yeah, yeah, we're just sitting here. <laughs> they're so cute, dude. They, I love when birds sit like this, they're so adorable. It literally reminds me of my cat. Literally, like whenever she like loafs on the ground, it reminds me of like that same sort of energy, but it's that energy thing again, but it's just like, they're so cute, dude. You just wanna like put your your hand on it, just pet it slowly. It's just, these two birds, dude. I just wanna give them pets. They're just too cute. Ooh, next we've got a uh, Luce's Sacrifice here, except not really. We got a trauma math comic where Luce defends the collector from Bellas's attack. And then he's like, Luce, what's two plus three? <laughs> she's holding out her freaking hand and it's just five i love these memes dude where it's just like you have like a character pose and they're holding up a certain amount of fingers then you ask them it's like oh what's this math question and it ends up being the fingers that they hold up it's literally just this again but <laughs> like could you imagine this is such like a traumatic event for the both of them and then instead it's just like a stupid meme oh that's funny that's an interesting take i really like this one <laughs> This one's neat. We got uh, all the main five characters here all chilling with each other, looking very awesome, very happy. And above them, they all have uh, quotes that they have said throughout uh, the Owl House. That's really cool, dude. That is really, really cool. Oh my goodness. Kind of kind of hard to like divide them up a little bit, but you know, it shouldn't be uh, too hard to know who said what. That's really nice, dude. Really cool idea there. Oh, next we got thanks for watching. That is a huge king. What the heck? Why is he so big? Why is he must be like jumping or something? There's no way. Why is his like skull as big as I don't even know. He has to be like jumping somehow. <laughs> I was say like, he's not that tall yet. Jeez, is he from the future? Like the longer future than this future right here? I don't know. Either way, this is a nice piece with the whole trio here saying thanks for watching. You gotta love it, dude. Now we've got a simple Titan loose here, looking pretty snazzy, going for a very happy smile there. You'll love to see it. Love the glow on the crest there. Simple little shading on the hair, looking quite fluffy. You gotta love it, dude. Ooh, wow, we have a whole poster on this one. We got Ida down at the bottom. Titan loose is closing her eyes, I guess. Not really sure what's happening there. Got a big old string bean looking cute as ever. Angry collector. We have time skip rain here who looks 
very concerned. Uh, I guess I, I guess I still got some Bellos inside of him. Uh, I think there's Gus in the background, Connor to tell. King's back there too. We even got Lego Ida. Oh my goodness, dude. Very weird uh, poster with some characters being happy, others being quite sad, but regardless, it's a very nice looking poster. Ooh, this one is so cool, dude. If you look out, uh, out over like the Titan, you see like so much Bellos possession over it. Then we got Titan Lucio with like a very heroic pose. That looks awesome, dude. It's just like she's ready to just go and take on Bellos. Really like this pose, dude. Kind of gives me like those Zelda vibes where, you know, they got Link like standing out looking over the world. Now we got Titan Luce standing out looking over the Titan. Looks awesome, dude. Oh, another one of these very sad moments with Luce's sacrifice. Where did she go? She's dead. <laughs> Not really, don't worry, pal. But either way, gotta love the lights, the bellows eyes, the very nice little uh, shine on both the hat and the collector's hair there with the lighting. Looks quite nice. Very, very nice job with this piece. Aw, this is adorable. He's got Titan loose, chilling, whispering bean, looking happy as ever. Got some nice glyphs in the background too. Solid overall piece, gotta love it, dude. Oh my goodness, what the heck is this magic circle? Oh my gosh. That has like three, four rounds of glyphs all tied together. That's kind of crazy, dude. Holy moly. That was a really cool looking magic circle. Really cool looking Titan loose too. I love how uh, the staff has like magic that looks like it's being like absorbed inside of it. That looks cool, dude. Oh my goodness. Even the eyes are gleaming like crazy. Very cool Titan loose. I really love that magic circle. That is sick looking. Ooh. Now we have a very somber looking collector here holding on to Luce's final light. Love how they did the hands there where they, they have the hands illuminating. You see a little glow off of the hands too because uh, he's holding the little light. And even got the tears over on the right one where you also see the bellows goo uh, just starting to develop onto their hands. Very nice piece here. Very, very nice piece. Love the shading across it as well. Very nice details with this one. So this one's interesting. This is uh, the artist OC, I believe, uh, saying goodbye to Luce here. Sort of just representing their own way of saying goodbye to the show, putting it in the art contest and saying bye to Luce. I don't know, that's neat. That's really, really neat. Good job with this one. That's pretty cool. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's so droopy and nasty, dude. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I like how they even did the detail of wherever the rain specifically fell. You can see that starting to develop all the goo. Oh my gosh. I still don't even know how he like got back to his Philip form. I really don't know how he did that. Maybe it was just like some of the Titan powers still like lingering on. I don't know. He must have done it somehow. Even got Titan loose over here with a big old magical wisp, glyphs flying all around her, and she's completely immune to the boiling rain. You gotta love it, dude. Looks very cool here. It's just so funny looking at Philip just being all droopy. As two Titan looses back to back, is there any way we're gonna break our streak before the very end? We don't have too many pieces left, but we got a classic I'm back Titan loose. Some very big glyphs here. Oh my goodness, these glyphs are. Uh, Looking pretty huge, oh my goodness. Even got those uh, cool looking eyes glowing like crazy. It's about to be over for old Bellos. Next we got a simple uh, time skip Amity here, looking pretty solid. Uh, not really sure why she's crying, just a little bit. She looks happy, maybe some tears of joy. Not really sure what she'd be uh, crying at though. Uh, what's there to cry about? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, good drawing. Aw, this is awesome. We got some little postcards here, perhaps something that you could add to the scrapbook or Luce's bulletin board there at the very end. Aw, that's adorable. We got the group photo, Luce herself, Luce with her freaking uh, Owl House family. We got String Bean snoozing away, King and the Collector, dude. That's so cute. Look at all these little snapshots, man. They're all so adorable and so heartwarming. I even like the little pins too. You got like a Francois pin, a little String Bean pin. That's adorable. Oh, what is this? <laughs> What's this group hug? <laughs> pretty dark lighting. I actually really like that. That's pretty cool. It really helps uh, emphasize the shooting star in the background. But we got Hootie wrapping up all Lilith, giving her a hug. We got Luce giving both King and the Collector a hug. They're truly all friends now. And Ida watching as her family just keeps on growing. <laughs> what a nice little family gathering. <laughs> Now we got Time Skip Willow here once again, looking pretty happy. Almost looks like she's uh, maybe riding on her broom. I don't know if she could do the gust strat, just riding uh, with her feet only, no hands or anything, but uh, I'm sure she can. I mean, she's literally doing this, maybe not for a living, but it's like one of the main things she does. Surely she can do the gust strat by now. Either way, looking good though. Love the little highlights on the hair too. Oh, finally, says Bellows as he takes over the freaking Titan. Really awesome redraw here. Oh my gosh, the Titan Bellows just looking menacing as ever. Even about to shoot one of his freaking beams. You already know it, dude. He's about to destroy the whole thing. 
Nice work on this one. Now we got a little half and half piece here again with watching and dreaming. Uh, Hunter being quite sad that he doesn't have his old buddy Flapjack and he's quite happy in the time skip having uh, moved on, having waffles now and having, you know, Flapjack spirit always watch over him. Very solid pieces here. You gotta love like when people do, you know, older versions to the newer versions and the comparisons between the two. It's very cool. Aw, look at this. this is so dude. This is so cute. We have King's dad meeting Flapjack since they're both dead. <laughs> I guess they can, uh, their spirits, I guess, can talk to each other. We have nice to meet you and Flapjack just singing a little tune, chirping away. That's adorable, dude. Oh, that's so cute. That's actually so adorable, dude. Cause like that's that's those are like the two characters that we actually saw die on screen besides Bellos. But Bellos is definitely not gonna go anywhere near these two. <laughs> this is so cute though, dude. So very adorable. Aw, the adorableness continues. We have Titan Loose and King going for a little hug, dude. The Titan siblings. How very cute, dude. You gotta love them. And finally, we have Thanks for Watching and Dreaming with uh Loose and Amity to end it off. Very, very solid piece. Loving the warm lighting on this one, kind of like orangish reddish. Looks very nice. Also like how you have the old and the new light glyph representing the, you know, old to the new times. And that everybody was our final art piece. 1,060 art pieces. Uh, just for the art entries, we had like 57 animation slash animatic base entries. That's a lot of entries. So uh, now it is time to check out some of the honorable mentions. So uh, as I'm going to talk here for just a couple minutes, you're going to be seeing some of the honorable mentions uh, up on the screen right now. And I just want to take a quick second to thank all the artists, uh, not only for being so patient for how long this uh, contest has taken to come out. It has been a very big project, but I also want to thank you all uh, just for entering in the first place. Having so many entries, uh, over a thousand into this contest is like absolutely insane, right? Like so many people wanted to enter this contest because they love the Owl House. And since I, you know, announced it right as it was ending, people wanted to make a tribute to the ending of this show. And, you know, there were so many so so many good pieces uh throughout this contest and all the entries that you see here um these are not all the honorable mentions uh if i really wanted to show all the honorable mentions there'd probably be like 300 of them i'm really just going to you know kind of randomly choose some honorable mentions that i really thought were you know honorable mentions <laughs> but you know if you don't see your piece here know that there is still a high chance that i would select it as an honorable mention because there were just so many pieces to choose from having over a thousand entries man like there's there's no way that we're going to be able to equally highlight each one as much as i would like to i mean that's what the whole point was for uh, going through each individual uh piece but thank you all the artists, again, I know I've said that multiple times, but I really can't say it enough. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoyed seeing your art in this contest. Uh, and with that, everybody, it is now time to check out our winners. Our very first winner is Salty Studios, the creator of the Minecraft animation with Possessed Rain. Now, when we first saw this in the contest, I kind of spoiled that this would be a winner right away. But this entry stood out to me so much that I just couldn't not make it a winner. Like, it was just so good. It's animated so well to Tomoda Sauce's audio. And it's just a phenomenal entry. I had to give it a win. And for their prize, they asked for $20, so I sent that straight to them. Our next winner is B, the creator of this beautiful Hunter comparison, where we have Hunter as the Golden Guard in the past, and then Hunter looking toward the future with his time skip design, holding on to little waffles there. Truly adorable with the caption of, look how far we've come, Flap. It was just, it really spoke to me. Hunter's probably my favorite character in the whole show. It's such a beautiful piece of art and I had to give them the win. And for their prize, they asked for $20 to be donated to the Sarcoma Foundation of America in honor of Technoblades. So I made sure to give that donation to the SFA. Our next winner is, I'm not really sure how to say their name, unfortunately, S-Y-R-O-M-Y, maybe Sai Rami. I'm not sure, um, I'll just say S-Y-R-O-M-Y. Forgive me if that's incorrect, but they made this beautiful artwork 
of Luz ripping Bellos out of the heart. Something about this one just really got me hyped. I don't know if it was just the high levels of detail with the lighting, the glyphs on the wrist as she like pulled Bellos out of that heart. Something about it, I think it was mainly just the really, really detailed lighting and the detailed characters. It just really, really stood out to me and I wanted to give them the win. And for their prize, they asked to shout out their Instagram so you can check out their Instagram linked in the description below. Our next winner is Amari, Amari, I think it's Amari, uh, with the Angel Loose design. Now, similarly to the last one, this one just really, really stood out to me. It's just so detailed, so very beautiful. Like the design is very, very cool, where it's like a hybrid between Loose's Halloween costume, but like a new, uh, like sort of collector themed, like angel design. Something about it just really, really caught my eye. Besides the fact that it's just phenomenally well done, whether it be the phenomenal artwork, the lighting, all of it just combined together, just made for a very beautiful piece. And for their prize, they asked me to shout out their Twitter and Instagram, which you can find both of those down in the description below. Our next winner is Misty Animations, the creator of this very adorable family photo of the whole owl family. Everybody coming together wearing silly little outfits or like little bow ties. It just, it was so heartwarming, so very cute. Loved seeing all the gang together. I just, I had to give it the win. So for their prize, they asked for a YouTube community post uh, to be posted from my YouTube page. And that post will be released the same time this video comes out. Our next winner is Ritzika, the creator of this phenomenal piece of Titan Loose going for an amazing looking magic spell. There were several pieces that had like this sort of style to it, but this one just knocked it out of the park, dude. It was just so phenomenal. The way it was done, the magic just looked so beautiful. The background was just amazing. The line art and lighting on Titan Loose was so very good, dude. I just, I love every single part of this piece. It's just so good. And for their prize, they decided on a shout out to their Instagram, so you can check that out in the description below. Our next winner is Lesby Bob, the creator of this awesome piece here. Us Rudos have to stick together with all three of the main trio in their awesome forms. Or I guess King's not really in his awesome form, but you know, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I just thought this was so cool. The details on this one was so amazing from the highlights to the lighting to just everything else. It was just so phenomenal and I had to give them the win. And for their prize, they chose the $20, so I sent that straight to them. Our next winner is Wish Wizard Live, the creator of this beautiful Grom photo here. Something about this one also released it out to me, just the characters all chilling together, all six of them from the uh, like the thanks to them kind of crew. Just love the details on this one from every little part of it. It just looks so good. I had to give this one a win. And for their prize, they decided on a YouTube community page post, which will go up at the same time this video came out. Our next winner is Aspianis, the creator of this beautiful, absolutely beautiful piece of Flapjack's Grave. There are so many good pieces of Flapjack's Grave, but this one really just took the cake with the amount of detail of like the nature surrounding it and how like Flapjack's Grave was like sort of all slightly off center, you know, just sort of tucked away in the back, you know, as always will be remembered, but also, you know, being like part of the forest also as well. I just thought it just looks so beautiful. Everything just looks so phenomenal here. I really, really liked this piece. I had to give it the win. So for their prize, they asked for a shout out to their Instagram. So you can find that link down in the description below. And our final winner is Sizzling Milkshake, the creator of this absolutely phenomenal piece of uh, the Titan skeleton just completely standing above loose while she's at the very bottom of the piece. This one, it's just, it's so phenomenal. It's so phenomenal. I, I literally have no words for how good this one is. It just looks so amazing. <laughs> I really don't know what else I can say besides that, that I haven't already said about it. So just know that this is probably one of my favorite pieces throughout the entire competition. So you know I already had to give it a win, dude. You already know. And for their prize, they decided on a shout out to their YouTube and Instagram. So you can find both of those things linked in the description below. And... With that, everybody, that is it. That is the final Owl House art contest. This video <laughs> took a long time to come out. I am very sorry that it took so long to come out. I think I got over like 200, 300 comments about people asking me when this video would come out. It is very late, I'm well aware of that. But it was also a very big project 
not just like time wise, but it also took a lot of mental stamina due to the sheer number of entries. Thank you to everybody who not only watched the Owl House, watched this video, entered this video, helped work on the Owl House, whatever it is, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for, you know, being a part of this awesome show. And with that, everybody, I'm going to get out of here. I got some other projects to work on, so I will see you all later. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>